Hello, everyone, and welcome to Critical Role, an online show on Twitch where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors roll dice and play Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, my name is Matthew Mercer. I'm the Dungeon Master. For returning fans, welcome, and for new folks, prepare. Um, a couple fun things to announce. Uh, first things first, unfortunately, we are down a Percy this evening. Our buddy Taliesin picked up a con plague in Alaska this past week. He had a great time, but came back very ill and has been trying to get better and uh, has, is unable to make the game tonight, which makes the current storyline a little interesting, but uh, <laughs> we'll work it out. It's fine. So, uh, so no, no Mercy Percy is going to be, it's going to have some business no he's tending to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank the critters for that. It's an awesome hashtag. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Taliesin, hope you feel better. We miss you next week. Next week, we continue that arc. Um, let's see. Uh, first and foremost, we're still every 100 subs we get on the channel, we have a giveaway to someone who's active in the chat room. Uh, the winner of that giveaway gets uh, a signed picture of the cast of Critical Role, as well as a signed poster by our amazing artist, Kit Buss, who was with us uh, for last session. Um, so those are both given away to whoever wins that, so keep those subs going. Um, also, there is currently going around a hashtag, uh, no shave till 10K. A um, number of people on the stream are uh, a part of that. Now, that's not, you know, all sexes can compete and be part of this too. No shave till 10K. Um, so, if you want to be part of that, go ahead and tweet that out, get the hashtag going, and uh, I'll see if I can convince Marisha to let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. At the very least, my Halloween costume. All right, so other cool things to talk about. Um, for tonight's donations, all of tonight's donations are going towards the Extra Life charity. The Extra Life charity is uh, it's, it's a drive that's uh, part of the Children Miracle uh, Network Hospitals. Um, a lot of great people in the community have been supporting this, and uh, we're supporting that tonight. Uh, so any donations tonight will go to Extra Life. Also, over the next two days, we will also be streaming here at Geek & Sundry. Uh, doing a lot of other charity events for uh, for the Extra Life Charity Drive, um, including I think we'll be doing a, s a small D and D game. Some of us on Saturday evening with the Vox Moronica crew, so that should be fun. Come check that out. Um, oh, also uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, if official uh, was the Coast folks. Let me pull up the info here so I can tell you are also doing their Extra Life stream over the next forty eight hours. They're going to be just doing live D and D streams as well. Uh, so starting starting uh, tomorrow at noon through Sunday at noon, just constant D&D &D on, the, on the Wizards of the Coast stream as well, and all that's going to be raising money for Extra Life. So um, you'll have a lot of things to keep you busy this weekend, essentially. Um, so there's that. Uh, also, we have New York Comic Con coming up in just a couple weeks. Um, excited about that for all you guys. Um, our, we have a panels on Saturday. Do we have times for those yet? Uh, yeah. Between yeah. one and four is when we're doing. So. Yeah, between yeah. one and four. Uh, we have about an hour panel in there somewhere, and then probably two hours of signings at the oh. event on Saturday. So one and four, leave that t period Come open. Say to hi. Hang out. We'll um, have friends. Exactly. And then on Sunday, outside of the convention, because we know that a lot of the badges were snatched up before this announcement even happened, and a lot of critters aren't able to make it into the actual con. On Sunday, uh, we're looking at around midday. We don't have a time or a location determined yet, but that'll be up on Twitter soon. It's gonna happen. Uh, it's, gonna it's gonna happen. happen. We're gonna have an off-site uh, critter meetup. Uh, where we're gonna all be able to there hang out with you guys and uh, catch up, sign stuff, say hi, and have a good time. So uh, watch Twitter. Uh, if you don't follow us on Twitter, do it because we'll have those announcements coming up very soon. Yes. So excited about that. Uh, Liam, you wanted to announce? Uh... Uh, yes, this is the final chance for y'all to jump on Joe Matarera's Kickstarter for Battle Chasers Night War. Uh, they have absolutely <laughs> killed their Kickstarter. They hit their goal, their initial goal, about two or three days in, and they've been hitting every single stretch goal they've had. They've got one last mystery stretch goal uh, left to hit, so it's a good time to get in and just get them to the very tippy tippy top of their uh, campaign, which is about to end. Uh, if you guys don't know, really quick, because I've been talking about it for two weeks, Joe Matarera, amazing comic book legend, has drawn everything, uh, looks like nobody else's, and uh, has a, a good history in game dev as well. Created Darksiders uh, with his company Vigil Games that he helped found, and now uh, he has founded Airship Syndicate, and they're making an RPG in the style of JRPGs that you've loved uh, in your lives, uh, but also with Joe's redonkulous art style. So uh, go get on it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lee. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, you wanted to say something real fast as well? Uh, yes. Um, 
Greetings and salutations, everyone. Um, I, uh, uh, a couple of weeks, last week when Kit was here. Hi, Kit, we, we miss you. We miss uh, you, Kit. Hello. Um, we, uh, we went to uh, It's a Wrap over in Burbank, uh, California, me and Liam and Laura and Marisha and Kit and Heather Hubby, and uh, uh, we were there and saw this uh, uh, robe um, and uh, I think Marisha and Laura were like, try it on. I was like, okay, and I tried it on and it was like, oh my God, it, like, it was made for me. <laughs> and uh, Tiberius robe, you always knew you probably, didn't know you wanted. I, yes, exactly, yeah, totally. I was like, oh my God. Uh, and uh, Liam tweeted a, a picture about it and uh, then I, 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 I quoted it and I, I was streaming on my stream on, on Twitch and uh, somebody mentioned the robe and uh, uh, Michael Bauman, uh, thank you again. I'm gonna thank you on Critical Role for uh, he donated four hundred dollars, which was the cost of the robe. Wow! Um, uh, and then he just wrote in the chat, uh, uh, "This is for the robe." Wow! So I'm I'm wearing the robe. That's uh, awesome! Wow! Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. So thank you so much, uh, you guys, and all, and all you guys who who, who uh, pitched in and stuff. So thank you. Heck yeah! We'll we'll, we'll find we'll find many 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 cool excuses. Yeah, so many to, good uses to have for that. that have that robe be displayed and utilized in many oh, ways. Yeah. It feels good. I'm pretty sure he hasn't taken it off since he got it. Yeah, it's, it smells yeah. really bad, you guys. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> awesome. Uh, anybody else have any other announcements before we, uh, we get this party started? I like cheese. Travis likes cheese, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's a good announcement. I think so. It's very informative. Yeah. Thank you, Travis. Oh, <laughs> All right, then. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and cut the intro, and then we'll jump right into the next episode of Critical Role. Welcome back. So, uh, picking up after the events of last week, um, to give you guys a little bit of a refresher, um, after the party returned from their journey into Vasselheim for quite a few weeks, uh, they discovered upon returning that the illustrious Briarwoods, current uh, owners of Castle Whitestone and, and overseers of the entire city of Whitestone, and uh, sticking point in Percy's background, were coming to Iman to meet for uh, a, a, essentially a, a political banquet uh, with Sovereign Uriel uh, Taldore to discuss construction of a bridge, and it was, it was a very political endeavor, and the council of Taldore was invited, including uh, Vox Machina. Uh, there was a week of preparation uh, <laughs> in, in going into this event to see exactly what the Briarwoods were about. Um, information was gathered at this banquet, uh, Vax went on his own little adventure into the Briarwoods' room, in which they uh, nearly killed him. Uh, <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice the shirt till now. Um, so yeah, uh, the party rushed out to his aid. Much violence ensued. The Briarwoods uh, eventually escaped through some sort of uh, uh, magical means. That was not uncovered. Uh, however, they are no longer in the picture. The party was left with a destroyed carriage, uh, a young carriage driver who had his hand shot off by Percy, and was then told by told uh, to the guards to haul off and bring to their keep uh, to throw into their cell for further questioning. Uh, Uriel was eventually drawn out and confused by the sudden chaos and vehemently requested that Vox Machina return the next morning to go over what has transpired. Um, after which the party during this event had encountered a tiefling by the name of Lilith, 
who was masquerading as one of the servants uh, within the palace of Taldore, uh, aided them in, in the battle um, and revealed that she was being hunted uh, by her sisters in a distant land and revealing herself here essentially opened up her opened up her her, uh, her physical presence to be pinpointed and then immediately sought and uh, and hunted by whoever was after her. The party then brought her back to the keep. They were on the way back before they were encountered by this bounty hunter and a small team of individuals that were coming with him to seek down, capture Lilith and bring her back to her sisters. Um, the party then defended her in this circumstance, uh, brutally murdering one of them. <laughs> uh, uh, so no, brutally murdering two of them, one of which was then raised and then sent off to, as a present to oh, the right. sisters by Lilith. Um, and one was salvaged, not given honorable death, and sent to find his way uh, somewhere northwest of Iman, possibly towards Vasselheim or wherever else he may find his The Crucible adventure. of Vasselheim. Exactly. So um, they then gave Lilith the opportunity to come stay the night to rest in the keep, and they all make their way back to Grayskull Keep for the evening, and that was where we left off. So, um, as the evening progresses, you all manage to get your rest and kind of gather your thoughts over the rather stressful experience you had the previous evening within the palace. Um, the next morning comes around, you all come to consciousness. Uh, breakfast is prepared by the servants of the keep. Um, the, as you all wake up and start getting your meals and kind of gathering what you want to do for the day, um, two individuals have not come down for their meal, Lilith and Percy. <laughs> not everyone. We're missing two, a, a male and a female. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. You Percy don't had think. a. Percy was upset. Maybe well, he needed some comforting. Oh, I mm. see. Are you sure they're having relations? I'm not saying that. Oh. Uh, perhaps we should check on. No, I. There are two. We should totally check on. Okay, <laughs> but if there's a sock or a gun on the doorknob, don't right. go don't in. Don't go in. Right. Okay. Or a ribbon. She wore a ribbon. Okay. Right. Well, I was I was thinking last night, Grog, uh, that uh, we're probably going to be here for a little bit before uh, going uh, anywhere. Or do we go anywhere? I mean, we have to go see Uriel. I, who? Oh, right. <laughs> yes. Uh, also, I really want to see Laura for no particular, actually, for very specific reasons. Yes. Um, I think he's lying. No. Oh. One, one of them is, I, I want to pick up one of the earrings of, 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 of telecommunication. Uh, <clears throat> Does she, she have it? It has been finished for quite some time, we just have to go to where she resides to pick yeah. it up. Oh, right. <clears throat> then one of us could have a, 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 another one. That uh, robe just takes it to a whole new level. Yeah, it really, really does. <laughs> so, I feel so good. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm somewhat impressed. <laughs> it's like, I'm telling you, it's helping too. It's <laughs> pleasure Do I feel a little tingle for myself? First can I go for a beer check? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, beer check? I'm going to the bathroom. Yeah. Six, two. Six. You wake you, you wake up, uh, realizing that the morning has transpired. You reach up and grab, and what you guys notice as he comes up is there is a, a dark charcoal smear across one side of his face where facial hair would once be, um, to match the other side that is currently uh, beautiful, glorious, and uh, and shining in the 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 dapples of morning light that come through the keep window. You know the remedy for it, you just turn your face in a looking yeah. glass. That's <laughs> all there. You look amazing, Grog. My god, I'm this, so handsome. From this perspective. Right, and then, oh. just horror. Yeah. <laughs> Sheer horror. Grog, uh, in, in the, a little, pff, little, little dust and like, fix that form. For oh, so it looks, it like looks normal again? again? With like dust bunnies. I like it, yeah. I like it, yeah. Beautiful. Don't color, touch it. But. The color's a little off, but uh. it but it but it looks better than not having it. <laughs> In my head, you're like those like Mr. Wooly like magnetic. <laughs> like That's kind of what I was thinking. Like, oh, oh, yeah. 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 I would shave it and get it even, but let's be honest. Given history, it's going to take care of itself soon yeah. enough. These uh, things don't live very long. Um, I'm going to go upstairs and see if um, our guest Lilith is all right. I don't want to disturb Percy just yet, but. Mm -hmm. uh, you head to the guest room. Uh, you have one guest from upstairs that resides amongst the rest of the rooms you guys had They're constructed. They're gonna be getting it on. You knock on the door. Lilith! Moment passes. No response. Lilith! Are you, are you with Percy? Lilith! You knock a second time and the door kind of <laughs> opens a little bit. It's not really been locked or closed. 
I yeah. peek my head in. Peek in and look. Um, Did you check the traps? <laughs> <laughs> Roll a si- no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, no, already off. Um, no, as, as you, you peek into the room, uh, the lights are dimmed, uh, a little bit of candles are in there. Are, oh. are down. Um, <laughs> gl- glancing in, the uh, the sheets are clean and set, the bed's been made, um, and there is a small piece of parchment that is folded on the edge of the bed. Go and read it. Read it. Uh, it reads, uh, Vox Machina. Thank you all for your hospitality and protection through this past evening. I would stay, but the longer I remain, the more danger I am in. And as such, put all of you in as well. I shall travel across the Osmet Sea to seek the guidance of my cousin Zara, in hopes of finally getting out from under my sister's baneful gaze. Nevertheless, I wish you all the finest of journeys, I hope we meet again soon. Lilith. She's so cute. (laughs) I go back downstairs. Yeah. She's really great. Yeah. I tell everyone that she's gone. Gone, gone, gone. No, no, no. She's in Percy's room. Scanlan, let's go see if he's banging. All right, let's go. (laughs) (laughs) You run up and uh, and Percy's room is the door is already partially ajar. (laughs) Boom! Where is she? Where is she? Wham! Thank you! So and so. Slams on the side of the door. Looking in the room, uh, he's not there is the first thing you notice. However, what you do see are a, a series of different books of, of sketches and designs and kind of half, half-concocted half um, uh, blueprints for different things are kind of crumpled and torn across the room. The bed sheets are thrown off the bed. It looks like the room has been continuously tossed through some sort of frenzied uh, action, either sinking something or just out of emotional frustration. This room is left in far more disarray than you're used to seeing true to Percy's character. My god, Grog. Percy's a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or he's in serious distress. I think it's the previous. The hoarder? Yeah, <laughs> probably. Um, we must find him, don't you think? Our friend's in trouble. We, I, I, I proceed down to his, his tinkering lab or what? Doesn't he have some sort yeah, of lab? Yeah, he's got looks like <laughs> shit. I'm not in trouble. Well. That goes yeah. with your character. Yeah, uh, you head down to, to the basement area, and to, to the right is the cell. To the left is the workshop. Um, the workshop door is currently closed. Uh, there is a small kind of slider, uh, kind of eye vent where you can kind of peek through. Can I reach the eye vent? Uh, you can if you leap hard enough and catch it on the edge. <laughs> I, I, I boost him up. <laughs> okay. Um, looking inside, you can see the um, the <laughs> the forge is aglow. Uh, you hear the tangs of metal being hammered against the anvil, and you can see the form of, of Percy kind of framed against the uh, uh, the backlighting of the forge, just feverishly working away on some sort of project. Is he naked? Uh, no, no, he's he's working too hard. Maybe we should just leave him leave him be. He seems focused, driven, like a madman. Oh, oh, I get it, like a madman. I don't think you do. Oh. <laughs> At which point, a voice rings out from across the room. Percy unmoving, still continuing his work, shouts over his shoulder, Please, leave me be. I have a lot to think about right now. Would you like a meal brought down? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you, really. Just, I need some time. All right, if you're making things, a little ladder for the little perch here might be nice, (laughs) just in the future. But not now, that seems low priority. He stops his banging. (laughs) Walks over and scribbles something on a paper and goes back banging. Noted. Ting. Ting. I drop Scanlan. Oh. <laughs> and I lean and I go, beware the water, it burns. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does, Grok. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> All right. So we go back up. Yeah, we go. Tell the, the fellows. Percy's in a mood. He's creating right now. I think we should just leave him be. Understandable. Let him get it out of his system. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really worried about him. Yes. I'm gonna, uh, yeah. uh, Matthew, mm-hmm. roll, roll. Uh, just roll one. Just roll it. Rolling through. Twelve. So I'm trying to teach Four. it. I'm trying, trying to teach my, my pet something by roll twelve. Four. Oh, I wanted to no, follow. For teach. To follow. <laughs> to, to follow. To follow. Okay. Um, you gather based on, uh, the recent intensity of trying to teach things to uh, to Lockheed over the past week. You've succeeded in a few. There was a bit of 
balking frustration that perhaps you've overstepped a little bit, and uh, Lockheed feels maybe maybe there's less of a of a uh, a friendship here more than a, a real master servant relationship, at least in this moment, and does not seem to be receptive to your attempt. He's in the mood also. Uh, Is everybody in the mood today? I know. It's just. Uh, Percy's hate smelting downstairs. Percy has good reason to hate smelt. He seemed he rather disturbed that the Briarwoods got away. Yes. Um, I feel responsible. Just. You are. Out of curiosity, um, <laughs> did anyone else hear him? Did anyone else just happen to hear what he said in that fight last night? Um, I, I was yes. a little preoccupied by watching him shoot a servant boy. Over and over and over again. Yeah, great. it was after that, actually. What did you say? Um. Never mind. What? No, no. no. Spit it out. Keep what did you say? It's say important. that. I don't know. Well, it's nothing. hard to say. I. You Is know, it Percy, a curse word? I don't know where he Is gets it these lines. Was it shit? Was it something? No, that would be alarming to Bulls, dumb, wang, steampunk. Jeez. Oh, All right. Okay. Donkey um, wang. Don't um, this is getting really off subject. While this is going on, I'm gonna go down to my laboratory. Sure. What did he say? He said, it, it was when he was screaming the cluster of, of things as he was shooting that like mercenary in the face and uh, he said, what are you doing? You have no reason to be here. Your soul is now forfeit. Really, that last part is the most important one. The first stuff is like, you know, so fairly so average. Um, but yeah, your, your, your soul is now forfeit. It's a good line. It's a really good line. Well, I just thought you he know, was just trash talking. Do you think there's more to it? I, I, th I would thought it was maybe a line, and then I just couldn't, it was, it seemed really aggressive and strong and specific, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, so I, I it made me think a lot. I don't know. Did you ask him about it at all? We haven't seen him since that happened. <laughs> what, what do you so think? What do you think? Like his 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 pepper box is what? I think he's think not he... telling us everything. That's for sure. Oh, well, we all have some secrets. Yeah, but screaming your soul is now forfeit. That's not like a secret. That's. You know, well, saying you peed the bed when you were a kid, that's I like a secret. I worry too, but <laughs> he did lose his entire family. He did pee the bed when he was a Oh, really? Yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he lost his entire family to those people. Sure, but people. he wasn't screaming this at the Briarwoods. He was screaming this at a random mercenary. Mm. Well? What does that mean? Maybe his soul is forfeit. To what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we keep an eye on Percy. Okay. That's a fair point, though. We'll we'll keep an eye on him. He's uh, he seems to be in a fragile state right now. Percy's not the one that killed a poor old woman, though. Did we kill her? Oh. I'd like to uh, point out that last night and all. I thought this we time. just made her sleep and uh, walked no, away. No, no. I, I nope. used my research. Nope. Nope. Total ability. massacre. To um, meet Tiberius. Yep. Tiberius later. Mutilation. Okay. Tiberius, you killed an old woman. Like a pasta factory. I'm not there. I'm she's not there. there. She wasn't an old yeah, woman. Yeah, that's actually another thing though, I, I wanted to talk I know about. She was. That was. That was also really intense. You know, I, I get it. I, I get it. It was a hard day. We had a. It was a, it was a hard day, and you know, we, we tend to get a little aggressive sometimes after hard days. We, we've all been there. Uh, but. He didn't just like murder an old woman. He, he no, chainsawed. He chainsawed her, a sleeping unconscious woman. It was pretty great. Are you saying that we should take it down a notch, or maybe not I brutally just, destroy the, the the bad guys, but just give them? You also kind of were the only <laughs> other one who seemed to be kind of confused as to what was going on, and and. I shot her. In I shot her in the back. You Let's be honest. I didn't <laughs> chainsaw her, but I did shoot her in the back. Right. She was running I right. made her go to sleep. That was peaceful. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm um, a nice that was guy. good. That was that was that was uh, that was nice. I was aiming for her shoulder if it makes any difference. Sure. Is you this did have that sweet little run, which was so cute. 
I just don't. Are you want saying that? Are you, are you feeling morally? Are you taking moral exception to some of our behavior? That might exactly be what I'm saying. Man, this is why I like you, Scanlan. You're so much better at the words than me. <laughs> I have many reasons. I didn't to even. Be liked. I don't think I even knew that's what I felt until you said it just now. Well, this is something perhaps you should pray on and think on, and um, if there's a, something you'd like us to change about our behavior, we can consider that. We're all friends, we're allies here. Mm. We, should, we should give, pay respect Family, to Family, Keyleth. I just don't want us to... It's a fair point. We don't want to be corrupted by the very evil that we mean to stamp out in this world. Exactly, I don't she want us to lose who we are. trying to kill us. She was. But your point is taken. She was a she was a really old woman. She but true, she wasn't but she the was secretary. She was trying to, she to was kill. She was a fighter. Sure, but she was unconscious. She actually didn't do anything either. Yeah. Okay. She didn't really do anything she at all. She could have been taking notes. She had a wand. She had a wand. Yeah, maybe for writing or I'm not saying she wasn't a threat, and I'm not saying we shouldn't handle threats. I'm saying maybe we shouldn't dissect a woman with a spinning crawl blade who's sleeping on the ground. <laughs> All right. Defenseless, totally. running away. You know, she this, was is, fleeing. this is constructive criticism, <laughs> and we'll take it as such. And I, for one, will maybe not desecrate and denigrate bodies. Just beds and temples. Beds are fair game. I don't game. know, Come I on. don't know. I mean, I see what Keyleth's saying, but I don't really mm. want to cramp your style, yeah, Scanlan. Yeah, probably should keep shitting on things. Oh, I'll yeah. shit on please. things. I mean, maybe not please. people. We're that's like good. the A-team and that's your specialty. I don't really want to... See, you should just shit when you feel the earth. What time yeah. is it? Do we need to be getting to Yeria? <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're talking to it. Uh, at this point, it's probably pushing at 11 a.m., close to noon. Oh, today, we should the day, I gotta go. be getting to the palace. Ah. Uh. Right, Tiberius, what'd you say you were doing down there? Hmm? What would you say you were doing down in your uh, your laboratory? Um, well, well, I was doing my research stuff last night and this morning. Just your, using my. Your which one? It's hmm. just my ability because of my, my, my class. I do a backstory. Uh, but what I was doing is, uh, backstories. I was I was writing down the is... the uh, I mean, noble sage. Well, um, there's a noble and there's a sage. Yeah, no, and I I spliced them because it made sense. Okay. So like, <clears throat> no, no, the, the noble part is the RP, the sage is the the perk. Okay, gotcha. That, that, that's good enough. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um. Uh. And uh, I, I was I'm writing down the sigil to the keep. That's that's completed. Okay. So you, the, the sigil's there for you? All right, and so as the sage. All right. Okay, so yeah. Uh, not difficult to research. There are a number of books that, that deal with, they're older books, and the things that were kind of installed as part of the construction of this laboratory for you, and information that you kind of gathered since. There are various, uh, you know, Bestiaries and, and and gatherings of, of information about the dangerous denizens and the countryside around you, and it is a very dangerous place outside of the few points of civilized, you know, society that has that has kind of built up its own defenses. Um, it, throughout the evening and the morning, you've managed to find eventually a piece that talks about various uh, undead entities and the process of undeath and necromantic magics that have been perverted throughout the generations to defy. Uh, the natural cycle of life, uh, you do come across an entry about vampirism. It is extremely rare and was largely thought abolished you know, close to 200 years ago. There, there are rarely, very, very rare whispers of any sort of cases out there, and usually as soon as something comes to uh, any sort of public knowledge, large mobs gather, and whoever you know, who was infected with this, uh, this horrible, horrible state um, was hunted down and killed. Um, what you do learn from this is uh, religious symbology, while classically thought to have an effect on uh, people afflicted with vampirism, actually has no effect. It's more of a, a superstition, but does not actually have any, any uh, negative impact on the individual. However, certain things that do uh, render a vampire uh, and, and render it easier to, to destroy um, the presence of sunlight, Anything that counts as sunlight can can damage them progressively the longer they're in it, prevent them from restoring their health, 
and uh, ultimately destroy them, turn them to ash, should they be brought to the brink of death in the presence of sunlight. Also, very quickly and consistently rushing water. Um, you know, being held into a rushing stream or under a waterfall would uh, would have a similar effect to uh, sunlight. Um, you do also know that the stake in the heart is also considered to be a way to destroy them. It does not actually destroy them, but it does render them paralyzed, and it has to be done when they're in their resting place within their coffin uh, and or the dirt that is considered their their uh, resting location. Okay. Um, usually that is the beginning step to find and locate where the vampire is resting, stake in the heart, and then carry the body to sunlight or rushing water, and that's how they're permanently destroyed. You also find out that if a vampire is thought to be killed under any other circumstances, the body turns to mist and is nigh invulnerable and eventually finds its way back to wherever they've hidden their resting place to recover within a very short period of time, making them extremely dangerous unless you have the right situation, the right conditions to bring them to that point. So that information is now at your disposal. It is now at your disposal. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell us what you I did it right this time. I did it right this time. Um, <laughs> uh, knowing that I... Uh, I Take some files and uh, uh, I I, I want to check uh, I want to check if I can. Uh, nope, I can't do anything yet. I'm gonna. That's it. I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay. Yeah. So as you guys uh, have kind of gathered the time uh, and what, what you might want to be going forward and doing for the rest of the day, Tiberius comes upstairs uh, with a bit of a smile and an air of confidence. Oh, good, you're back, Tibbs. We were just discussing sort of the future of the group and the direction we've been taking. And uh, a point was introduced that maybe perhaps, you know, we started as a sort of a mercenary group is a bit strong, but this, this alliance we have formed out of uh, convenience, you know, we all needed to eat. But now that we're at the stature we are, in a keep, in Iman, friends to the emperor, we want to figure out what we're doing here. Do we want to be just powerful badasses who walk around getting what they want? Yeah. Or, or are we trying to enact some positive change in this world? Yes, absolutely. That's what my items are for. That's, I, I, my, I've only found one of them. There are still three or four, if, if, if they even exist out there. There are countless things to go and venture forth and explore. Were your items? Yes, yes, the artifacts. The Ring of Boros, the old hag. That is the next step in, our, in my quest. She told us it would be in the Feywood, right? Feywood? Feywild. Feywild. Of course. Damn it. Researcher. Feywild. Uh, <clears throat> and that is where we need to go. Um, but uh, that's why we run into her in uh, Vasselheim. Yes. Um, and <clears throat> we, she wouldn't tell me anything more. How <clears throat> do you plan to use your items for better good in the world? Well, you've seen how I've used my mending wheel, so countless ways. Yes, yeah, thank you. You healed my cask. You healed that I will rug. Be grateful. Moreover, it would prove to the council that all of the things as I uh, went on this journey for to begin with it, it was true, and all for naught, um, <clears throat> and really to gain the respect of my father and and everyone else. You don't know how hard it is to be a chromatic dragon in a metallic world. <laughs> It's not easy. Well, there's no question that you are an invaluable member of Vox Machina and our friend and our family, and that is not in question. She's horse, which is why I've pledged my loyalty to you all. And, 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 and I need your strength as well. There is no way I could accomplish my mission alone. I mean, Drog, when I ran into you into that one bar, how many were you men were you beating up? I counted eight, if yeah, I recall. I think that sounds right. He can't count. Is, uh, right. Is that many? Yep. Yeah. Here was this brute who I would have mostly run away from, but uh, here you were, uh, and I found it to be uh, rather charming. And uh, I figured, well, that's some good company to keep, brother. Yeah? Yep. Mm, and then I met the rest of you, and uh, look where we are now. Mm. Tiberius, the point of this is, yeah? you killed an old woman last night very <laughs> brutally. Please, maybe don't do that again. She felt nothing, but of course. And I was giving my new crawl blade a good old try. Yes, you were. <clears throat> maybe not on sleeping people anymore. Oh. People are actually attacking us. She, she was, <coughs> okay, fine, yes. I guess. Well, I think the point is you are, your abilities in 
arcane uh, wonder are expanding daily, uh, exponentially, and perhaps, you know, be a little tentative, do a little practice run in the woods on your own once in a while and see what the effects are before you go... Are there woods? Whipping it out. There are. This is an intervention. (laughs) (laughs) We love you very much, but you killed an old lady. I like the way you kill people. Yeah. Well, yes. We're all on the up and up now, right? One raises a hand to me or Vartmarkina, they are going to die. Yeah, yeah they are. Oh. It is simple. I do not know why this is a discussion. I, ne- I won't be as cruel. Raise her hand. Right. She didn't really do anything. We are not. She was really. She opposed, really and then old. she ran away. She was and then she us died. She was attacking us. Keyleth. Yeah. Keyleth. What? Clearly, we all love you as family. Yes, and nobody course. blames you, but you once killed a child, and <gasps> none yes. of us blame you. Is it too early to start drinking? <laughs> I pull out the cask of ale. And that happened in the heat of battle. Yes, it was. You know, a I'm really accident. sensitive about that vax. Well, you just put it all really up. Really sensitive about that vax. I'm well aware. I'm well aware. So it's, I'm just saying, you know. And that was and different. It, yes, it was. It, it was, was a an child. accident. As opposed yes, to, as opposed that to. That was pretty. She was trying fucking to say deliberate what he did. Yes, Everybody to is somebody who is opposing us. That was a child who was innocent. She was trying. Or was to he opposing us too? I don't remember, actually. It all falls apart. Anyway. I'm being puppeted by, by sorcerer Michael Jackson. No one agrees oh. with you today more than I. Damn, time. Michael Jackson. And I think we can adjust our perspective slightly. Right, Rob? What's the word? See? <laughs> Kill softer. Moving forward. Hey. I'll show you how. You Doing just have to do it really slow. <laughs> Uriel's waiting for us. I don't. I Let's don't table this. Yeah. We'll mm-hmm. we'll stick we'll a, pin a pin in, in this it. discussion. <laughs> yeah, we'll, pin in it. we'll all yeah. be thinking long and hard he about this. It wasn't intentional, and everybody knows that. Absolutely not intentional. No. I turn into Minxie and start walking towards the Minxie. Oh, I gotta give a little more credit to you. So you guys gather and make your way into the uh, city of Iman uh, But Actually, before we head towards Uriel, we probably should. Um, do we have any sort of proof that the Briarwoods actually did horrible things and it wasn't us attacking them? Well, I've got these little scars right here. Are they, are still, they still there? there? And yeah, our wounds. Are. The scars are still there. Oh. There's, and there's the still wounds that, that are healing. Him. Him. Friggin' sting, that's man. That's true, that's happened, true. Yeah. And the person All right, cool. dead. Just making sure. <clears throat> there's lots of things. That we had some. And then there was, uh, what's his name? Awesome Pants, who was there. Seeker Asum. Yeah, Seeker Asum. Allura saw everything as well. Did you see the fight? Allura didn't fine. see the fight. She knows what's going on. Oh, well, we know she knows what's up, but All right. whether she can be used as a reliable witness is... <laughs> We've got multiple... Uh, <laughs> we're yeah. good. Let's go see your There were those guards, too. There was guards outside the door. Uh, they were incinerated. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plus, they were the Briarwoods guards, anyway. One of, one of them was alive. Yeah, where did he go? He, he went away with the Briarwoods, I'm going to assume. Oh, dick. I'm scared. Mm. All I'm right. still scared. We go to see your real. Okay. Um, <laughs> I made a choice for the team. <laughs> 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 uh, as you're having this discussion, all of you make your way uh, into the city of Amman, uh, across the districts of the Cloud Top. You're greeted and met within the gate into the central district there. Um, you make your way to the palace uh, of Tadore, uh, through the front doors, and uh, the guards that are there lead you in, and one of them says, Uriel is waiting within the throne chamber. You guys are led down the main hallway into the very center of the palace. I come out of Minxie. Okay. You come out <laughs> Which of the, the nervous guard, <laughs> thankfully, puts his weapon away and it's like, oh, Lady Keyleth, my apologies, and puts his spear to the side. Trinket's still here, though. <laughs> uh, I make a, I buzz over to that uh, specific guard and say, do you, do you have like a, lo- a lost and found here? I have this really, Really badass uh, serpent-style belt. Sometimes it crawls around on its own. But sometimes it's just a belt, and I lost it here the other night. And I'm really hoping. I mean, it ties everything together. <laughs> uh, is there anyone I can check with? Check back after you've spoken with the sovereign, please. Yes. Thank yes. you. <laughs> Leaves you guys on as you head out the main hallway, and th- you recall this hallway. This was a long, dangerous trek the first time you came to the palace. This is where Uriel's family was possessed. This is where you had your battle with the Glabrezu. This is where Pike was slain. This is where you had to pull the shadows from the bodies of his family. 
this is this is a very, very emotional place that you really haven't been to since that sequence of events. So walking in already has this kind of tenuous state of, of, of low simmering energy. As you're brought into the main chamber, you can see there is there is the dual thrones for Uriel and his wife. His wife is not present, his family is not present, just Uriel sitting on the throne. Uh, there are a few guards on the, the different entrances to the room. And as you walk in, Uriel just kind of sits there on the throne and gives you acknowledgement and kind of ushers you into the room. You all step in, drink it kind of behind you, keeping an eye up, <laughs> like a bear is wont to do. Um, you guys make your way up towards the the very edge of the central uh, raised dais where the thrones are currently set up on. Um, you now see on the opposite side of the room, uh, Seeker Asum and Alora walk in, as well as uh, Arbiter Brom, who is the cleric that is the master of law in the city. Um, they walk up and kind of flank the sides of the throne, stepping back a little bit to not kind of gather all the attention, but definitely be there as a show of support. As they enter, the doors on the other side of the wall of the, the room and the door behind you open, and roughly 30 guards enter the chamber quietly. They all kind of filter in, blocking all the exits. The doors close. No weapons are drawn, but there is a very strong showing of muscle in this room that you weren't expecting for this meeting. Once all the guards are settled, and a really awkward silence hits the room, Uriel stands up from the throne and looks upon you, pacing slightly back and forth. Thank you all for joining me. I must say I am troubled by recent events, and I wish to speak to you regarding them before taking any action. I owe you that much for all you've done for me. Before you left for Vasselheim, you showed immediate interest in the Briarwoods. Percy in particular, where is Percival? He has, he's banging away at the keep. Well, he's, he's not feeling well today after the events of last night, so he stayed, stayed behind. Well then, please relay this conversation to him as soon as you see him. So, you exhibited interest in the Briarwoods before leaving for Vasselheim. I, through trust, did not inquire as to why, but upon your return, eagerly told you that they were coming to this feast and invited you as part of the Council of Tardori to join this feast, as it was your request. My gracious, he followed through. You uh, showed up, a meal was had, questions were asked, although a few curious ones I did not pry. Now, I've since been notified and seen a bit of the aftermath that you, Vox Machina, seemingly attacked our guests shortly. Please, listen. Attacked our guests shortly after the meal in their own guest quarters, forcing them to flee after you destroyed the hallway, ruined their carriage, murdered two of their guards, two more outside, and leaving Seeker Asum to witness this entire process. Asum kind of gives a nod. You then tortured the carriage driver, requested he be sent to the dungeon beneath your keep, and upon my sentries returning from Greyskull to deliver him, they find a freshly murdered old woman not far behind the path you took. Not long after, Seeker Asum found me and corroborated most of this unexpected violent behavior. I then asked Arbiter Brom here to divine the nature of this murder, and through his divine sight through the goddess Ayun, comes to tell me it was none other than you, Tiberius, that slaughtered this elderly woman while she slept. Yes. Now I am quite disturbed by the events of these past 14 hours, and I would like to hear an explanation. Arbiter, if you could please prepare the space. The Arbiter Brahman steps forward and pulls forth from underneath his robes uh, a necklace that contains a holy symbol, the same symbol you saw across the temple beneath the Slayer's Take, an eye-like inscription of the, uh, the god Ayun. Uh, Brahm grasps it and kind of looks about you all and prepares this slight hand gesture, and you feel a slight tingle across the skin that just lasts a few seconds. Can I recognize the fades. spell he's casting? Uh, I'll also go ahead and make uh, this be a religion check. He's doing a cleric thing, yeah? Yep. This is not good. Go. No. Not good. Oh, it's 
Seven. All right. Unable to ascertain the nature. However, the incantation completes. No seeming noticeable effect. Brom nods and steps back in the line of the thrones. Uh, I want all of you guys to roll charisma saving throws. Son of a bitch. Always a problem. Yeah. Wow. Nice. 19. 11. <clears throat> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I get advantage, and I rolled a 27. Nice. <laughs> okay. Bards. <laughs> 19. 13. 18. All right. Good to know. Shockingly. Uriel then looks to the rest of you. So, I've said my piece for the moment. Explain. I step forward. Can I do a quick insight check on Hasun to see if I can still recognize if he's still affected by the oh, yeah, mind balls. control thing? Go ahead and make an insight check, sure. Oh yeah. Um, 28. Um, glancing at Hasun, uh, the way he's looking at you, and the general tension and feeling of the room, you gather that Assume is not his normal self, completely. Yeah. You step Uri- forward. Uriel, with all respect, I needn't remind you what the group of people before you put themselves through on your behalf and your family's behalf. We almost lost one of our own. And if that counts for nothing here, then nothing makes sense. But if that is not enough, let us start here. The Brywoods are vampires. And that old lady, who was a butler, by the way, was with this demonoid person who we had to fight as well. We did off with him. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. But that's true. But one thing at a time. We had prior knowledge of the Briarwood's intentions before this evening. And I myself went to spy on them. Here's the thing. Percy doesn't like them because they killed his family. All of them. They took over his home after killing his family. He got away. He knows they're scary. We're trying to protect you. So the point is, we all know how dangerous it is that the knowledge of vampire existence and the spreading of those vile creatures, and now we know they do exist. So however the means that that came about is neither here nor there. We know where they are. And if you're wondering how we know they're vampires, Max, this is your cue. Oh, yeah, you him the bite already. You I will you subject myself to any test to any wizard or mage in this city who you know can ascertain the truth, to look through my eyes, to see my memories. I don't know shit about magic, but there are people who do. Cleric Tristan also treated him last night for his uh, his uh, vampire-inflicted wound. I know this all looks really bad on the surface, and we did not want to cause any disturbance within these hallowed walls. Of course not. But, there was a danger, we acted perhaps too abruptly and without telling you, uh, and... But we tried to get your attention. I called, I called for you immediately, as soon as we knew there was danger. So and don't take our word for it. Anyone, have them look in here. The thing is... Actually, you take a stone Silence! Okay, okay, yeah, that's fair. Silence. You're in my court now, Stormwind. You put so much weight upon this trust, and you have done a good service. But also I've heard whispers that you've thrown this trust around in many circles. Remember, we held a parade in your honor. We spread the word of the good deeds you've done. We, at our own cost, Silvamon, built you a keep, a home, at great expense, to show thanks. And also, I believed, upon allowing you to join this council, put us square. I owe you nothing just as you owe me nothing. Do you not want the truth? I want the truth, but I also want you to understand the stakes that are here in why there is this question. As the leader of this, not this city, but this entire 
Countryside, I have to be sure. And this is not the first time I've been lied to by very close, trusted people, so I have to be thorough. This is why I offer myself completely into your control and put myself under your supervision and any user of the arcane arts you want to peer inside my mind, let them step up to the plate because I have nothing to hide. Also, while you are inquiring about him, you might inquire about Seeker soon. If you're worried about lies within your own ranks, I think you should start with him. In fact, I actually might be able to help Seeker soon if you will allow me to. Help him? We've got Silver to Sum, and Sum gives a look to Uriel, and Uriel kind of... He was mind-controlled last night. I have had a Sum at my side for the better part of 15 years. He is responsible far more than your merry band has ever attempted for keeping and maintaining the good and lawful state of Uriel, this country. Uriel, your own family was you. called themselves! And you know that! Look into my mind, now, today. I fear... You don't need to guess anything. It would also do you well to show respect where you are speaking, half-elf. Now, I would assign Allura to such an endeavor. However, it has also been noticed that she is grown quite friendly and attached with your group, and in this circumstance, there is question. So, you will be, in a few days, assigned an individual to this ritual of which you are presenting yourself. Y Uriel, it is. Shh. Shh. The Briarwoods, regardless of what you may think they may be, or we do, that will show in time have shown nothing over the past five years, but graciousness and gone through all proper channels to establish this relationship between our city and theirs, far more than the previous family ever attempted. Well, However, one may smile and smile and still be a villain. I, I... That goes both ways. Now, please. Look. Just let yes. me do a quick restoration spell on Hasum. If nothing is wrong with him, nothing will happen. It's it's harmless. It, it's like it's like taking medicine when you're not sick. It, it can't hurt. And if I am wrong, then we can continue on. We can please consider have it tested. Yeah. Please, it'll take ten minutes. What can hurt? Up until last night. He was himself. Trust us that now he is not. He came to us. There has been nothing about his behavior at all to insinuate any change of anything of the sort. And I've known the man for quite some time before I even took this throne. And However, that can be the power of a very high, I will. powered mind control spell. I will, in the good graces and the relationship we forged, allow this. Ooh. Assume, are you all right? Assume kind of gives a nod. Well, if this is to be how it is, certainly. And he steps forward, the halfling approaches you, looking you in the face. Um, all right, you would like to attempt your greater restoration spell? Uh-huh. Uh, can I cast, first I meditate for a second, and I cast Enhance Ability on myself? As a note, as you begin casting, you notice the guards all go for their weapons and just ready themselves, uncertain of what's about to transpire. There is a tension, that, tension in the room based on what this is going to be. So, so you first cast. Oh, uh, uh, Om Mane Padme Hum, Om Mane Padme Hum, Om Mane Padme Hum. Padme? All right, so, so first you cast Enhance Ability on yourself, you say? Am I maybe inspired by that? Sure. <laughs> sure, in the tension of the room, the slow, Droning hum of the gnome, which you can notice <laughs> some of the guards kind of look at each other confused and assume puts his hand up like, 
Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Tube and throat singing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you cast, uh, first you cast Enhance Ability on your... Self. What ability? All right. For to enhance. Um, <laughs> just gonna enhance something. Wisdom. Wisdom. Okay. Um, so you reach out with the greater restoration. Mm-hmm. You complete the ritual. You touch onto the arms of uh, of Asum. It fades, and you see in his eyes. There's like a moment of clarity and an inhale. <gasps> Like a slight, a slight gasp, like some some realization hits him, and his expression changes and looks towards you and just goes, he puts his hands out like this for a moment, just trying to almost trigger something. Go ahead and make a wisdom check. So D twenty. Okay. Or no, make an insight. Make a straight insight. This is this is more of an insight roll here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, twenty nine. Who? You get the sense. Through the subtlety of physical motion and expression, Asum is telling you, just go with me on this. Oh. He steps back into the place next to the throne. There's a brief moment of pause. Ariel says, and Asum? Asum goes, my stance has not changed. I know not what she is attempting or thought the situation was, but it appears to me that this was either misinformation, or at least at the time being, um, hopefully not a lie. But I believe Brahm has taken care of that, yes? And Brahm gives a nod. I certainly have hoped to. Uriel goes, hmm. All right. Here's the circumstance. As it stands, I fear I must revoke Vox Machina's membership in the Council of Taldore until further notice. For the safety of our countryside and the current tension in our relationship. Objection. That's it, I just wanted to say that. It's, it's, please continue. I just want it noted that we object strongly to this. I understand, and this will only Continue until our all of our investigations are complete. Are we still allowed free, free reign to, to roam about as we please? Are we under arrest for anything? You are not under arrest. You are revoked from the council, and you will be closely watched until our investigations are complete. How long will your investigations take? Looks back to Assume. Assume says, "Well, it depends on how quickly we can." Require the information, it could be weeks. I'll do my best to make it thorough and quick. Are we allowed to leave the city in that time? Uh, Uriel looks back and says, you may leave if you wish. Know that there have been precautions taken. Should you attempt to flee, we will find you. And when are you to look into my mind? <laughs> oh, <anxious. Weirdo>. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Friggin' ends it right away. Can you read my mind? There is no spoon. <laughs> we are to speak to the Lyceum to find a proper individual of sufficient power and trust to do this, as Allura right now is being kept out of the scenario. Balls. Are Good. we allowed to speak with Allura? <laughs> if you wish, outside of these chambers. Do what you must to clear your name. I would like very much for this all to be true what you're saying. But do not flee. Do not give an inclination that you attempt to escape this judgment, for we will take that as a sign of guilt. We have no intention of going anywhere. Should we conclude that your actions were beyond reason and the moral fiber of this council before your return, we will have no choice to put a bounty on your heads should you not return. <laughs> I really, really, do not wish to do this. And when we prove that we are do indeed... not make me do this. I stand up, no need for threats, friend. Are we done here? I want to believe you are. I ask you, show that my trust has not been misplaced all this time. Now you may leave. 
I look forward to the second parade you'll throw, throw for us after our names are cleared. Very well. I'm out. I turn to the guards that were grabbing at their weapons and I flinch real fast at them. And then I Four of them go, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys go back out, the, the doors that you entered, the guards now a little closely following as you exit, leading you out of the palace, down the front steps, and essentially stand at the front of the palace gates. I'm sorry, I was just talking to one of your friends. Um, have you seen a belt that is shaped like a snake? Uh, sometimes it moves around on its own, and it answers to the name Simon, but usually it's just a belt, and looks really cool. Have you seen it? Is there a lost and found I can check out? It's very dear to me. The guard just kind of looks at for a second and goes, I think you've got more important matters to deal with before you go looking for a belt, sir. It's actually a really... Where's that other guy? He was more receptive to this. Do I see that other guy? <laughs> Darling, Listen. seriously. The guards right. all turn around and start ascending the stairs. It's on all the fan art. It really makes sense to have it. <laughs> <laughs> no? They don't appear to be listening. Uh, no. <laughs> We'll, we'll keep bro- an eye out for it. Hundred gold to any any chap who finds it and, and holds onto it for <laughs> Two me, of right? them stop in their step for a second, and then keep walking. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Go make a persuasion roll. Yay. You're gonna get like six belts thrown at you. No, it's terrible. Uh, it's that's terrible. Really nice. Six. <laughs> <laughs> it was a brief pause. Really nice. But also really a nice. brief pause. <laughs> 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 Right. I'm athletic. Do we wait outside? We'll break in tonight and find Do we wait outside? Yeah. I'll just risk it all. <laughs> all right. So you are now currently there in the, the cobblestone street of the Cloudtop District, removed from the Council of Taldore and left in this interesting circumstance. Keyleth, what happened? Your magic didn't work. No, it worked. What happened? It worked. It worked. He, um. Uh, but assume lie. He gave no. her a magic winky face. Yeah, essentially, yeah. He, he gave me like a, like a. What do you think it what means? What does that mean? Does that mean Uriel's under the control? I don't understand. Is he playing some sort of long game here? We, it must mean that we have something to fear from Uriel. Or someone else close. I don't know who to trust anymore, to be totally honest. Really? Really? All right. I mean, he, I, he, he came, uh, it worked. I could feel it break, it worked. And he, he's got some sort of long game. I don't know if it's because he doesn't want Uriel to, to know for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because he has some deeper ulterior motive. I don't know. Do you think know. he was faking that he was healed and maybe he wasn't? Well, maybe we have to bring proof of their vampirism back? No. Oh. Wait. It, it, That's a different no subject. to Laura, to, to, to Vex. <laughs> I'm, I'm Vex. Mm-hmm. What was your question? To bring back proof of them being proof vampires. Would, proof, proof would help. Proof hey, would don't we have a prisoner? Oh shit. Can't we, can't we question oh, the no, prisoner? Oh no, is he like bleeding yeah. out? What if no, he's I, dead? I, We're so screwed. Oh, no, I, I made sorry. sure, <laughs> I made sure. Yeah, the, the kid, the, yeah. the guy that Percy shot the yeah. hand off of. I cauterized this wound, remember? You we, could, we could question him, he could have proof. Let's go what back and question! Oh shit, I oh, hope wait, everything's no, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, talk to a I go... Oh, Tiberius... Wait a minute! ...has the chair. The chair? I've got the conch! I, I desperately need to go to Laura. She was our best interest. We get it, you want her body. Yeah, no, he no, does. The time. Brown chicken, He's brown beyond. cow. There are several reasons to go. We need to get up the, the earring of, of, of telescription. We need, <clears throat> I need her to enchant something for me too. Uh, <clears throat> as well is. as the fact of, yeah. we need, uh, I fear that the uh, keep may be in danger. I would like to ask her if she may be able to set up a warding spell for a uh, warp or what kind can of you, danger. Can you, you go get her and bring her to the keep? I need to find out if this boy is all right. Well, well, we, yes, I can do that. Sure. we can I, split up, I, I can go with this you. Discussion, the palace doors open and <laughs> uh, you hear the quick footsteps of Alora rushing from the palace now, kind of running towards you guys. Saving like, the day, <sighs> again. She rushes up. Wait, and she's coming out of the she's palace? She's coming out of the palace behind you guys. Like after the council had just closed, the meeting had finished, she basically gave chase to you guys and is now catching up to you on the street. Okay. What the shit happened in there? We she were just up. talking about you. Everyone, um. 
don't fully know what happened last night, and, and she looks to you, Tiberius, and says, you didn't, did you? Please, please tell me you did not kill that woman. Oh, I absolutely did. Uh, but she was attacking us. It looks bad, but she was a threat. Her and another one with this, this, this what was he, a tiefling? Who, who, the name the Broker? Uh, you know, attacked us and... Brom's, Brom's divination is very clear. And he divined that the woman was currently filled with fear, attempting to flee, and unconscious when she was murdered. How did she flee when she was unconscious? No, that's true. She fled she when fled. unconscious. We knocked her out. We butchered her. We killed her. Uh, just accept it for what it is, guys. I'm, I just worry. I know not what happened here, and I, I heard what you said, and I, I honestly do not trust the Briarwoods myself either. There was something about that meal and the conversation and the presence that just put me off entirely. It was strange. And what you say makes a lot of sense. Vampirism is a bit beyond what I was expecting, and I did sense some powerful, m masqueraded arcane essence from Lady Briarwood. Um, look, I would recommend for this to do your best to be thorough in this. Bring back any and all information you can. From the words I hear, you probably have at best a few weeks before this comes to a close. And if you don't have enough evidence to support your argument, uh, I don't know. Shit. Allura, all I know how to do is break locks, but I've seen these people do things with magic that have defied expectations. Why can no one look into my memory? I've, you have looked across miles. Can not anyone look into my mind and see? They're going to do it. Yes, but that might not be proof enough for them. Someone They're could have corrupted vampires? your mind. You have to understand, not all arcane works that way. There are magics that can dabble in that realm, but none that specialize that in here in Mon. Divination, yes, there are elements of that. We can see the physical, we can see certain events, but to look into one's mind is... What of truth, there are no spells that can divine as someone speaking true. That was attempted during that council, but after you left, Brom notified uh, Uriel and the council that many of you were resistant to the spell, and as such, um, it could not be verified. Ah, shit. Shit. Rolled low. Oh, shit. I Our give power to the <laughs> power came Just bite tell us you're back. doing it, we won't resist it. What the shit doesn't even trust. Well, if we attached. came back with proof. What what sort of proof do you think they would accept? The head of Lady Briarwood? Well, it'll, it'll disappear the minute we kill her or something. They're vampires, I don't know what they do. She kinda gives a thought of that. She goes Interestingly enough. If an artifact or an item brought forth from them could be divined, that should tell all. An is artifact. there still the remaining wreckage of their carriage? Is that still there? The carriage has been disposed. Uh, it's been picked over, and there were remnants within the rubble of some sort of a, a sigil of <gasps> teleportation, but that is no sigil. I must sigil, if you will. <laughs> I must look at that. <laughs> what sort of artifact, like a brooch? Uh, or, or hang or are bag. we talking about that Some motherfucker's teeth? Vile blood. Sigil. 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 We're all learning together. Damn it. Sigil. Um, <laughs> uh, that, that uh, I believe, has all been investigated and kept under lock and key with uh, Asum. Um, we would have to speak with him. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to help. I cannot come with you. I'm working on something else at the moment. Um, Ah, then she reaches into a pocket and brings out your, uh, your, uh, oh. your earring of transcription. Oh, thank you so much, Lady of as she, as she hands it to you, she gives you a really, really concerned look and just says, just gives it to you and kind of hands it back. And it, 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 it's, a, it's a look of, of, and it hits you, it's a look of, of, Disappointment with a hint of heartbreak. Oh, it's the worst. Uh, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Oh, I feel like I failed you. Yeah. Um. She looks back to you as, as you take it and goes, 
Do your best to clear your name. I shall. I know you come of noble blood, and many of you stand to inspire many others of noble blood. Celebrated heroes of this city, there's a lot more on the line here besides just your well-being. There's a lot of people in this town that look up to you. Nevertheless, uh, I've already said more than I should. Good luck. Thank you, Alora. She kind of looks behind and you can see she takes this small uh, hood of the same material of her robe that she's wearing and kind of puts it up over her head and rushes off towards her white tower, towards the edge of the Cloudtop District. Damn, fucking Polish. No one inside checked her. <laughs> she's telling me. I think it's time to free. Let's go, let's go make sure the prisoner is dead. Yeah. All right, so wait, what are our avenues? We're gonna have to Columbo this. What are our avenues of finding proof? We, we have we a prisoner. We say as we're walking back to the keep. Yes. We have a prisoner we can question. Who knows if that will or we'll start there. yield anything. And then we might have to go gather evidence. And then we're Which yeah. means leaving Uriel's town word. against, yeah. Yeah, against Well, we're allowed word. to leave town. No, no. no. Yeah, no, no, no. He said we're allowed to leave. We just can't look flee. like we're fleeing. So we tell them where we're going. We we they can even fucking follow us. I don't care. So we tell them that we're going to the find evidence to clear our name. No, the no. people that they're trying to create a political relationship with. We're just going off to invade. You know your political allies. Oh come on, you half elves! I swear to God, in no, the neighborhood of lying. I before. want to go, but I just yeah, don't think we it's don't smart tell them them. where we're going. We're going on a field trip. We're going to pick berries. Fuck all, but we go there. <laughs> the only way we can go there is telling them. What, well, we're going there what for? When I talk to Rasum and get that sigil to their damn Briarwood Keep. That's how we get there. Why don't we say we're taking a picnic? Oh, we took a wrong turn. Hey, it's the Briarwood. We don't have to lie to them. We don't have to lie to them. We just tell them where we're going, and we can just go there. Don't we have know. to. We want to. You're, you're pretty. We don't need to tell the of that beardy side, Grog. Don't turn. It's a full beard no, right no, now. Oh, you're illusion. right. Nice. What you do know is the the sigil that a teleportation circle is attached to is known when you cast or create the circle. The circle does not necessarily indicate or maintain the sigil it's attached to. It's just like a piece of it. Meaning, meaning there, there are two parts to it. There is the sigil that it sends to, and there is the actual uh, the, the ritual circle that is created. The, the circle that attaches to it is not the same as the destination. It's, it, there are elements of it that connect it, but you would not be able to ascertain like a, a sigil to Whitestone immediately from looking at the initial circle. Okay. Thanks for the cups, guys. The cup. yeah. <laughs> I just <laughs> noticed that. <laughs> Well, let's go check on this poor. All right, we'll go check. Shit, we'll the go, and then the next step will be to find out, to seek out Seeker Asum. Maybe. Well, let's tell the truth. Just stop by the temple real quick. Pick up my decanter. How many errands do you have? To I have a bunch, dude. I made a, I made a list. Errands. That's smart. All right, go run your errands. We need to go look, uh, look in on the got a mystery to solve. Uh, yeah, I want to be there when we talk to the prisoner. Yeah, let's go too. talk to the prisoner. Okay, you guys make your way back to uh, Grayskull Keep. Are you going with them, or you're? I'm doing all the shit. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna. He's got a list. I, I, I'm gonna <laughs> stop. Like know the list. I'm gonna stop it. It's on the list. I'm gonna stop it at an armory, dude, because I want my my crossbow reinforced. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> I want. I want to learn a different don't know sigil. What that means. Uh, the one that I researched for the way sphere uh, or the 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 way. Oh come on. What are you? The Fey, the Fey Wild. Uh, the, there's this big city next to it that I researched that is near it, and that in that city what might be a sigil, so I'm gonna go see if I can learn it. And then, uh, and then, uh, and I start want a monster and come back and then start enchanting my blades. And, Shouldn't you take one of those? Day. Yeah. Okay. I can give it to you. I wrote it down. I just want it on my belt. <laughs> Coming so, soon on so, Friday night, The Adventures of Tiberius is <laughs> <laughs> 7 to 10 every Friday night on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to go to the dry cleaners <laughs> for my rope. <laughs> and, 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 no. All right, so as you begin that process, the rest yeah, of you continue said. back to the keep. Um, as you approach Grayskull Keep, there are two individuals waiting for you at the gate. You but don't, we didn't you ask didn't, her to enchant the keep. not recognize from a distance. Wait, 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 what's to say that again? There's two, dudes at the Two key. individuals waiting for you at the gate. You can see at a distance, but you don't recognize. There are handlers, It's probably. Big Brother. 
Grog, come on, let's go have a talk. Yeah, let's do that. I'm coming to I walk her with you. What? I walk with you. We're all going. Let's go <laughs> arm in arm in one all big line. Well, they're right at our fucking keep. It's not like we're all headed the same, same direction. But, 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 just before we sing but, the big doesn't guy have a ring. forward. A ring, ring of what? An earring. Oh. I have one right now. Uh, I think I do. I, I have one. one. I have one. And then we only one, two, one, two, three, five. How far away from the keep are we? Uh, you're probably a good hundred. Okay, I give it to Grog. Hundred fifty. So I think all this happened. Now. I whistle really loud. I say, "Who are these fucks in front of the key?" <laughs> to the guard <laughs> okay. that we have employed. <laughs> oh shit! Such a mess. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, let's try to see who's on duty right now. Circumstance right now. He has notes on who is on duty. I do, but I'm going to do it later. <laughs> oh, this, this, will, this will still be Shane and Cordell. Cordell. Would you care for an email this evening? Uh, Cordell shouts down and from the top of the wall and says, I don't think they're a threat. Well, I will be the judge of that, as you were. Grog, keep in mind, these are our allies. Um, hello. As you walk up and you get close, you get a better view. You're expecting ominous. Armored guards, somebody possibly assigned to escort you. Instead, you're greeted by what looks to be an, an older couple waiting at the gate. A man and a woman, dressed in simple clothes, weathered skin, and as they, as you call out to them, they both smile. You can see deep set smile lines. We in their hate faces. old people. <laughs> 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 who, who are you? Favorite enemy. <laughs> um, uh, they begin walking up, and uh, the man steps forward, and you can see as he's, you know, Small, dirty glasses. The end of his nose is. Hello, hello, and uh, good, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm sorry to be a bother, um, but unless my eyes, and tails do deceive me, might you all be the heroes known as Vox Machina? Oh man, why do we always get fans Wait, on our can worst I days? Can I check to see if these guys are legit? Don't legit worry. what? Old people? <laughs> you could be Lord and Lady Briarwood, bro. Oh, we know. Me too. I lose it. I Fuck. did well. I did well. Uh, I rolled an 18 on them. Okay. Uh, from what you can tell, they're both happy, simple folk that are here with a attention of purpose, but nothing that seems to set off any alarms. We are Vox Machina. Uh, I'm sure word of us has spread far and wide. We're a pretty big deal. Uh, why have you made this journey to us? The woman who's kind of holding aside kind of lets go of his arm and says, uh, we come to you humbly um, as representatives of the farming community uh, just north of Iman's Walls. Oh, I uh, love farmers. I am Riley Klaus, uh, and this is my husband, Ben. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Hi. Uh, you see, many of us here, we, we make our living through livestock and small crops. Uh, ben kind of takes over this point and says, Word is that sovereign, uh, the sovereign will be calling down troops from Fort Daxio for a while, so the need for meats and fresh produce uh, has been elevated. Uh, the the wife rally then says, uh, around this time, over the past two weeks, uh, a number of our finest cows and sheep have gone missing. Uh, no struggle or mess or signs of dire wolves, nothing. We suspected thieves initially, but we set up our neighbor's boy, Kyle, to watch over them till sunrise, and he saw the culprit. From what he described, a, a giant bird, uh, larger than anything he's ever seen or heard of. Uh, ben then takes over the conversation. Wings at least ten carts long, tip to tip. Uh, just swooped down, he said, without sound, and in one motion snatched up one of our most virile bull. Mr. Sims, just gone like that. Mr. Sims? That was the bull. Oh. Uh, Riley says, Kyle said he saw it fly northwest. Um, northwest? Can I do a nature oh. check to see if I can recognize the creature sure. he's describing? Sure. So he's not describing a dragon. 26. 26. Uh, there, you've seen some big birds in your time. This is... What they're describing is a lot bigger than any birds you've encountered in your experience. Um, you've you've heard whispers of larger birds in the wild, but you've never seen anything like that. Um, you uh, let's see this. Yeah, now this 
You haven't had any personal experience hearing or seeing anything of this size. But it is like a bird? That's what they described it as. When At did night. these birds start showing up? Uh, just about two weeks ago, when the whole thing started to happen. And then Ben kicks and says, should this keep up, most of us will lose everything before the year is out. Now, we, we've talked with the leaders of the farming community this side of Amon, and well, we've, we've scrounged up what we could, and oh. we can set up a couple of oh. verses, and she goes, 512 gold pieces, 37 silver, and 103 copper. Now that's that's all we can spare. You know what? Okay. Would you would How you esteem keep heroes? Keep your money. Yes, keep Please. your money. Well, we, you, we 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 can't possibly. Um, what Please. about this? What if you supplied us with a small stream of produce for our servants here at the keep, for cooking, for feeding them, for feeding us when we're here? That would be a sight less than five hundred. It wouldn't be nothing. You would still give us something. Yeah, yes. Yeah, but we could we could. Even more than happy to, yes, we could definitely. However, do that. despite what my companion is saying, we are not agreeing to go after this winged beast quite yet. We hear your plight and we sympathize and we will do what we can, but we have very pressing matters right now. Is there a is there a deadline of some sort? Like when when is your next uh, harvesting season or what? Probably. Well, I, I, I mean, there's, there's no deadline, but the longer that goes by, the more and more we lose by the night. Don't Two weeks worry, in, we lost half night, of our livestock. Every night. If a creature is this big, I imagine it eats quite a bit. And, and how, how long of a ride is it? Is it, is it like walking distance? To... Where? To, to, your, farm. Your, farm. Oh, to your farm. No, north side of Amon, no, yeah, no right. more than... Oh, so real close. Yes. We are friends of the elderly, obviously, and also of the farming community. So we are very interested in helping you. May we talk about it a bit before we decide how and when we would tackle this problem? They look at each other and kind of nod, and he kind of he, he taps their hands. Yes, yes, I mean, by all means, uh, just, if you could, please help us stop this beast from ruining our livelihood. And, and can you please tell us how to get to your place? Oh, well, so we can, do you normally stay there? Are you normally home? Uh, we, we, we wander about the community, but we do have a homestead. Uh, if you look, it's 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 the large uh, red wood and partially brick-based uh, homestead closest to the city walls uh, on the on the north uh, the north farm, uh, right outside of the mountain. It's it's kind of hard to miss we'll if you're heading that direction. We will find you, and we will quickly. Presently, we will find you, guys. We were told to sit and spin, basically. I mean. What's wrong with earning some brownie points no, in the eyes of yeah. your end? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Crowd, as friends of the Crow. elderly. First that. Crow. 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 Right, Crow. Um, <laughs> do they normally come at night, or have they ever abducted any of your sweet balls during the day? We've not seen it during the day. It'd be easier for us to identify if we had. It seems to only hunt at night. And, and have they ever messed night. with a It's a, a vampire human. bird. <laughs> not that we've heard of. Not we yet. And he kind of gives you the sudden look of realization and fear, and, and like pats and comforts his wife, who suddenly realizes, like, oh my, you know, are they going to take us now? Don't. We'll, we'll probably be by like to, tonight we'll, or tomorrow morning. Yes. Tomorrow morning at the latest. We I have think a little tonight bit would of probably business. be smart. Yeah. So we just. We're, we're, we're in the middle of doing something. We'll get to it. All right. Well, th thank you. We need to clear thank our conscience anyway. It'll be I take him by the hand us. and say, "We Don't. will see you presently. We will see you presently." Here, my business card. <laughs> and you can take that to the bank. You can't actually. It's worth nothing. <laughs> well, th thank you for listening to us, Amblon, and uh, we look forward to, to hearing from you in the next day. So well, you will. All right. Mm -hmm. Pat's her on the arm. Travel safe, Mr. Crowd. Hide your bull. Hide your wife. Seriously, <laughs> they both kind of want safe journey, safe travels. We are like in danger of like being dicks, ostracized. We should really be nice to everybody, right? Yeah, now. We need to be nice to everybody. Yeah. We were just having a conversation about how we should try to be nice yeah. <laughs> from now on. Yeah, but we do have I'm very do pressing matters. matters at yeah, let's get okay. in there and talk to them. We'll be there a while if you do it all. It's funny how that type of thing can come back to bite you in the ass. Uh, I call up to uh, Cordell. Oi, Cordell. Yeah? Remember when I told you not to let anyone linger outside the keep? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. 
To, to be fair, the Klauses are well known in the community, and and uh, the Krauts. The Klauses. Oh. They, uh, if they came here for business, I figured it was probably something you'd want to hear. But well, my by all means, by, by, by all means, use your judgment over the orders of your master. Fifth, that's fine. That's fine. Scanlan. He bows his head sheepishly. Oh. I, I apologize. Ignore him. Ignore him. We are here to help, people. We're here to help. Gonna does his finger like this, and the gates open in towards the inside We're of the screwed. keep wall. And what is wrong with you all today? Jeez, we had a really bad dinner last night. That's all. I head straight to the jail. Okay, yeah, I'm coming. Right, as you guys I'll are doing follow. that, as you guys are doing that, Tiberius, what's the first thing you're trying to do? Uh, stop by and pick up the decanter from the temple. Okay. Uh, it's. He said it required two days. It's been less than a day since oh, you dropped no, it off. Um, just, just so you're aware. Uh, then the only thing I do is uh, visit the the, the keep with the sigils uh, library, whatever. Oh, the the Lyceum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not going. I'm just going to go hang out up on the wall. Okay. Outside the keep. All right. As uh, you head to Lyceum, uh, the clerk lets you in. What are you specifically looking to find or research? The 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 sigil uh, that's closest to the uh, Feywild. Okay. There's um, in researching what they have at their disposal, you understand that the Feywild itself, uh, because it is a separate plane, the magics in which traversing it are a little more difficult to do. Uh, if you if you notice, and I'll confirm here just to be sure that we're on the same page, uh, before I go full on this here, pardon me, just a moment. I scan through the book, the mighty book. The Book of Might. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, sigils of teleportation require the same plane of existence, meaning you can teleport anywhere within the trimaterial plane that you exist in. To traverse into the Feywild, you have to actually find a door into the Feywild, and then you would be able to use a sigil from the Feywild. Then I only pick up my decanter. It's which not is ready not ready yet. yet. I don't do that. Damn, I forgot. <laughs> My short term memory is just jacked. It's just hanging, man. Just hang. It's all good. Somebody's um, been to the Feywild. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, the, the, the Feywild, what you do find is that uh, the Feywild, the boundaries between this realm and the Feywild tend to grow weaker at full moons. It's, it's, it's kind of tied to the moon cycle. Mm. Um, and at certain places where kind of nature is set to run wild. A lot of juridic tribes tend to mark these locations and in some cases actually guard them. Um, we know where a, a hole in one is. Mm-hmm. You have like it. a member of your party. Yeah. Cool. And, and, and if you this recall, good memory, uh, in the Frostwell, the, uh, the, the perpetually frozen forest where you had that conversation with the nymph, um, uh, that portal that she existed through was Specifically, a door into the Feywild, which you recognize. Was, what city was that near? Uh, that was south of Westrin. But out, then I'll go out to the ways. thing and I'll find the Western sigil. Okay. Um, through your research, you do find a sigil to Westrin. Um, this is allowing you to go into this portion for this sigil, uh, because you've already used the uh, the favor that you had to get the sigil of Craghammer. No, I didn't. I used the amulet and we got permission to come there. I saved that favor. This. Right, the favor for, for Gilmore. I was saying is, you, you used one of two favors to get that sigil. You have to invoke Gilmore's favor to yes. get this one. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Okay. And since you're part of the circumstance, you acquire the secondary sigil. You now know, and you remember permanently, a sigil to Western. You don't know where in West, Western, but you are connected there. And if you if you choose to teleport there, um, you know how to. Cool. Um, Wonderful. You also, that, that favor has now been uh, used by Gilmore. So then I go back to the keep. All right. Fables. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and take a five minute rest oh. break. Um, so, yeah, restroom, snacks, drinks, and we'll be back here in about five or so minutes. We'll see you guys and continue this snacks. tense adventure. So, break the law, break the law. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your Overlord here. And Mr. Ivan Van Norman, one of your awesome Twitch hosts. And we wanted to let you know about an extra special charity event we're doing this weekend for Extra Life and the Children's Miracle Network. So, the main focus of our charity drive is going to be this Saturday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m., but starting Friday at 4 p.m. with Group Hug, we're going to kick shit off with an extra episode and get those donations rolling in. And then after that, at 7 p.m. on Friday night, we have an extra special episode of Gather Your Party, where we're gonna be playing Rock Band, the new one. 
with the full band set up, with the whole ordeal. Just thinking it's about all of our hosts playing instrument, like and singing. Oh Don't forget God. singing. It's gonna be it's gonna be like a clash of karaoke and awesome. Luckily, and it's for the kids, <laughs> and I'll have to keep reminding myself of that when I want to punch myself in the face multiple times. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna do that till 11 p.m. Friday night. But then on Saturday, Saturday is gonna be a full 12 hours of board gaming and role playing. First, we're gonna start off with some card games. And then we're gonna do some critical rejects. We'll do some game to game fun. Yeah, we'll do some game to game fun. We'll do some group hug. Yeah. And then we'll probably be just playing party games throughout the day until we have a special episode of Critical Role. It's so special, I don't even know if we can call it Critical Role. We can. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Matt might be like, you can't call it Critical Role, but, but it's a special episode it's a of special. Critical Role that you guys should be very excited <laughs> about. But here's the thing, guys that's a 12 hour day this yeah. Saturday of special programming we're bringing you to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network uh, with Extra Life. Make sure and tune in this weekend guys for an extra special charity drive here on Geek and Sundry featuring all your favorite Geek and Sundry hosts as well as Nerdist. Starting right now, like the second you see this video, you can follow the link right here, click through to that link and you can go ahead and start donating or become a member of our team and let's start raising money like right now. It's for the children. So go out there and spread the word. You can have to guilt trip them with that, you know, like, it's a card. I played it. Are you ready to get your ass kicked? No! That's my boy! Uh, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 34 seconds remaining. Why you gotta like suck so bad? No, I'm a kid, I'm a kid. You're a really nice person, and I like your attitude and your candor. Bro, Fee join, Fee join! I have to kill something. I can't imagine what my farts are gonna smell like. <laughs> and you caused when you walked out the door and walked out of my life. We're gonna lay this out. I just took my paper pattern. This is the top of the helmet we did earlier. Yeah! Get up, Tricky! <laughs> oh, that is no way to treat a lady! What is wrong with you people? What's wrong with you? Oh my god! <laughs> Great! Welcome to the pool, guys. This is our weekly show here on Twitch. Thinks his superhuman powers makes him better than Lex Luthor. Well, he's wrong. What you say, bro? And I'm worried about the boner he's readying for you. Bonagram is back. And I'm so happy about it. There are many at comicbookwomen.com. <laughs> oh. T-shirt, T-shirt, what's on your effing T-shirt? Criminal landmine. Oh. <laughs> talking about some new Steam releases while they pay homage to classic games. You know, with, sure. with like a new school kind of take on it. It's like set in the 70s. It's an action adventure RPG, so it's camping in space. Welcome to the concession oh. stand. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I was thinking when I was in third grade. It's the great thing about my movies is I can go back to The Phantom Menace. Think, uh, you sound like George Jackson. Lucas meets Kermit the Frog. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's not easy being green. <laughs> <laughs> yep. These streets will make you feel brand new. They'll make you feel brand new. We are here on another episode of Game the Game. Today we are going to be playing Among the Stars. Flashpoint. Small World. Oh, they done does that! Star Realm, Star Wars, Armada, Sentinels, and the Multiverse. I have an amazing ragtag crew. Oh, Shade, wow. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. Warp one. Yeah. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Critical Role this week. Roll! 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 He smells like sandalwood. Oof, roll damage. Eight! Anyone do this? I roll the one. It because it is what I do. You said you need rock power! Oh uh, yes! What? What? We what? We alive? Oh, ooh, ooh, you're so scary. What the fuck just happened? Thanks so much for joining us on Group Hug. Shut up, Bane. I'll get to you in a second, all right? <laughs> you have been provided with a false idol. Don't be afraid and no. don't no. delay. No. I'm not the watcher, I'm the Phantom Stranger for the last time. So I'm sacrificing Jane. myself. Jane! If I be worthy. Welcome to Gather Your Party. Tonight we are playing Antimatter Matters. Our lack of food may be the end of us. Smoothies. Yes! There's some smoky Don't eye going on here. Rick Santoro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm nervous, I just do that. Hitler's brain. Okay. Yes! Wow! How much, how much time do we have? Hand me a cigarette, it's time to place better stakes are but I'm the game man. Oh, you weren't invited, you weren't invited. 
got the snacks, they've got the dye. You roll your stats as they get high. Get your vegan tempeh sandwich uh, away from uh, me! Uh, yeah. Yo, I'm a Jedi! I'm the Green Ranger! Time, Time to, to fight this invisible danger! I'm gonna draw into my win condition really fast. Hi guys! Welcome to Lady Games! Oh my god guys, we're here at E3! Uh, E3 2015. No more having to cheat! No more mystery! Me too! No more jam! No more jam! No more jam! No more jam. Gonna go to the mall! Gonna hang by the pool! Gonna talk to Roxanne!
Welcome back. So we've had our break. Uh, we've returned to the table. A quick note to you guys, we are 50 subscribers away from our next giveaway. Whoa. Oh, Come, on. Come on! So if we can get that, that'd be awesome. We have our giveaway of the, uh, the signed cast critical role photo and the cast signed uh, art poster by Kid Bus. Nice. So, uh, hey. Kid Bus, ladies and gentlemen. Kid Bus. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so as you guys have all returned to the keep, you have found yourselves um, down to the basement area. You hear the distant hanging of metal, an occasional, uh, some sort of a, a squeaking metallic noise, like something is being altered, turned, or uh, quenched in a water trough, like just the process of blacksmithing. Um, I go to the edge of the door and knock. As you knock, and it is a metal door, it's like a boom, boom, boom. Uh, <clears throat> the queen kind of stops, just hangs for a second. Percy, it's Keyleth. Not right now. Please. I'm sorry. I just need to clear my head. <clears throat> okay. We'll be here. Good job. A moment later, you yes. see you see Percy's eyes appear at the edge of the door. Hi, hi, hi. Um, just looking at them, you can see they look a little sunken, a little weary. Did you sleep? Not you didn't as much sleep. as I'd like. Do you need anything? His eyes kind of look away for a second, looks back at you. I'm all right, thank you. We went and saw Uriel. Everyone in the city hates us. <laughs> they but, think we're all criminals, yeah. Um, great. Uh-huh, uh, we're I gonna to get back to my fix work. it. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the slit shuts. Uh, oh, we'll see you later then. You guys, however, walk down to the other side of the cell, and it is a um, the cell door has been closed. The keys for it uh, are hanging on the nail bite. You guys have not used the cell to this point, and it is technically pristine or unused since the construction of the keep. Um, but the keys still hang in the key ring. On the inside of it, uh, there is no thatch. Nothing has been put in to really mark oh. the comfortable floor. And hanging from uh, manacles. <gasps> oh, God. Uh, he's hanging? Yeah, he's we're hanging. We're the worst. Yeah, we're the worst. <laughs> he was put in, by, put in as a prisoner to guards who oh, God. have a certain way of putting I go prisoners and get into the keys, the cell. and I, I, I take him down from the manacles. What? Okay. As she rushes into the cell, begins unlocking the manacles, he kind of, he's unconscious at this time. Uh, dirt streaked in his face and spatters of dried blood from the blast of the gun. Um, Good cut back up. You, uh... I go ahead and I administer a cure of wounds. Oh. Uh, I mean, the wound at this point has been cauterized. Um, <clears throat> you, you go up and cast heal wounds as he starts to come to consciousness kind of in a heap on the ground. <laughs> it appears... He may be healed of any damage you may still be sustaining from that, but like the fingers are gone. This is this is beyond the magic of what you're capable of. Right. Um, kind of comes to consciousness in the ground, dirtied, sore, just uh, essentially kind of broken before you. Does he look like he's been bitten at all? You want to inspect? Can I look at his neck? Yeah, well, he's. Go make an investigation check. Uh, Twenty. Okay. I mean, uh, you don't have a whole lot of medicinal experience, but you just take a moment and inspect both sides of his neck, kind of tilting his head side to side as he's kind of groaning and coming to, and uh, what's what's going on? Uh, looking at the sides of his neck, uh, there does not appear to be any sign of any puncture wounds, uh, anything that would be reminiscent of what your brother currently is healing from. Can I do an inside check to see if he's also under a mind control spell? At the moment, no because he is barely coming to consciousness. Okay. Uh, there isn't enough of a presence at the moment to really read past. Not enough of a mind? Not yet. <clears throat> okay. Hey there. <laughs> Welcome back. Where am I? Um, you are being held at the moment for your own safety. My own safety? Yeah. How? Oh. He kind of looks at his hand. Well, you were captured, and um, we're pretty sure the Briarwoods are going to be pissed as hell that um, 
you let the carriage get hit. So we're just trying to protect you, really. Really? 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 Well, sort of. I mean, his friends all died, so... Well, he didn't. Technically. Do we not feel like terrible people enough Let's already Let's not have this today? conversation in front of the prisoner. What's I'm your name, just boy? I'm it out. My name is Desmond. Desmond. Desmond Altham. Mm-hmm. I am the son of a messenger. A courier of the De Rollo family. He's the son of a messenger. That's like even more ironic. <laughs> Do you need All to right. step outside? No, I'm good. Continue. Son of a messenger. Ooh, uh, right uh, now, <coughs> everyone is at risk. The Briarwoods are bad people. You can attest to this, yes? Yes. 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 Can you tell us everything you know about them? It's not going to matter, they're going to find me. No one's supposed to get away. Well, get out did. of it. was always a first time. Uh, I, I don't even know where to begin. Um, and he kind of adjusts himself, sliding back, putting his wall against the back of the cell. I reach in the bag of holding, I pull out a little goblet, and I pour some ale into a cup. Ooh. And I had um, a little bit of ale. It's a good cup. Mm. No, it's fine. I don't. take a little sip. Please don't take offense if I don't trust to drink from strangers who've, well, to be honest, put me in this position. All right, I'll put it beside him. <laughs> That's just for you, Lemon and What do you want to know? We want to know if the Briarwoods... Are vampires. If, yeah, pretty much. They're vampires, right? I mean, they're vampires. <coughs> uh, all I know from... Uh, this from the stories I've heard. One's mothers would tell their kids not to wander out tonight, because... Dark things crawl in the shadows. From what I know, vampires are not supposed to go during the day, right? But I'm sure I've seen at least Lady Briarwood walk in the sun many a time. Okay. Only Lady Briarwood? As I recall, yes. Lord Briarwood doesn't, doesn't make too many public appearances. Oh. Okay. Have there been any strange uh, goings on in their residence? Uh, sounds that you've heard, <laughs> people disappearing, <laughs> boxes kind of coming in or out? I, uh, I, I, cast, I cast cure wounds on him while you he's talking. You cast cure wounds? I don't know cure wounds, bitches! <laughs> Level up! Have I reached the keep yet, by the way? Is that? From the Lyceum? How far away? Have I reached the keep yet from there? No, not yet. Uh, you're probably about an hour away at this point from the time you've taken to research, find this, learn the Sigil of the West Run, and begin your trek back. You're, fortunately, you got what you wanted, but you're out of the picture for a little okay. bit. Um, he he kind of flinches as you put your hand up, and as you touch him, he kind I'm of. I'm already ex- touching him. I know, but he exhales like you get to him as just as he can react briefly. Eleven. Oh wait, plus my. Do I add anything to that? Uh, my I believe you had your wisdom modifier to that. Fourteen. Okay. Here it goes. Look. My father worked for the Dorello family before the Briarwoods came. My father vanished the night of their fall. My mother was taking the madness and lost to the night this past year. I was left alone. However, I, I knew the roads well between here and, and Whitestone and places between growing up and traveling with my father. So I, I was made to be a coachman for the new nobles. I was paid, albeit little, and I was left alone. No. When I say the new nobles, there were nobles that lived in Whitestone that, that 
worked along with the Dorolos and they helped oversee parts of the, the town and the business and the people and they had been there for many generations of their respective families, all under the Dorolos guidance. But the night the castle fell, those nobles were dragged out. It's strange, I mean, after the brutality of that first night, it took days before the people of Whitestone knew what had happened. And we saw the fires, we, we, we heard the battles, but no word of the victors until three days had passed. We were too scared to approach. By then, the Brywoods called a town meeting. They explained their new rule over the town. A number objected, which is expected. Any strong will folk in Whitestone those days. And they were subsequently shot down at Arrow Point. The rest were quiet. They then dragged out the noble families and executed them, gifting their property and titles to the various cutthroats and mercenaries they had hired, brought across the channel to help them take the town. They're not just two people. They've used a lot of money and influence from wherever they came from and brought with them a whole slew of very dastardly and immoral folk who have since been given the titles that was once held by the other nobles of Whitestone, living in their homes, taking their tithes and most of the profits made from the businesses they've now forced us to continue to run from within the city. A number of families fled into the woods the night after the executions, using the shadows of a moonless evening to keep safe. And they were all found hanging from the sun tree the next morning. They kept things going as they were mostly farming, logging, manning the white marble mines. Their business went as usual. All fill in the pockets of the new nobles and the Briarwoods, and we were given food, kept our immediate property, and as long as we didn't attempt to leave, we were promised safety. That lasted for a few years, until the nobles grew bald, or twitchy. They began to abuse the people of Whitestone, scare us for fun, brand, cut, steal the children leave them back, destroyed. They treat us like animals. Folks went missing. I was beaten so bad by my employer, Count Tyleri. But Lord Briarwood noticed one night he was passing through the city. He saw wounds on my back when he was meeting with Count Tyleri. When he asked me in private how I got them, I couldn't lie. Couldn't resist him. He has a way of just... Just throwing the truth out of you. Now he told me this unrefined violence was boorish to him and his wife, and... That was the last I ever saw of Lord Tyleri. Lord and Lady Briarwood took me in as their own driver and showed me... Tyleri hanging from that same sun tree the next morning. I was thankful then. In a strange way, life had been so terrible for so long. It was the first time I saw someone reach out and save me. They took me in as the driver after that. It's a better thing to be away from the anger and the fists of the thugs. But the more I got to know the Briarwoods, the more nightmarish, I realized they were. Behind the walls of that castle it was no longer a grand fortress that we heard was seeing it. Keeping watch and guard over people. No, no, that, that was a domain of perverse magics and sacrilege. It was the green fog drifting out from the ground where it stood. The, The same servants still run the halls, but they aren't living. They're walking vessels of undeath. Their flesh 
slowly tearing away. The garden in back lies shriveled. A foul green mist forever pouring out. They're excavating something in the dungeon. Plundering pieces. A lot of their attention seems to be down there. I don't know why. I do not wander too far down. They bring up old things. Ancient things. Relics. Books. Bones. You live in that world long enough. You believe there is no way out. Death would be easy. I've seen that death is no real end there. It's just the beginning of a whole new terrible existence. Our worst fate. If we keep you here, protected, would you be willing to tell your story to someone else? Who would you want me to tell it to? The Emperor. The guards here. An army that could go and fight the Briarwoods. Maybe. This could be an option to save Whitestone. And you would have your freedom. I don't know nothing. <laughs> you don't know what it's done. You don't know what they've done. They're gonna find me. Now we can protect you. We're, we we are safe here in this keep, and we you're surrounded by very powerful people, allies now. We've stood before them and we did not fall. It's true. We think about it. Would you like to stay in the guest room upstairs? Uh, oh, me. That's okay. Be more comfortable. You could get a good night's rest. Far more comfortable. A little less safe. I'm gonna put it out there. <laughs> that resonates with him immediately, and his eyes flash open. We know disrespect, but if this is safe, I'd rather stay here. I think it is, and we will bring a bed down to you, make sure you're comfortable. I don't want you sleeping on the floor, that's terrible. You're all being very accommodating. You'll get every consideration for protection. We value your info very much. You're also kind of the key to our own freedom, so it's kind of important. You also caught us on a day where we we're trying to be nicer to people. <laughs> 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 Lucky for you. Just be glad you're not an old woman. <laughs> Stay here for now. All right. I need, need to think on it. I've been promised such protection before. From the Briarwoods? From a few, and that's okay. An enemy of an enemy doesn't necessarily make them a friend of discovered. Yeah. No, it's true. but it can make them allies if they have mutual enemies. Of their enemies. Ish. Of their enemies. <laughs> you see, like, it's a, like little, it's a little complicated. This whole conversation, the emotional recalling of everything you can see has been very taxing on him, and it is kind of still partially. You know, mostly conscious state. He he looks exhausted, scared, and still trying to kind of suss out all the information coming at him right now. Totally. Grog, why don't you carry the bed down from That's upstairs? Exactly what I was going to say. Not a problem. Keep your you know keep the goblet nearby. It is very nice here. Would you like something to eat? Yes, please. Please. Have our staff bring down some food. He kind of takes the goblet and kind of holds. He looks at it and smells it, but still just kind of holds it at bay as you walk off. You eventually go. Easy enough for you to <laughs> take the bed. You have to kind of like turn it to the side to take it out, which causes all the cushions to fall out, and you're like, oh, oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> do I, 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 I grab a little pillow with my toes? You know, pop it down. It takes roughly about 20 minutes and three trips, but you manage to get the bed down there from the guest room. Not a problem, not a problem. It, it, it's one of those things when you fit it in the cell, and it is not a large cell, it's, it's maybe 10 by 10 feet maximum. Okay. 
Okay, give it some time to eat. You uh, you place it there. Um, uh, and as as you as you guys walk back, you um, you notice uh, as you see Grog walking back down the stairway, right around the corner, because they the, as you go down the steps, the hallway goes in the cell and it goes down, turns to the right and then left into the workshop. You see around the corner a shoulder. Listening in, is a person, and you recognize that it is Percy. Percy has stepped out of the workshop and apparently has been hearing everything this entire time. Are you all right? I'm fine. And Percy immediately steps away, and you hear the door. Percy, door wait! Slam. Give him time. So moody. Sweet. Um, is there a lock on the? So yeah, you. I'm gonna lock Matthew. it. I'm just gonna lock your door. To make sure you're safe, make sure nobody can get in. Well, in case the briar woods gave your brain a tickle. Him away from me. Right, right. Who Over is that? Hand. He's a friend. I, I know it doesn't seem like it from the condition of your paw, but he's a friend. He's just uh, he's in the same boat as you, trying to stay safe from danger. We assure you. Briarwoods uh, destroyed his family as well. And you see now there's like this look of, of tension on his face that's kind of makes him like tired and kind of like eventually finding the bed and takes the goblet. You still feel it has not drunk from it, just kind of slips it next to the side of the bed. Eventually food is brought down. Uh, and a chamber pot, because come on. Yeah. Because yeah. come on. Yeah. All, all, all the basic pleasantries were brought within the cell. Okay, good. Um, kind of lies in the bed and the pl- takes the plate up with him and starts just scarfing some of the, the bread rolls down and immediately starts going for the, the mashed potatoes and it's just like, you can see a decent meal hasn't been had in quite a while, especially the journey. What is essentially a seven, eight day journey from Whitestone probably was not been very kind to him. Um, eats and then promptly passes out on the bed, like food still kind of mashed on the side of the face, just goes straight into his slumber. Is there any entrance to the uh, cell area besides the door? No, like barred windows or anything like that. No, no, because underground, it's all solid, uh, solid stone walls, and there is the the barred front door, and then just goes right into the hallway that goes up the stairs to your left and across the way and around the corner to the workshop. You can't cast any kind of yeah, like a thing, a barrier maybe, so that Percy can't um, get anything through the. Let me or go in. My spell tome. It's not a common one. It's not you know. It's kind of situational, but uh, let me check real quick. Scanlon, I haven't like read that? that chapter. Of Can you shit book? on the floor? And is is the lure is on the way back yeah. from where uh, the Lyceum? Sleep, I'll sleep hmm? in the room. Is the lure is on the way back from the Lyceum? Where's oh. that? No, the Lyceum is in the the erudite district. Uh, Allura's tower is in the cloud top, which is the central part of the lawn. Okay. Um. Do you want to go check out that bird creature at the farmhouse tonight? Yes. Well, can, uh, we've stationed a guard down there. We should. We, can, we have yes. five or six. All right, I'll go talk to Cordell. <clears throat> no, 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 not Cordell. Let's get somebody else. Get the get the crossbow guy that we like so much. Yeah. The guy that's the captain of the guards. Uh, is that Kendrick or Shay Trent? Oh, the the girl? No, the guy. He's he's awesome, and he he's a archer as well. Jarrett. Jarrett. Mm-hmm. That's it. All right, we'll get Jarrett. Oh, Jarrett. <laughs> <laughs> You make your way to the back part of the wall, and there is a small tower that's constructed as part of the back wall. That's where Jarrett usually uh, keeps watch. Jarrett has kind of the in-between shift between the guards, so he can be present for both sides and kind of keep watch during the um, the afternoon to the nighttime, probably till about midnight or so. Um, so as you make your way out of the out of the uh, the keep, um, Tiberius, are you heading back to the keep, or are you heading toward the Cloud Top District? This will this will dictate whether or not you show up around this time. So, um, I'm going to Alurus. Okay. I'm staying down in the the prison just for the time being. I okay. don't want to leave him alone with. Person. All right. So uh, you you go to 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 find a Jarrett who's up in the top of the tower, and as you call to him, Jarrett kind of leans over, and you see him. You know, uh, short, uh, jet black hair, uh, darker complexion, um, uh, very very handsome. Uh, Younger, kind of early twenties guy, well dressed uh, over his, uh, his studded leather armor that he wears underneath, and has the crossbow on the side. He leans over. Scanlan, it has been some time. It is so good to hear from you. Um, what can I be of service for? We need you to watch prisoner for us downstairs in our 
in our jail cell, which we had built and are now using. Uh, but it's a, it's you'll be guarding the prisoner, make sure he doesn't escape, but also making sure he stays safe. He's uh, his, he possesses information that's very valuable to us, and. One of the people who hires you might try to kill him. So if Percy tries to go in there, can you stop him without hurting either party? I imagine this would be very well suited for my skill set. Oh. I, I, it will be strange to keep you watch against one of my employers, but uh, he's been a bit sheepish around me anyway. <laughs> you think you, you think you can take Percy? Well, I think at least I can talk some sense into him. I like him. Wow, wow. he's a badass. This guy. Yeah. That's awesome. Just out of curiosity, if he was running at you, what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> Something very cool. Well, first and foremost, I would uh, dive in the forward motion, leg out, to uh, put him <laughs> off balance. Um, this is beef from a frontal melee. You're messing with me, aren't you? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Ah, uh, gnomes. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you need anything to, to help? I can leave you. I have access to my own private armory, and uh, I have I have utmost faith. All right. <laughs> well, keep him safe, and there's an extra five gold in oh, it for you. Ten, oh, ten, 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 ten gold. Gnomes. Terrible. I don't know how money works. I, well, I'll talk to. Him. Max about it. <laughs> Certainly. All right, I will do this. And he, uh, he stands up and goes and starts gathering his general set of supplies inside the guard tower. Uh, as you walk back to the keep, you hear him whistle and start calling out to, uh, to Shane to go ahead and take over uh, up in the tower. So. Um, uh, I wasn't there for any of that. I was upstairs on the, on the roof just. Just looking over. Just thinking. Tiberius. Um, yes. You make your way. Into the top, top district. I don't know. Um, as you come to the front gates of the district, mm -hmm. the guards that normally recognize you and welcome you in recognize you and stand firm, weapons at the ready. At Allura's Tower? At the Cloud Top District entirely. You guys had to get written permission to enter there when you first came to Amon anyway, since that's where the nobility and many of the important figures of Amon reside. Mm. Um, it appears that since you've been taken out of the council and you're under investigation, mm. um, your access to such a sensitive location with the Iman has been temporarily revoked, and the guards are not letting Damn you through. It. Damn it. Uh, oh, no. They're just not, well, is that, so is that it? So I just turn around, go back? It's up to you. Oh. Uh, and the guards are just there, I stand Burn them all alive. Oh, okay, right. Uh, <laughs> I cast them out. Um, uh, uh, greetings and salutations. Uh, I'm Tiberius Stormwind <laughs> from Draconia. Uh, moreover, a uh, member of Ox Machina over at Grayskull Keep. Um, <clears throat> I was, uh, it seems that you all are uh, posturing and whatnot. <laughs> it's adorable. <clears throat> but I'm here to see uh, Lady Olora. Uh, could you let her know that I would like to speak to her or get out of my way so I can just go over there and tell her myself? We have direct orders to not let you or any other member of Vox Machina into the Cloud Top District until your investigation is complete. So, no, and no. <laughs> well, do the do the do the second thing. Like, <laughs> if you don't do one thing, do one of the other things. Yeah. Your information and wish has been processed, taken in consideration. Thank you very much. Oh, it please has, be on your way. It has been processed. Oh, that's good to know. I'm, I appreciate that. Um, mm, it, 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 very well. Uh, I cast Fly myself and I go back to the keep. Okay. <laughs> they <It's> both. <laughs> <laughs> Did not expect that exit. <laughs> oh, well, I could try to say that every day. <laughs> <laughs> You're just essentially like. Super Superman. Superman. You're like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. A little cloud of smoke in the shape of a dragonborn left behind. <laughs> um, all right, so as you cruise over, uh, you see in the distance from where you're standing at the top of the keep, you see a distant uh, bead of uh, dark shadow that approaches and grows larger, and it is a is air cruising right? Tiberius oh. making his way towards the keep. I kind of hide behind. Uh, I don't want to get hit, so I'm going to just crouch down a little bit carefully behind one of the uh, pieces of wall. Okay. 
Uh, Tiberius makes rough landings sometimes. We land inside the wall. Land into the fuck fucking up. Oh, oh. Easy, oh. easy. easy. <laughs> Be careful. Huh? Sorry. Hi. What are you doing? Are you up here thinking? <laughs> are you up here thinking? <laughs> well, I suppose I was. Um, yeah, the others are downstairs uh, interrogating that boy. Oh. Uh, uh, where have you been? Uh, off doing things uh, that wasn't really that productive <laughs> <laughs> overall. Um, <laughs> But uh, they don't like me anywhere, uh, <laughs> especially now. Do you uh, uh, do you want to have a drink? Yes, actually, I do. I would flask. Yeah. You normally drink water. You want a shot, though? Oh no, yes, I would love some alcohol. I, this is this calls for um, alcohol. I pull out my flask and and am amazed because I've never seen this, nope. and I just I hand it over to him. <laughs> Oh, yes. Did you eat the flask? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fire breath. Oh, okay. Do you, want to, do you want to pass that bad boy back? Is it hot? It's empty. Touch. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> well, Dragonborn does not know how to drink. I guess it was worth it. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't you tell me how to drink. Oh, you. Uh, I'll come out um, <laughs> from the castle into the courtyard. I go, hey, I feel like chicken tonight. Can we go hunt this big bird? Mm. Um, uh, 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 Tiberius, I just got him drunk. Uh, really? Yeah. He gave me a shot of his flash bottle, and it's so good. Are you sure you didn't hit him with the blunt side of your no, knife no, again? No, no, he just took a shot of the old fire water. I don't drink very often, but I can't, the Lord doesn't like me anymore, because I killed that bitch who tried to kill us, and now she's fucking everyone, nobody likes us. Oh boy. In Let's find Keyleth, I think. Oh she's boy. Yeah. Well, I'm smart. Nice. Oh, Keyleth! Keyleth. 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 Oh. You are so funny. I, I love your jokes. But... Tibbs got turned up. Will you fix it? <laughs> oh! You, in fact, give me how your highness. What did you do? Oh, Why I, are you touching me? I love protecting you. It is our luck. He, is, he loves Don't you. Don't touch so. me right That's now. Yeah. He did a little, um, you know. Me. See, I'm telling you, nobody likes me. I don't I know what's going on. I gave him his first drinky. I'm sorry. Could, we, could you, you could pull him out of it? What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say oh, no. He didn't leave me any. He's good. I'm good. <coughs> Hi. How are you? I'm Tybiz. It's Tybiz. <laughs> <laughs> you are Princess Pretty Face. He likes you too. Vax <laughs> <laughs> just walks away <laughs> off the roof, out of here. I'm gone. <laughs> Grog is riveted. Human kissy mouth. <laughs> you is. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. If you touch me oh. one more time. Okay, is it alright? Did you need to go somewhere? I am doing <laughs> something else. A request that was already made previously before. Can we fix drunk Tiberius? So I'm a little busy. Why don't you go sleep it off, take a nap, and I will deal with you in a second. Is it sleepy time? For you. Should you come and cast Fireball? Okay, oh nope. my okay. god! <laughs> and I just shove him into the cell in and put him in bed next to Dev. Dev no, no, we're, Dev we're not in the prison. We're out in the courtyard. We're out in the courtyard. Oh, we're on the. I thought you said everyone was like Keith. Yes, I called out to the whole. I'm still key. in the prison. Everybody else is out of the prison. Roof. The roof is on fire. So where do you put him? Off, I guess. Off, off the, the roof. <laughs> no. That's cool. I thought we were downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I fall off the roof. It's all right. These mistakes happen. You, myself, you right? don't Indy, fall off the roof. <laughs> I don't know what I do with him. I let him pass out. I'm going to get a sandwich. <laughs> I let him go get a sandwich. Tiberius. I encourage sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the quote of the night. <laughs> so, with encourage to get a sandwich, Tiberius wanders off. Uh, what are you doing to? Prepare what you were doing. For. I don't know. I got distracted. I'm not there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, as the day progresses, what would my you guys idea. Like to do? Wait, wait. So okay. my idea. Okay. So, okay, we were wanting extra fortification. What? I. We were wanting yes. extra oh, yes, protection. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I can't necessarily cast like a big spell. I could cast. Hallucinatory terrain. We have a few options. I'm giving them to you all. Cool. I could cast hallucinatory terrain to make this look like something else. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. If that's a good idea. Okay. I okay. don't know. Um, I could conjure a few woodland beings. 
for like you know extra bears. We could have some bears. Oh, okay. cool. Uh, cool. Guarding the palace. It's good to know. Um, I could also throw up a wall of thorns to kind of barrier. I like the wall of thorns. thorns. I'm not the wall actually of thorns. Like um, are, you're not here. Well, I was downstairs. I think everyone we... left. I think it's just you and me up here <laughs> and drunk Tiberian. I'm just drunk. I'm not making any sense. No, no, I went downstairs no. and I'm saying this to the group so oh, yeah, I don't good, have to good, repeat good. myself. Good. Okay. Good. Oh, so then I turn around with my sandwich like, well, we have to just make a Laura give talk to us. She can fix everything. She can work. I grab Tiberius' belt and I cover it. She can. Mm. Mm. She, oh. Please continue. Wall of Thorns could be good. I like Wall of Thorns. That plus our guards. I mean, it's not, how big is the, uh, it, it, the thing with Wallace Thorns is it's not super big. It's like 60 feet. That's um, pretty big. It's not the whole place. Yeah. It's not the whole place, though. Huge. It could be extra. Oh, 60 feet long. I thought you meant size. Really high. high. No, it's like 100 feet high. It's, it's really high. Or actually, I don't know how high it yeah, is. Don't quote me on that. Like, but it's not mm. yeah. that long, but we could like fortify the doors more, have bears. We could do multiple things, too. We, I think that the uh, the hallucinatory terrain wouldn't work. I felt like they could see right through. I think so too. From on the, the Briarwoods, probably. Yeah, they yeah. can see through yes. illusions pretty darn well. Listen, Percy's so here. He bears? can defend for us. No, we need a warding spell. Oh God! <laughs> Why don't we just leave someone behind? Percy's behind. <laughs> Where's it? Percy's here, and so are five or six. How many employees? Are we very, very, very yeah. capable guards. Yeah. Mm. Why don't we leave? How long? Why don't you make some extra bears, bears that don't hate us? Okay. Huh? Why don't you make some extra bears that don't hate us? All right, I'll make some extra bears. Put your little hats on them and make them cute. Can you make the bears? Fix him. He's right. a lot of firepower. For I cast. I'm having a sandwich. It's good. What gets rid of drunkness? Maybe restoration? restoration. Coffee. Coffee. Restoration would probably. Take I don't want to burn a restoration spell on your drunkness. Are we so going to the store? Do you need? Could also just give it a couple hours. I mean. Uh, what is your problem, man? Drink a lot of water. What is it was riding me on? I'm. At this point, fire. it's probably close to. Good. I hate you so much, Max. Three o'clock in the afternoon. Max, so, good. so it's three o'clock in the afternoon. The dog of water. Oh, the bird doesn't even come. The dog of water. The bird doesn't even come till night. We can let him wear it off. What time is go. it? Three, three o'clock in the just afternoon. Establish this. We're gonna wait till night and go. What though? All right. She said she hated you. How yeah. did that feel? Fine. Yeah. That was fine. All right. She was just, that was the heat of the moment. She was angry. Mm -hmm. We're What's a team. <laughs> All right, so, what's the plan, guys? The plan we're is gonna, we're, we're going to let wait. him sober up for, we're going to give him some coffee, and then we're going to set off for the north, the, the north yeah, farmlands the farm, at so dusk. Oh, yes, the we bird. should get some corn and okay. other harvestments in the farms. <laughs> I make an army of bears. Okay, oh. this concentration will last an hour. Oh, that's it. The contra then being? We'll be fine. Wait, wait, We're just wait. On the other no, side no, 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 Hang on, 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 hang on. Um, what if I conjure a bear and then cast? What's the ring? Let me make sure. While they figure their stuff out, see, we're all figuring stuff out. What if I leave? Where's the money? Trinket. Trinket in the prison. Leave trinket. With Jared. Yeah. Jared? That won't freak him out at well, all. Well, with Cordell, Jared's down in the cell. We want, well, this is defense against invading vampires, not against. Okay, I have a better vampires. idea. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> this is an involved to wait here. Why don't I conjure an elemental and then I can cast plane or binding on him and he'll hang out for 24 hours? Great. I like it, do, do it. it. All right. Make it done. Do that. Let's Make go kill a bird. Lead with that. Next Number one. Time. I was, you know, figuring it out. It's new. You gotta talk it through. Figuring it out. That's awesome. Um. Yeah. That'll do. Yeah. Uh, Don't be a part of fire. Can you do fire? Yeah, fire. What about water? What about running water? Fire elemental. Mm. Running water. Ooh, water <laughs> elemental. <gasps> Tiberius, remember that you. He's drunk. I know. Don't talk to him. All right, Vic. He won't remember anything. I don't know how you shoot arrows at things, eyeballs. Told you. Um, it's like. Oh, I use a minor illusion to create uh, a Lockheed, and I have him just sort of scamper away. But it's you, but where are you going? You go tell your, pa tell your brother <laughs> to be good. Anyway, you're so pretty. So are you doing that, Bert? What? Keyleth, are you... Oh. Anyway, what are you saying? Yes. Okay. Which kind? Um, 
A water elemental. Okay, and you cast Planar Binding. Uh, part of the material component cost is a gem that's worth at least a thousand gold pieces. Hmm. Okay, here's the thing. I have one of those. Oh, mm. yeah. You? Yeah, well, it's a jewel Magic that's battle, red and palm sized. Ta- I have a diamond of awesome. And a regular diamond as well. If I <laughs> if I create a trap here, can you bind some, some magic to it? I have some stuff too. You can do everything with magic. You can, you can make you things go. The... You can make things stop. I cover mm-hmm. Tiberius' mouth again. I give her a diamond. <laughs> Bing. All right, is this the awesome diamond or the regular diamond? This is a regular diamond. The awesome diamond is special. to vex through the right. mouth. No, no, don't do that. I know, why do you do that? Do what? what diamonds are, you? are really expensive. Any I diamonds. I know, and an awesome diamond has got to be more than a thousand, it's right? Way so more this than diamond has got to be at least a thousand. Just give her, give, Frog, her the, give her the awesome diamond. Frog, what kind of jewel do you have? It's a palm sized. I'm assuming ruby. It's just a just palm-sized a... ruby. Yeah, pa- and it, I got a big palm. Tiberius. I, oh, don't, man. No, just hey, don't, don't. You're, I look at what did you, the thing is back, back in Zertonia, they had the best eye. little fluffy cakes. Is able to ascertain that the palm-sized ruby is worth roughly 1,200 gold pieces and would be suitable for this ritual. I think we should use a ruby. Just because, you know, I have an eye for these things. Yeah. Do we think they're going to come while we do this? Do we want to waste it? Because that's an awesome outside defense. Do we want to waste it for this? What if they're coming? What if they're coming? They might. Does it it cost one jewel per? Yeah. We should should say that, because that's awesome. Uh, Is there a possibility, DM, that I could, if he sobered up, if I set a trap that a spell of his could be bound to it somehow? I have no idea. Uh, it's hard to say. There are certain spells that can enable that. Yeah. That can take certain spells that trigger at a certain time. Um, like nothing that's it. particularly in your guys' realm of experience or understanding, though, unfortunately. All right, so I can look into it for the future, but not yeah. today. Feel it. I like that. I think we should keep it in case there is an actual attack coming, because it might just 24 hours and then we waste it with no <laughs> cave. Grog is a to big fair, thing. To be fair, the castle is being heavily like watched by outsiders. Does anybody know? Okay, it? okay, listen. Let's right. let's just go. Yeah. Grog is big. I'm gonna give. Scan and small. Everything is great. Hi. Can we leave? Can we leave Trink here yeah. to watch? Yeah, he's staying. Well, uh, he's gonna go down in the prison me. with Jared. Just gonna let it happen. Okay. Huh? You bring uh, Trinket down. Um, <coughs> Trinket stands watch right in the center, kind of plops down right up against the bars. I knock on Percy's door and say, Percy. Yes. Trinkets out here. He's he's. If you need anything, you just come out and you pet him. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> I also go up to the door and go. Trinket, you have a, a, a pressy. You have Aren't a, you you're not sober there. yet? No. How many hours has it been? It's been like, like five minutes, hasn't it? Yeah. Like, well, I, over time, over the next hour, like two, three hours or so, um, you guys have set up a place to go. You've They've had given you some water, and you've managed to sober up a bit. Oh, I actually picked his pocket and took his bottle of endless water. Don't you have a bottle of water like that? Uh, no, that is currently left to be uh, currently it's a declare, it's uh, a blessed uh, for holy water. Um, oh well. And we take the scenic route to let him walk it off as we head up towards Big Bird's house. Mm-hmm. Great. Mm-hmm. All right. So. Uh, you guys make your way around the outskirts of Iman uh, under moonlight. It's you know, a three-quarter uh, waxy moon. You make your way to the farm vicinity on the north side of the city. Uh, it doesn't take long for you to eventually suss out the house that matches the description that you were given uh, by the, the classes. Um, you knock on the door and they uh, eagerly greet your arrival and, 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 and kind of invite you in. You know, I'm so, so glad y'all could make it. Um, have, have you decided? Have you given our community's uh, request some thought? We're here to help. We're, We're here the to heroes kill some that giant you asked birds. for. We love old people. Thank you. I, that, that'll, that, that's, that's really, really good of you. Um, we will we will happily provide you with, with fresh produce going forward. We, we've talked to a few members of the community, and we're that's going fine, to make fine. sure that's taken where, care where of. Where do you think we should stake out this uh, bird? 
Where are your livestock kept? The livestock are kept on the uh, the eastern side of this community. If you look about, say, about a half a mile out to, uh, to where the uh, the actual residences stop being clustered together, you'll see there are a number of, of large uh, livestock containment areas. It's kind of hard to miss out there. We have pins for sheep, we have pins for cows, we have pins for horses, uh, other you know, beasts of burden. We have uh, that whole vicinity is where most of these attacks seem to be coming, so uh, that's probably your best bet there. And the biggest you have are the bulls, you said. Oh, bulls? We have a few big cows as well. We've lost a few of them, unfortunately. Uh, That'll let's go all. deal with this bullshit. That'll thing. be all we need. Oh. oh. Can one of us polymorph into a giant cow? I'm sure. Mm hmm. I could also talk to cows again. Maybe oh. these cows will know something. They're cows. They're cool. dumb. The cows. They're not we head out. We head out too. Wait, first, 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 first. Can I ask her? Um, oh, oh, where you said your neighbor boy, Kyle? Kyle, the neighbor boy. Kyle. The neighbor boy's son. I think there's only oh, one. That's true. Kyle's the one who originally Kyle. spotted it. Yeah. Oh, where, where does he live? Uh, he lived, he is actually the, the, the son of the man who runs most of the livestock uh, areas over there. You can go in and head over there. He's probably still up, keeping his eye out in case it comes back. Thank you. I right, go to Kyle. Okay. You guys make your way over there. It's easy to find. There's large pins. Uh, um, you can see that for as, as big as the pins are built and the structure, they are noticeably dwindled. Um, and you can see why there's been some worry in the community here. The fact that it's only going on for two weeks in this many uh, Creatures are gone. It's a little disconcerting. Um, as you get there, you can see the house has its light on. Uh, there are you know, glowing windows, and sitting in a chair, holding a crossbow across his lap, you see uh, about a 19-year-old boy, kind of rugged, uh, chin growth, um, kind of dirty red hair that's kind of disheveled, and he's just sitting there, kind of looking around in the sky, rocking back and forth in his chair as you approach. Hey, who goes there? Uh, don't worry, we're friends. We're friends of the Klauses. Yes. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Klaus. Okay, okay, so, um, you the ones who say was coming to help? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. Bye. We All do right. have a keen eye, Kyle. Well, I've seen some things, yeah? Where have they been attacking lately? Just points to the whole area in front of us. Are you keeping watch now? Mm-hmm. Great. Yes. Thank you. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Don't leave yet. Are we need yes, you. Yes. Um, we are Vox Mark, you know? Uh, over from Grayskull Keep. I'm Tiberius Stormwind. That's oh. irrelevant. The point is, uh, I was wondering if you had any it's more just, information about the creature. I mean, other than the fact that it was just a really, really big bird. It's really big. Do you remember any other details, any other defined details other than like a bird? It's hard to see in the moonlight, color. When it picks up a, ca a, a cow or whatever it's been picking up, is it, does it strike with the beak or the claws, the talons? Uh, claws, and sometimes it takes two at a time, Whoa. one in each claw. And does that it, big. And just wow. carries them away. Have yes. you seen any of its droppings anywhere? No. Mm. Have you managed Jones. to hit it with your crossbow? I've missed. <laughs> and you're certain this is a feathered beast, or no? Uh, it looks best I can see. It's it's dark out here at that time of night, and I, I just I, it looks like bird. It doesn't make any noise, and it just swoops on down, out, <laughs> takes them away, and flies off in that direction. I've heard that those giant birds are attracted to red-headed, nineteen-year-old, scruffy chin folk with crossbows. Make an intimidation check. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. This would be with your charisma. 22. Nice. He goes. Well, I, I, don't, I don't want to be here then. I, you, you guys you guys can, can, can keep an eye out. Uh, I gotta go. And just kind of un unloads the bolt and the crossbow, slings it up in her arm. Wait, wait, so. before you leave, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have an itch. And it can only be scratched with a cowbell. Do you have a cowbell anywhere around? Wait, do you need more cowbell? I just need a cowbell. Like a, more, more. To the it will sit. Will and cowbell. And can, do you, can I borrow a cowbell from you? Your kid's weird. <laughs> and he keeps walking. Your kid is tell, weird. Tell people about fucks. Not a child. Can I? I bet there's one out there. Do I see any cowbells on the ground? Uh, I mean, you can take a glance about. You eventually can see that there is um, set up on one of the. <laughs> 
One of the fences that fences in the cows. There is a cowbell, yes. Hey, there's a cowbell. <laughs> Great. I, it will help the ruse. Here's my plan. Okay. We're all cows. Is that an okay plan? I like it. Yeah. I'm kind of into this plan. All right, I guess. But doesn't that essentially make us the bait? Yes, we're our own bait. Are you cool with that? Totally. Should one of us maybe not be a cow? Good idea. Well, here's you. the thing. Maybe maybe a few of us should not be cows because only a few people are going to have the ability to turn out of being a cow once they are a cow. Unless they take damage. We went from all cows to pretty much no one's a cow. No, no, no. Keyleth <laughs> is definitely a cow. Five cows. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't no, mean no, no, like no. that. No, no, no. I can make us all. You are it's very, fine. very lovely. I can make so us all lovely. cows. It's okay. What Vax said was way worse earlier. How do you come out of being a cow if you are one? I can get rid of it. You do. <laughs> yes, I can make us all cows. Let's do it. How else switch. are we all going to be cows? Uh, on and off cow switch. Come on. <laughs> unless, they, unless it kills him instantly, we'll be fine. Uh, I'm fine. I'll go, I'll go invisible. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. No. I'm, I'm gonna I'm lay in wait with an arrow, mm -hmm. just, you know. Effort time, baby. All the rest of you can be time. I think I'm better served waiting to strike one. Oh, you! No, because you're up close. You and me, Grog. You're up close, guys. We're cows. Yes, if baby. If it grabs one of them, I will deal more damage. If it grabs me, I will deal no damage, but if it grabs... Scallon cow, I can. I don't know. Well, the thing is, I, I I can turn it into a cow. We can turn someone. I can turn, I can turn someone else all, into a cow. I can turn, turn in, us all. Into well, a, polymorph is a concentration. Spell. I can turn us all into cows. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Because you got that thing. Yes, I'll be. Fine. Cow or no, Keyleth? <laughs> Give thing. us your answer. Oh, I'm a cow. What thing? Seeming. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not actually cows. What? Oh my God. We'll just seem like cows. Well, then yes, we'll all be cows. <laughs> Except for me, who's going to be If it's polymorph, I couldn't cast oh, stuff. Then let's all be a cow and just like wandering around with still my bow and arrow. I'm like, no. If, if then I reject my invisibility and I'll, I'll be a cow. I also have to be a cow. I'm not sure. I want to be a brown cow. We're all cows. <laughs> just embrace it. Can't change a target's body type. What? Oh. what? No, 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 no. So it's so the same you form of uh, limbs. A, you're right, you're right. So You can't change uh, size, but we can all be <laughs> like frog sized cows, cows or scanlin sized cows. It can be an array, look like a array very of different cows. Rangely sized cows. Super like cows. Scanlin, why don't you be like a calf? Baby yeah. cow. What do you think? Yeah, does I he want veal? Like or it. does he want I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're close to me. Okay. Wait, do, we want to get, 30, we, we get in the pen radius. first, right? Yes, let's go in the pen. Yeah, okay, and let's all get if in I may, the I'm going to wear the cowbell. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> You've earned it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you How guys. How are you going to put it on? I'm just going to put it around your neck right now. There you go. Thank you. Right. Super loose. You guys yeah, will make yeah, your yeah. way into the cow pen. Uh, so the, the little bit of moonlight that's coming down from the sky illuminates. You see the cows are kind of clustered underneath this overhang that's used for you know temporary Seems shelter. You hear the distance kind of like, as you, you approach and make noise. When, if they know what time they come. Well, I can. No, no, no one's too be... upset yet. Oh. It's more low mutterings of approaching what if that something. Was attraction? Question. Not yet. If we use seeming, we just appear to be cows. Correct. Well, we see. We, we can see. But each other. I, and I can. St we can still speak, right? Yeah. We'll yeah. be talking. Cows. Just anything yes. sees you as cows. Would be like holy shit. Those are talking it's cows. It's a strange size. Yeah. yeah. Just, it's camouflage. Oh! oh! You take this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. That's yeah. good. Oh, thank you. That's good. <laughs> yeah. This, this is why. This is why. Let's be cows. Let's I be have cows. to give you experience for that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so wait, wait, what's going on? Are we turning into cows, or, or are our other we creatures going to think seem we're cows? Like cows. Yes. I don't understand like magic. Just go along. Just go like along. along with it. That way we can All right. ambush. All right. The bird. We're gonna look like cows. So Are we gonna, gonna look, look like, like cows to each other too? Yeah. We'll find out. Okay. It'll be As you all gather around, the small gnome, currently adorned with a dull <laughs> bung, 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 around his neck. Uh, Just like the brothels, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you complete the spell, and with a sudden whoosh of cold night air, your vision blurs, and you kind of blink for a second and look around. And Vox Machina is now instead an array of. Slightly smaller than average cows. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 oh wait, no, no, no. no. You, oh, by the way, a very, you're more of a calf. Oh, um, you're so like cute, a, no. <laughs> Okay, shall we go interview some cows? Yeah, let's go talk to some cows. Let's go talk to some cows. <laughs> 
<laughs> the goat goes, the cow goes. <laughs> I want to walk over to the cows with you. You yeah, guys okay, step up awkwardly towards the cow, some of which are sleeping, some of which are just kind of noticing and sitting there just kind of chewing. <laughs> which one looks like the alpha male? The one that's got <laughs> horns. There are no gonna go males so. in this pen. Cows. Because they're cows. cows. I, I, I go to the, oh, the no, alpha female. I, I, go, I go to one of the cows this time. I try, to, I try to speak. Try to speak? To the cow. Okay. What do you say? Hello. I'm Tiberius <laughs> Storm. Okay. Keyless, you speak with You speak in common, like, like you, you don't know cow. Tiberius, you're... Just because you look like a cow doesn't mean you can talk to the cows. Well, I, I just thought we'd give The it. cows don't understand English. I thought I'd give it a whack. No matter if you look like a cow, they still don't understand. Oh, boy, if Uriel um, could see us now. Hit her cows so worthy. Okay. Um, I cast I? Speak with Animals. This is the best mo- mo- <laughs> box marking adventure ever. <laughs> All right, you cast Speak with Animals. Yes. Mm. How, actually, how many animals can I hit with speak with animals? It is called animals, right? Or is it just speak with animals? Well, you, I think I think it affects you. I think it gives just you the ability one. to oh, speak. Oh, just yeah. me the ability yeah. to talk You're to like animals. Dr. Doolittle. Oh, yeah. He's like, talk, sure to, talk to animals. I think you're right. Okay, so I can't speak with animals by myself. Oh, did you oh, tell her about my name and where I'm from, Keelan? Yep, on self for 10 minutes. So. Make sure the cow. What? Is it where? No, a cow that is over there. Okay, so I go up. Um, is there a cluster of nice-looking ladies sitting sitting around? All the cows are clustered in this one corner, kind of up against each other for for body warmth, and there are a few that are kind of like. Hello, ladies. Good evening. (laughs) What's up, girl? Fine. You guys here? Correct. Um, you hear response. (laughs) What are you doing? Trying to sleep. Yes. Um, I, I, I do apologize to, to awaken you. I was just curious if you could tell me a little bit about some of the events that have been transpiring around here lately, um, mainly in the results of your kind getting killed. We're, we're cows. Just, My kind? Just ask about the bird. Cows? Have you seen a giant bird flying at, around? At, Anyone? Which, at which point all Anyone? the cows kind of like, sort of showing around like, yes, yes, haven't you? They keep taking us. Why do you think we're hiding under this? Oh, sure. Um. <laughs> Careful, if you stay out there, it'll see you. Oh, oh. Right, uh, oh, where? if you stay, where exactly? Where, where? Have they been, okay. What's up? Damn, cows, this never goes well. Um, Keelan, can you tell? What vital information have you learned? I'll get back to you, one second. So, so nothing. Can you tell me anything about what it looks like? I mean, it's, it's big and has wings. It's <laughs> it's fast and it keeps taking us. I am Ask her when, when the when, 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 when the moon is where it is at at night and when. Does it, it seem come. to come at a certain time of night? There you go. She knew. The dark time. The dark. The dark. Time. Yes. The cow. <laughs> It's a cow. This is the same as before. Where it's because a cow. nothing is happening. I am now trying to eat grass. I, <laughs> I for once. So you bend down and take clusters with your hands and start eating grass. Guys, oh, we're ourselves still. We don't actually. Yeah, have you're not actually physically cow. You're I, still uh, yourselves. You just I look for, like cows. I for once, and it's not weird. I just shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Seems totally normal. We are in it, baby. <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> notch a bow, my bow, just to keep a look out okay. to this guy. Um, uh, guys. Can I press to digitate smells? You could. Oh, sweet. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> just, okay. just All right, so we go, we go, and we, we go wait. out into the field. We go out into. The yeah, field. we, yeah, we wait. They're cows. I forgot that talking to cows never goes well. <laughs> yeah, I remember Shocker. Dork. They don't seem to know a lot. The cows, it's okay. They're simple-minded beasts. Dork the ox. Yeah, um, poor Dork. dork. Rest dork in peace. Ox. Rest in peace, Dork. Love you, Dork. <laughs> poor little out. You guys make your way um, out to the middle, and you wait a while, a good probably two hour period of as cows, um, before eventually you, keeping your eye to the sky with your arrow knocked, see a whisk of shadow kind of across uh. the moonlight. No. No, that? I'm letting you guys fucking know there's a thing in the sky. <laughs> is this a Jumanji time? Not quite. Oh. At this point, you guys look up and you notice you see something circle once. Oh shit. It 
It looks like a bird, it's just not as big as you were expecting. It looks like a bigger hawk. I cast stones in myself. Okay. <clears throat> and it gets no bigger. Range. And bigger. And you realize at this point stealth. it was further away. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for cow stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, 23. Okay. I kind of... You're still a cow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make myself look available. Maybe I... Oh, shit. Oh. I... <laughs> step away from the rest of the I herd. I step away from the rest of the herd a little bit. I go into a cow rage and start chewing faster. <laughs> <laughs> Who would like to chew? All like right, to so... This entity... My this hunter's the, market... <clears throat> Okay, well, it has to come within range first. It's, as soon as it is. As soon as it, is, as it swoops down, you see this, this bird just gets larger and larger and realize it was quite a distance away. And now that it's getting closer, it is, the tales you've heard are true. This, at least 100 foot wingspan, if not more, as it, in a second. I'm going to fix my <sighs> ring on it. 100 foot wingspan? 100 like, as it gets foot? close, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm bracing my ring as it's coming towards Okay. Like uh, it comes, God. it dives down with, with extreme speed. It goes, it just goes into a dive. It comes into range. You cast Hunter's Mark on it. You have your ring ready. What are you doing? Cast slow on it. Cast slow? slow. Alrighty. Um, what is the DC on that? 17. And what is the save? Uh, oh. Wisdom or it's, it's, it's concentration. No, wait. It is a concentration. Yes, it is. It is. It's okay. I've, I'm finding it. All right. It is uh, wisdom. Ah. Derp. Alrighty. I should write that in. Ooh, that is, uh, what was the DC? 17. 17? That is an 18. Ah! Uh, <laughs> so it rolled a natural 18 on that one. Nice. Um, so as it swoops down, you release the spell. You are immediately attempting to be grasped in its talons. Moo! Uh, that is a... <laughs> moo, moo, moo. Uh, 23 to hit. Ooh, that hits. Boy, come. All right, so you then take 23 points of slashing damage <gasps> Jesus. to your cow form, yep. which... Uh, well, I thought we were just... Uh, okay, no, 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 I'm sorry. Cows. You're not in cow form. Are you, you're, you're illusion, you're staying normal? No, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm normal. You're normal, right, okay. So, you, <laughs> so I thought I remember you said you were doing an actual cow form, but no. no. All right, so no. take 23 points of slashing damage, and you are currently grappled, as mm -hmm. it takes right back up into the air, <gasps> Clutching Keyleth within its talons. Oh, How fast can the rest of us do anything? It's gone. Um, it's gone. Now you guys can react. It is currently sixty feet away from you. I and immediately. Oh God! I I shoot it. Uh. That's all I can. Do we have to look. roll for initiative. Can I react? Oh, you do. Okay. I, I, uh, I can't react. I was, again. but I was notched already. You were hesitating. Right, right. We can react to it. I'll give you advantage on your initiative. Because you could be, you're notched, but you used your last turn to cast Hunter's right, Mark right, on it, which right. you think. So everyone roll initiative. You have a uh, you have advantage. Or sorry, you have advantage on it because you were knocked, and because you're ready to react, you have advantage on okay. your initiative check. But everyone else just rolls normally. Okay. An advantage. All right. So uh, that is twenty-five to twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty to fifteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Sixteen. Uh, Keyleth. All right. Uh, Scanlan, Tiberius, what you guys got? Six. Five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so Vex, you're up first. I'm going to shoot it through the um, the blazing bow screen. Okay, go for it. Roll for the tech. 16. Uh, 16 hits. So... Twenty-six. Twenty-six points of damage. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna shoot it again. Go for it. <laughs> like a little style. That definitely hits twenty-six. Yeah, it is. Twenty-six again. Alrighty. Nice. All right. That brings us to Grog. Uh, I take the firebrand warhammer. Activate it. Turn on the fire. Uh, put the chain of returning on it and throw it at the winged beast. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll with disadvantage because it is 
Why it's already sixty feet, roughly like forty to sixty feet away from you. Yeah. Um, it's you're, tough. It's, it's tough to get this. I'm not really try. good at range. You can try. Fifteen. No, no, that's more. Sixteen. Okay. Um, due to its distance and the dark cover of night, uh, it's harder to hit, and you actually swing and throw it, and the hammer, <laughs> the chain goes taut, and it just drops to the ground, and it's just out of range of the hammer as it just escapes the range it would have hit it with. Can I pull it back? Uh, yeah, go for it. And that's easy enough. It's not wedging anything. You don't have to roll for it. That okay. one. Um, all right, so that's your turn, uh, Vax. Uh, well, I'd like to use... Uh, bonus action to click Boots of Haste together and uh, use, I think, if I do that, I have two actions at that point, right? No, well, you, uh, you, you have, uh, on the next you, you do have an additional action that can be used only to uh, attack. Just to attack, okay, so what I want to do is click the Boots of Haste together, use the original uh, action to run as far as I can towards the bird and then use my final action to sneak attack the thing since it's got Keyleth in its uh, talons. That's up to you. Okay. Uh, the sneak attack will not kick in because Keyleth is not threatening the creature. Okay. Oh. Um, you go for the attacks. You you rush up, you dash, you get underneath it. You're kind of keeping, for a moment, because of the boots of haste, you keep speed with this poof, giant darting creature. You just shoo, underneath, poof, throw your daggers upward. Go ahead and All roll. Right, so, but it would just be one, I mean, if I use the dash to run as far as I can, that would leave me with one, one attack, attack and, a, and your bonus without the damage. Well, I'm trying to be a boy scout here. Would the boots of haste clicking be the bonus action? Yeah. Uh, okay, so that is uh, 20, 22 to hit. That hits. All right. And that's not a whole lot. What's the range you can commit on the dagger, actually? Uh, it's uh, 10. 10. 10? Yeah. Dagger. It's it, you roll again for disadvantage because it's just within your secondary throw oh, yeah, range. Yeah. Uh, and then I missed. Okay. It just okay. vanishes into the dark night ahead of you. Um, so yeah, that is gone. Um, this is going from bad to worse, real quick. You still have your your belt turning. You still don't have your snake belt. Anymore. Okay. Yeah, I have my returning belt. Yeah. That's don't fine. worry, guys. That's all the look in your face. I'm like, no, no it's fine. Yeah, it comes yeah. back. Um, <laughs> okay. So. That, uh, Keyleth, you're up. You're currently grappled and held within the talons of this, uh, this giant bird. That is, you just see the entire ground just below you. Talons. Judging, judging by the fairly close of appearance that I have of him at this point, can I tell he's probably a beast nature? Uh, you, at the sheer size, it's hard to tell. Um, You've never encountered a beast of this size, but you do look up and you can see the talons that are currently holding you in place and kind of piercing the sides of your armor and they're enforcing you are bird-like talons, and you do see a series of dark feathers coating the entire underbelly of this this entity. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to cast Dominate Beast. Okay. All right. Um, Let's make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. The, uh... Is your enhanced ability still active? From before? Uh, As for ability checks with it. Um, so you finish casting the spell. Apparently this entity is not affected by the spell. Fuck mm. It's not a beast. It's not a beast. It's a boy. There's a fine line when certain creatures of nature are altered by some sort of magical essence or their nature perhaps is not natural at the get-go. Either they were created, or over time they became something beyond beast. This seems to fall into that category. Mm, it's a pigeon. Okay. Mm. Exactly. So exactly. That's my turn. Right? That's your turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that brings us to its turn. Can try it to break the grapple. goes for a full. Can I try and break the grapple as a bonus that action? That would that would be your action to try and break the grapple. It would be an action. Um, for this creature's turn, it just does a full double dash at its full flight speed and is about 250 feet away from you and completely out of your guys' reach. You see it up into the sky, sure. disappearing to the north, uh, kind of north-northwest area beyond Iman, carrying Keyleth in its claws. Keyleth, just get get out of its fucking hands and fall. You can change, we'll catch you, we'll do something, just fall. You're close enough for you to still hear this as the kind of the desperation kicks That's in true. and you realize, and you're seeing your yourself. whole party just, they're not even visible House. at this point, except from a couple of dark dots. 
uh, in the, the low light Is it our of the turn night. yet? Um, it now comes to Scanlan's turn. Okay, a dimension door. What's the range of dimension door? 500 feet. You, and appear, where? Where do you want to appear? On it, on, on its back. Okay. <laughs> you, yes! you, you, Perfect. you, Perfect. you, you appear it. right on its back. Stay with it! Um, Stay with it! You immediately, like land and start sliding back as the wind is pushing on you. Yes! Yes! The feathers themselves, due to the aerodynamic nature of its flight path, it's a lot of wind resistance oh, against you. An acrobatics check. Um, <laughs> Um, Shush! Stop! No, 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 I was going there, don't worry. Uh, this, this, this is what it is. You need to go ahead and make an acrobatic, acrobatic check to see if you can maintain balance on the back oh of this beast. God. My intelligence is not six. <laughs> 20. You manage to just, you tumble backward a little bit, you grab a couple of feathers and get yourself just on the side underneath where the wing meets the part of the upper torso, where the wind resistance is the least amount, and you manage to hold on. You are now clutching the back of this giant bird. Okay. <laughs> cool. That's your turn. But, okay. <laughs> As my bonus action, okay. I will inspire Keyleth. Right? Okay. She's right next to me, right? Scanlan? You, you gotta be real level. Yeah, what the okay. shit? You see her a little bit below there. <laughs> the way you kick so much ass like nobody else. Scanlan. The way you do animal things it gets me overwhelmed. You don't know. Uh oh. You don't know you're powerful. Oh, yes. oh, oh, oh. That's what makes you powerful. <laughs> Due to the wind, you don't hear the last line. It's too loud around it. But however, you do take a D10 inspiration dice. Yay. Uh, Yay. Uh, what the hell you're all like, Amazing. Uh, which, for the record, this currently right now looks like you see the cow clutched below, and currently there is a cow holding on to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it lasts eight hours. Just a skinny, tiny cow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that ends your turn. Okay. Tiberius. Good. Uh, I, uh, I drop stone skin. Okay. Um, and I, at uh, fifth level, I go myself. One, two, three. I cast fly on all of us. Fly, you fools! <laughs> fly, you fools! Fly! <laughs> and go right after him. All right. All of you guys, at that point, you see Tiberius, and you all take off after. I hope we don't get in trouble for fleeing the, anymore. The cows take off into the night sky. <laughs> <laughs> Fly, Vox Magnum, move! Vox Mookia. A squad of oh. cows. Of weirdly sized flying cows lit by moonlight chasing after it's a giant the bird. It's the logo, except we're cows. I love Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> What's the fly speed on fly? Mine's the double. Uh, 60 feet. 60 feet, cool. Um, I'm gonna you, dash on that. Yep, you guys can go 120 feet every turn. It can go 240. Yeah. Two rounds pass before you guys realize there is no way you're gonna catch yes. up with this thing or get even but closer I've to the Wait, well, I got haste. Mark. I've got Hunter's, have Hunter's mark, mark on it. Correct. Mm. So I can track it. No. Double me, yo, I got haste. Haste, your haste speed, your physical body doesn't affect the fly spell, unfortunately. Uh, You're only at the speed that the arcane nature of the spell Moo earns. <laughs> saying. I'm, I'm Your metabolism is real fast, your heart beats like hummingbirding it, but you're still only going at 80 feet. Uh, 60 feet, so um, as you guys follow behind, you can see now, uh, after a while, on the edge of the shoreline, not too far from uh, Iman, maybe like, what would normally be from from you know horseback or or you know a brisk walk, a half day's travel, you eventually come upon the. Uh, uh, there it is. I woke this up. You come upon the coastal mountains known as the Shoreline Summit. Uh, it's a series of unusually steep mountain bluffs that hug the coastline northwest of Oman. Uh, as you get closer, and you, you, at this point you've lost sight of the bird. Um, Scanlan, I want you to go ahead and roll uh, an athletics check. Athletics? Yeah. Well, that doesn't count. <laughs> well, that's not good. Athletics? 16. 16? Okay. Uh, you still manage to keep hold uh, for a portion of the length of the journey as it moves and shifts and the wind itself is still blowing in your face, though minimized by your current positioning. It's still, it's a trial to hold on to this large creature as it makes its wings beat and just the sheer force of its movement. Um, all right, so as you get closer to these uh, these mountaintops. Do I have a turn yet? Can I do anything? Uh, you can go ahead and take your turn out too, yes. Yeah? Yep. I cast Polymorph on it. Oh, shit. Hmm. 
And I live. You're on it. Don't worry about me. <laughs> really? No. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, you never need to worry about me. <laughs> Haven't you guys learned that by now? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Out of thematic reasons, I also turn him into a cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> it's what she cries out heroically. No! Okay. What's the DC on this? Spell, uh, spell my spell DC? 18. Rolled one. Oh! <laughs> I'm a cow! I'm a cow! I'm a cow! I'm a cow! I'm a cow. <laughs> Giant flying bird. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it just begins to plummet at an extremely fast speed. You, you guys both immediately are released from its grasp. Scanlan and Keyleth both are just falling. How high up? You guys are don't we? see this. It's too far away from you now. No. Uh, at this point, you're probably close to about, I'd say. 500 feet in the air. Yo, I heard you like cow, so I gave you some cow in your cow. <laughs> this is, this is, I hope this inspires the next Diablo cow level, guys. We really need to look into this. All right, so, you guys are now both plummeting. And falling at a really, really rapid speed. I go eagle cows. form. You go eagle form? Zoom, <laughs> you're fine. So you go into eagle form, that's your action this turn. That's your bonus action, because you can do that as a... Uh, as a bonus action. Yeah. Whoa, that was cool. really? That was a plan. So, phew, eagle form. Scanlan, then you plummet uh, full speed on this one. You probably have another... another two rounds before you impact oh. with something very painful. But he's like as heavy as a dust moat, so he just kind of goes <laughs> like this all the way down, right? He's a calf. I don't no, think that's how it works. No, he's a little, he's a little pebble. All right, so I can catch him if you need catch. You, you guys still continue to give chase. Eventually, you, you see this this giant thing just go and vanish from sight. It's just <gasps> gone. It just where'd it go? Oh, I go full Gandalf. <laughs> All right. Never go full Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> Never go. Full. You guys are pushing forward. Uh, so it's now the next round for you guys to react. What are you doing? I will become a pterodactyl. <laughs> so you're casting polymorph on myself. Okay. Um, because you are falling, okay. and this is a lot of wind, I'm gonna to have to ask you to make a concentration check to complete the spell. Come on, Scanlan! So go ahead and roll a d20. A concentration, Come on, little buddy. not on holding a spell, but on casting it. Correct, because as part of like the components of it and maintaining your attention to the spell. What does he um, add, his spell attack bonus? This, no, this is, it's a d20, and uh, let me just make sure I do it, yeah. So D20, and then you add your plus five from your uh, your charisma. Charisma. That's a natural 20. Oh, oh, oh snap! <laughs> we died. <laughs> Shit! Pterodactyl. You're both flying cows. <laughs> <laughs> Was yeah. seeming a concentration, does that mean? I think it has. I think think it's it's out. Did we does just drop? Are we no longer cows? I think I so, I'll anymore. check. Hey, hey you, shut up, you're not cows. a cow anymore. Oh my god, you're not a cow anymore. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Rob, why do you still look like a cow? You guys keep nope. flying. Nope. You guys catch yourselves. Nope, not concentration. It oh, just sorry. lasts for eight hours. Oh. So you're, you're, you're all still flying cows. We're still flying cows. Yeah. <laughs> all still just, just a squadron of flying, illusory cows. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you guys are both now transformed into an eagle and a pterodactyl. We're also but we look But like you cows. still look like cows. Yeah. <laughs> as, as the twins are flying, say, hey, did you notice we have the same pattern? <laughs> twins! Um. <laughs> About this time, this you, is hear, utterly ridiculous. you hear a, a <laughs> utterly loud, impactful oh. boom, and there's a cloud of dust it's gonna turn back. Uh, partway into the side of this first bit of the mountain range that you come upon. Come on, uh, please say, come a little bit distant from you guys. Can I fly down towards it? Uh, you start heading that direction. It's like because of the, the speed it was traveling at and the way that it, it was carrying it, the speed <laughs> it was going, it's still ahead of you guys. And you see just boom, the impact. You hear this loud screeching sound, and you see now where there was a little poom cloud, these wings whoosh, oh, unfold, shit. and whoosh, whoosh, oh, whoosh. It's take its way back. How far away from it are we? Uh, you guys right now at the, I'd say, probably close to, 
Sorry. Five, six minutes you've been traveling. Did it not drop the cow to zero hit points? What's what? It did, but then it turns on the cow. It damage carries to zero. Comes so it's back. hurt. Yeah. But so it's, how much did it do uh, that? The remainder of that damage. No, it looks hurt. It looks like it wasn't happy about it. <laughs> okay. It continues back up. Uh, from New Tiberius, it's probably close to 700 to 800 feet away from you. Damn it. Damn it. Just because of the speed it was traveling, the speed you guys were following, it was gaining on you every single time. Is it flying turn. away from us now? It's, it's heading up into the mountain range. Fly after that motherfucker. Should we right. still track it? Yeah. Are we, it's still nighttime, right? It's I mean, still nighttime, yeah. Okay. It's only 500 feet away from me right now. 600, 500 feet. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going for it still. What are you doing? Well, just following how, it? We're how, all following how, it. Where am I? It, it, it's taking off right now, and I'm like over here. Uh, like you're, you're back here. It's now starting to take off and head up towards uh, the top of this mountain range that you're just starting to come upon. Okay. Uh, if it's doing that, then I'll fucking go like higher and try to meet it where it's going. Okay. Ah. All right, cool. Um, the rest of you guys continue to give chase. Now that it's reforged its form, it travels uh, an additional double dash, 200 and uh, 240 feet. Um, as this progresses, like it's far beyond any of you guys. Is the mountain range like really far away? No, it's 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 you just hit the outskirts of the mountain range. Okay. It got there first. You guys just catch up to where it starts, and you see it's like now it's dodged between a few of the mountains and is currently no longer in sight. Uh, there was a little bit of low cloud cover in this area, just a couple to kind of drift by and cover a couple of the mountains, but this little cluster of seaside cliffs and, and uh, uh, mountains, as you get closer, you can see there's, it's dotted with high altitude trees. Um, there's precariously perched goats that are sleeping on elements of the sides of this mountain. Um, can you track it? Uh, I can track it, of course. So you're keeping your attention <laughs> right. so your horns? Yes. Hi, um, uh, the winds also are pretty strong as you get close to the mountains, and you can, as you coast around each, you start actually diving into this kind of this middle valley I'm area. I'm gonna cast pass that a trace on all of us. Oh, cool, yeah. Okay. Does that affect any? Of no, it just spells? makes a stealth easier. I mean, it doesn't draw hunters. Is it mark? concentration? No, it's not concentration. It's an action. Oh wait. <laughs> I don't even can tell. Pass that a trace. Concentration. Where does it say it? There's a C. There's a thing it somewhere. Yeah. Concentration. Oh, never mind. It's a concentration. Forget it. Okay. <laughs> Um, I don't got... know how these things work yeah, yet. Yeah, they stick okay. to the bows and arrows. Um, traveling through this area, you can see that the, the mountains, the way that they're constructed in this area, it's not like a gradual crag. A lot of these are just kind of punched up in the air. Like whatever this heavy seismic force that created this initially was very localized and very powerful. A lot of the mountains are spire like. They, they come up with very, very sheer sides. And you can see why this mountain range is largely not utilized or traversed or. Um, generally spoken of often, because it's too dangerous for most average folk to even attempt to climb or use for any good reason. Um, the winds are high and, and powerful here at the tops as well, and you guys, as you're flying around, you can the wind's blowing across, and you kind of get pushed off your course a little bit here and there, but you still kind of keep up best as possible, you kind of leading the charge. Um, over about five minutes of searching through this, this mountain range, you sense that its movement eventually comes to a stop. Okay. It's like best. No. Wait, you sense that he came to a stop? He came to a stop, a little bit ahead of us. Let's go get him. Yeah, fuck it. Did we go. all try to stealth, stealth in? Or? I'm oh. a pterodactyl, so. Yeah, let's go for the element of surprise. Well, technically, we're all so cows. Yes. Yes. Uh. And you guys cannot talk because you are actually ah! in your form. Ah! All right. Well, I'm going to try to stealth. Yeah. Um, let's go in. Mountains yes. are my favorite terrain. They are. Do you, One want, of them. do you want to go onto the mountain itself, or are you still flying amongst them? Oh, I'll still fly. <laughs> so you would not get the advantage. Air is not your favorite, Air is not your favorite terrain. <laughs> um, so everyone who wishes Seven to, stealth. go ahead and roll stealth checks. All of us? All of you who wish to I'm going. try and come at it from a quiet... Ooh. Uh, yes. um, <laughs> 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 I got uh, uh, With advantage, I rolled a two. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Cow. I'm not used to being <laughs> flying, really. So. It is strange. Or a cow. Oh, oh, <laughs> quiet. Are we quiet. five? Okay. Are we are we flying anymore? You guys are all yes. still flying, yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, come on. Oh no. Okay. Twenty-one. Fourteen. Yeah, Twenty-eight. Okay. Yeah. So, big two. Guys, falling behind Vex. Um, many of you clumsily, and some of you shouting after each other, like, "I think she sees it this way," and you're like, "Oh my god." <laughs> <laughs> You uh, 
you come around this one bend and you can see one of the larger mountainous spires that has a lot of trees and, and kind of green growth towards the top at certain places where the rock kind of juts out and gives a, a shelf for such greenery to grow uh, outside of its sheer outside surface. You do see a couple of wings kind of fold in against the moonlight and what looks to be an outcropping. And there are multiple layers of kind of rock shelves in the side of this mountain, and on one of these outcroppings, there appears to be some sort of a, a nest, a, a cluster of, of what looks like actual like trees and and uh, pieces of wood that are all jammed into this giant nest that's just nestled against where the shadow and the moonlight kind of uh, are fighting for some sort of visual on it. Big ass tree fortress. Did we just find like a mama bird and baby birds? Yeah. Yeah, we did. What are we gonna do? Make uh, of an orphan. We're gonna. Take out a mom and train the babies. <laughs> yep. What are we gonna do? Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna capture those babies and we're gonna train them. Right. It was a good <laughs> idea. I, I like that idea. Good. Like Avatar? Yes. Oh, Me go in. Yeah, you're still. There's a giant fucking nest here. I kind of get close to it, as close as I feel safe getting to it. You guys all stay back. You go over there. I, I'm gonna cast greater invisibility. Uh, greater, yeah, greater invisibility on myself and then follow. Okay. You guys have 12 seconds before you all plummet. Oh wait, no, I don't do that. Damn it. I forget we're still flying. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> what part of the that flying line. part did you yeah. forget? Well, you probably landed already. No, what? Are you guys going with Vex? Or are you all staying kind of back and she's going? Are, are we going to lose flying or do we keep same it? Stuff roll? Are you casting greater invisibility? Can we drop no, the seeming perchance? Is it, is it the same stealth roll or an additional stealth roll to go forward at this point? No, this, this was your stealth roll in approaching, oh. so. Well, I mean, like, I knew I rolled shitty, so what do I do? You don't know you yeah, rolled shitty, with. but just. I'm going in. All right. So, Vex and Grog, you, you kind of approach uh, gliding cows just <laughs> drifting through the night sky. <laughs> Um, hoof and hoof. You guys. Well, I'll approach because I have to keep in range. Okay, yeah. So you guys all kind of, you all realize you kind of keep close together to Tiberius as you come in. Keeping too much of a distance will be a bad thing. Mm -hmm. um, you come upon the underneath portion of this this outcropping, and you can see within a quick glance. Go ahead and make a perception check, <laughs> all of you guys. All of us. All of you who are coming out with this this cluster. Three. Do I get an advantage? We're in a mountain environment nope. at all. Damn it! Actually, no, no, because you're seeing things on a mountain, I will give you advantage. Yes. 16. Awesome, that was wow. so much better. 12. No. 16. 13. 12. So the highest was? 12. 16. Oh, 13, 16. 16, you got? 3. As you guys all look up, you. It's very shadowy over here. It's hard to see the moonlight's kind of in your eye a little bit, and, and the darkness is so pitched. The umbra of this particular shadow is very dark and crushed. Uh, you make out uh, in, in the nest. The um, the uh, the large bird creature has kind of folded its wings and is currently like kind of leaning down, um, and you see something in the nest that's kind of much smaller and moving up next to it. Mm. I don't like her mama, but she's killing the farmers. Killing the farmers' cows. Stop. Maybe we can just transplant her. <laughs> Maybe we can to a polymorph wildlife her. Wildlife preserve. Maybe yeah. and her and her baby. Capture her and, and move her away from town. That seems complicated. Uh, is, are they on the highest peak or are they? No, there's like two other levels up above this. This one just kind of one of the largest outcroppings. I'm gonna kind of swoop up over them, see if there's any boulders to drop. Okay. Um, looking over it, there are no loose rocks or boulders. In fact, because of the construction of these mountains, they're like solid spires that kind of jut up and then abruptly end. Uh, all the erosion that happens here appears to be gradual enough, but that's why the sides of the mountains are so smooth and unclimbable. Um, so it's a very strange so topography like to a, these mountains. Like a sheer peak, and they're kind of like nested on the side of it. Yeah, it's a sheer peak that kind of rounds off at the very top, and there are little outcroppings that kind of jut out in places as it goes down. But those are more towards the top. And as you go down further, as most of the erosion hits the mountain lower and lower, it kind of has carved off or destroyed most of what would have been previous outcroppings or smoothed them over. How far away are we now? No. You guys are probably a good, uh, I'd say, 60 or 50 feet if you're trying to get up within range of your flight, right? What's the range on that? Uh, the but... fly. Um, yeah. Fly? Oh, here. I got it. 
Fair. Right so. Uh, oh no, it's, there, there is no range on it. You just touch them. Oh. So you're fine. Yeah. As long as you're concentrating on it, you're fine. Okay. Good stuff. There you go. So we're you within, learn something about we're within 60 feet? Uh, well, you guys can keep a little more of a distance on here. Um, however, at this point, as you guys are kind of all kind of encroaching and Scanlan's gone overhead, uh, a voice rings out against the darkness. Flying cows? Really? I care not for this insolence. If you've come to mock me or fight me, do it now. I'm gonna roll. Or leave this creature alone. Where, what? where are you? Who are you? Who's Yannick? Ah! <laughs> roll arcana check of 17 of my surroundings, where it's coming from. Ditto, I try to perceive where it's coming from. Okay, arcana check. There's nothing arcane in nature. It's not omnipresent or coming from any place. There is just a direction it's coming from, which is from the outcropping or nest area. Well, that's good. Um, there's nothing arcane in nature to it. Um, like I said, it's in the shadow. It's, you can't really see it, it from this distance. Is uh, it in front of us, to the side of us? Is it coming from where the bird is? It's coming from where the bird is. He's controlling it. He's yeah. controlling it. Whoever it is. I Save the bird. fly over as an eagle. Okay. You still look like a cow, Eagle. Can we drop um, seeming? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not under your control, and you can't talk to okay. express that. I yell time. out, "You've been stealing the farmer's livestock. Give us a reason not to kill you." That's good. That's good. <laughs> good, good diplomacy. Yeah. Or I mean, moo. I don't like a cow. Okay, you guys are all keeping your distance from it. Yeah. Um. The voice comes out again. Your nature confuses me, and your words seem ill-informed. If you're not going to come to speak of discourse, I'm going to assume that you're my enemy. Well, and then as he's saying that, I'll approach. So Tiberius cow goes. <laughs> and as I approach the thing, Can we shake I'm off going the cow? to dispel magic. Even if he wants to. Okay, cool. Um, for dispel magic this, I need you to go ahead. Uh, just for the sake of this, nah, you you know, I'll, I'll, I'll consider contested because you're your allies in this thing. So you land, Tiberius's form shimmers and returns back to that of a dragonborn. Oh. And you're sitting there in the precipice. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check. Mm, was that 11? Okay. It's hard to make up the details, but the, the voice is definitely coming from the nest. You see there is something Vaguely humanoid, um, but it's hard to make out the shape at this distance with this low light. Okay. Um, especially since you aren't a, a dark vision uh, gifted entity. Um, however, it is, it's close to this bird creature. Um, I, I'm going to say, uh, um, is this big bird thing asleep? I don't you will not harm this creature, I'm poachers! To, I'm, not, I'm not trying to harm it at all. I'm just thinking it's fine. It, it just, we can talk. I can't see anything, and I wanted to cast light so I could see something, but I didn't want to hurt your bird's eyes. Right? That would... You can see the bird's kind of moving, and it's 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 like it's kind of looking towards your direction, and it has this kind of like. Can I make an? Oh, so it's awake. It's awake, and it looks like it's hurt, and 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 it's like. You come here masqueraded as whatever manner of beasts the cows, you are. Cows. 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 After tormenting and. Severely wounding this beautiful wounding. creature. We didn't do anything to the creature. Uh, to, uh, we no, we we were uh, we, the, the farm. This creature was stealing the farmer's cows, and so we, we, were, we the farmers were saying you're taking our livestock, which is hurting the farm. And we came to help them, and we posed as cows, and then the, your bird took. Uh, While he's other, blithering, can I, I make an additional approach. cow stealth check to <laughs> to come up to to come up behind the guy? Near him, not even near him. Just get a better vantage. Go point. for it. Make it with a disadvantage. Just be, just because. Does that per, cancel per, out with my advantage for my cloak? Yes. A cow in a cloak. <laughs> you, are, you are, you are a flying <laughs> cow in the moonlight against an individual that is very aware of your presence. So. Shut up, baby. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Uh, that is good. That is. Um, when. So. No, oh, that's 30. that's thirty-one. Yeah, thirty-one. <laughs> Damn, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> stealthily cow your way up to the side of this precipice, seemingly unnoticed. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. So I, I, close and watch uh, you getting a view of this this creature. Now you can see this this nest is is a cluster of driftwood and chunks of shipwreck and carts and wagon wheels and whatever pieces of wood have been scavenged from different time periods. Some are weathered, some are more fresh. And, and trees, whole trees that are broken and shredded have all been cobbled together to make this this nest. Um, in in the center of this, uh, I'm gonna take the intensity down on this a little bit. Um, <laughs> you see there up against this bird, and the bird itself is like twitching and looks like it's hurt, not like deeply hurt, but hurt. Um, you see a small humanoid, pretty small, like scaling small. Um, hard to make out details, but it is currently in the process of doing a repeated hand motion and then touching, and hand motion and then touching. And uh, you've seen this motion before. Touching this is what? The, touching the, the, the bird. bird. Um, there is a perpetual string of cure wounds mm. being applied to this bird. <clears throat> I also approach and come out of my eagle form. Light. Where are you landing somewhere? Next to Tiberius. Okay. Uh, as the but I'm gonna but I'm gonna I'm gonna block it with my hand so it's not gonna blind the okay. bird. Uh, as the light picks up, you can see the bird kind of it's okay. away for a second okay. and it starts to like flap its wings in, instinctually. And once again, like seeing it up close, uh, this bird is, is really big. Um, the uh, the human entity becomes immediately visible, and it is it is a gnome. Um, you can see. Uh, He's dressed in hides and roughly crafted leather and furs. Uh, he has tussled, greasy black hair that hangs past his shoulders, covering a bedraggled and bearded face. Uh, he's holding up his, his arm and looks looks thin, uh, and he's covering the, the light, and he's like, You! <sighs> sorry, I, I tried to not burn you. I was, I was just, it's very dark. I'm sorry. Hello. I mean, you know how. Uh, the, uh, the gnome kind of slams uh, this small kind of wooden, for lack of a term, like a, like a small staff or cane, slams it into the ground with a foot stomp, and you can see uh, the gnome's entire body suddenly begin to shift and change into this dark, kind of gnarled looking hard surface. Like the entire body becomes. Oh, I whack him like in the back of the head. Truck. No, no, don't, don't work skin. It's just dark skin. It's just defense. He doesn't know. Don't. All right, so you, uh, cow stealth. Mm-hmm. Up to the side of this guy. Uh, ready to rumble. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and make an attack. I right, pause. Huh? I pause. Pause. Um. Okay. You are currently now like crouched right behind the edge of this nest, and and you can't actually see the guy anymore because you kind of, in order to get up there, you've come underneath to to stay hidden, and you're just there behind. Can I see Vax? No. Well, actually, go ahead and roll a perception check. Is it higher than a 31? Is it higher than a 31? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. No, it's a 23, you, you though. You have no idea where Vax is. I'm way up above them still. You're right? just like. Do I see anything? Uh, no, actually, you see there's another, there's another you know, section above there. It looks like there's nothing else of interest other than like some growth, a few bushes, and some vines that hang down the side of some of these platforms. Somebody talk to him before I uh, kill yeah, this I, fucking I'm, bird. I land beside I Tiberius. I am talking to him. I land beside Tiberius and come out of eagle form. Tiberius, will you please dispel this cow form from me, please? Uh, please? Fine. Thank you. Okay, with that... Cast spell magic and Keyleth's form reverts that to uh, Keyleth, normal Keyleth, non cow Keyleth. Uh, the, the gnome character now has like the staff in the back and has the hand in front and he's like, Come, friend. You a druid. I'm also a druid. I think our goals might be in line. Really? It's okay. What's her name? This creature has no name to it yet. I, myself, am a protector of the wild, as you claim to be as well. I have no tribe but the trees around me. I hear the whisper of the wind and it calls for justice. I can relate to that. Then why do you follow? Why do you insist on harming this creature? We were seeking justice 
For other people. What? For the civilized folk of the city? You should know more than most. They sit there, taking beautiful creatures of nature, making them fat, informless, and worth nothing, to just slaughter them without life and purpose to their existence. I know. The life and they purpose of them. their existence is to keep those other people alive and the and towns in them. Why is it not the same with this creature? If they cannot guard their livestock, why is it not food for this thing as well? It is the natural life cycle that they've removed themselves from. When one has an establishment, when one grows its own crop, and one steals something, it is considered a crime. Well, when one is not part of that civilization, but the civilization of the world as a whole, which requires hunting for what keeps you alive, perhaps that does not sink or hang on my conscience. Let's That's a fair point. Not let this escalate. No, okay? I'm fine. <clears throat> what is your name? I was once called Byron. 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 But I've not heard my name nor spoken words for many years. Hmm. Would you not like to be called Byron or would you like something else like B Roy or like B Man? No. no. My name's uh, Tiberius Stormwind from Jerome uh, okay. yeah. And this is my friend Keyleth, who is also a druid. And we also have a friend who is a gnome. Sing songs and whatnot. The, uh, the bird, now looking of much better health than it was when it arrived, now kind of oh. flutters its wings out like a, like, a, like a stretching motion. And as it does, its head kind of glides down and looks right towards you, this giant beak that looks like it could snap you in two with a single bite. I reach up to it and just reach out to pet its beak. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to make an, let's make an animal handling check on this, just to see where this goes. <laughs> okay. Like I gently hand. start swooping down mm -hmm. to check on my friend. 19. All right. The, um, the large bird type creature retracts from your attempted touch and begins to rear back into the nest in a defensive position. Doesn't bite your hand off. I just kneel down a bit. Produce a few good berries. Reach out. <laughs> Bye, Keila. <laughs> this is how we lose one of our members. <laughs> Eating a bird. Yeah. The creature kind of like leans forward, and the giant bird, you can see its, its dark black eyes kind of staring at you. Each eye, probably about the size of your torso. Oh, jeez. Um, as the, the giant beak comes down, you can see the moonlight kind of mm -hmm. uh, gliding off the smooth exterior of the dark black beak. Um, it kind of smells, and uh, you take 27 points of piercing damage as the animal takes the good berries and <laughs> almost your entire hand with it as well. Oh. That size, it's hard to be gentle. Yeah. It's okay. It's being friendly. It's all right. So you retract <laughs> your hand, jump. your hand which is now Essentially, in many ways, bones are broken. It feels like there's blood streaming down the side of your hand, and like drip, 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 drip. It's a good girl. <laughs> Is it? Swallows. It's a good girl. Is it a good girl? I'm, I'm, feed, I'm feeding a tiny snack to Lockheed. I turn back to Byron and say, "Ow." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They yeah. go. That hurt. Mm-hmm. Now. <laughs> please listen to me. Please. Please <laughs> listen to me. Mm. We did come here to kill. Giant creature. I had assumed. But, but, upon seeing the situation, upon approach, realized the situation, and decided amongst all of us that we did not want to bring such a great creature to its death. True. Scanlan, you've landed by now. 
pterodactyl. A cow looking pterodactyl. <laughs> ah! And she's true. I've never seen anything quite like it. Make a persuasion check. I'm gonna eight or two. All, I, all I've seen so far is Keyless bloody hand. Cool. <laughs> 20 total. She doesn't need it. Hmm? Well, you have advantage on this because Tiberius is aiding you in this conversation. I'll take that 20 total. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, he looks at you. Well, shall you leave us then? Under one condition. There's always a condition. You call yourself a druid, yet you speak like the civilized folk. I get the feeling that perhaps your connection to nature has not been uh, tended to for some time. No, no, she really knows her stuff. I mean, we just fought this fire guy. <coughs> just because huh? one can appreciate nature does not mean that one cannot also appreciate humanity. Well. This beautiful creature is the only surviving young of a clutch bred by a majestic rock high in the Cliff Keep Mountains. Its mother now lies dead, slain by the brutal giants that wander those peaks. Giants. This youngin is all that remains of that clutch and the memory of that blessed entity. That's a youngin? Whoa. This is a young one. Oh. Temple snap, that's terrible. This new home serves us well. Abundance of feed, lack of large predatory creatures. I believe this is where we'll stay. Question, if this is a young, adolescent creature, what do you think of the destruction it could cause once it reaches full adulthood? Are you okay with having that on your conscience? This creature could result in the lives of many. If you just relocate out of town, just a few miles, say like 50 or 100 or so, because this thing's really damn big, so I'm sure it's got a pretty big, yeah, you know what I mean. Or just the, the other way, like. We, I will help no, you. I, I will personally come with you and tend I mean, to their safety right. and make sure that their location the other way. Sorry, is proper sorry and safe and handled with respect. And then you will be out of the harms of, of poachers. You can live off the land and you can be free and alone. <laughs> Do you think we came straight to this mountain range? Do you think this is the first nest we've constructed? Me and this lone survivor have scoured the length of this idol, Tal Dore. This as far as I can see, is the safest. It's the most ignored by nearby civilization. Hmm. Listen. I'm gonna drop. If we. I'm gonna drop seeming and also drop uh, my form. Of okay, all of you now. Pterodactyl. Your forms change, and as this happens mid sentence, it's noticed immediately by the uh, the gnome druid. It was like. <laughs> yes, that is correct. And listen. We are being nice. Don't think that we will be the first. You will have more people come and hunt you and kill this as this beast continues. How long do you think you can survive waves of mercenaries coming to try and kill this? this we okay. are the nice ones. I suggest you heed our warning, take our help, and save the life of you and your creature in the long run. You have yet to provide a suitable alternative. Oh, I might have an idea. Keeper of the land. There is an alternative. Huh? Tiberius can tell you of that alternative. <laughs> yes. Um, see, your creature is rather large and powerful, yes? And you have a rather strong bond with it, which is quite unique with such a unique looking creature. I was setting you up for Where an awesome one liner, Where man. You were supposed go? to be like the other option is death. Oh. Ask him if he's considered white stone. But what, 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 so? Uh, yeah. Um, well, I guess there's a couple of options, really. Uh, there's this town Whitestone that's pretty great and has a lot of livestock that this creature can just consume. Um, yeah, I don't hmm. know about that. Um, no, no. Go ahead and make a deception check. Uh, that is a 24. 
white stone. Which no, far no. Is this white stone? Wait, no, hang on. No, no, what? no. Uh, this is getting uh, out of control already. I will not, I will not let you all do this. No, what not today. You guys have caused enough problems. We are not going to push this then creature off on other people. I'm trying, oh. all right? I'm trying, I'm working on it. Oh, well, the other, the I don't want to push this problem off on a town that's already being held hostage by vampires. That fucking sucks. Is it? <laughs> that's double shitting on them. Well, uh, the other option was, uh, like I was saying, is uh, perhaps you can form a, a kind of agreement with Ebon. I'm sure it would uh, uh, rather pay the, uh, in livestock rather well for the protection of you, such a powerful druid, over, over uh, at least a section of the land, in exchange for free food for your friend. And perhaps uh, there could be... Dragon Man. Yes, a Tiberius. Our adorably naive. That's what you sound of like my mother. The ways of men and those that lie and deceive I have yet to have met any civilized people who have kept their word when it came to creatures like this. Oh, uh, can I come forward? Yeah. All right. What about Vasselheim? Not in the city, but like outside of it. There's plentiful forests, tons of giant creatures it can feed on. Oh, that's right. That's true. That actually is fairly true. The, 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 those townspeople have a dazzling there's problem. There's so many monsters out there. Up. They don't hunt them all because there's like too many. That's a wonderful idea, Vex. Thank you. Yes, and that's a hundred percent true. Persuasion check. Oh God. I'll aid her as well. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say you've aided one person recently. This will be just her check. On this. Uh, so this good. Is a he really isn't twenty-one. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Natural 20. Fuck. Then, 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 as a natural 20, you know that's good for you. That's the best place you can go. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the wisdom in my persuasion. It's just true, though. I mean, it's just feed walking all around for us. Please, really. please listen to us. We're only trying to help. Do, do, uh, does, is there a young, Young creature around here? I mean, besides the. No, he's a looking about. You can see no, this. This this nest is. But is, there's no babies. Uh, no. no, this is no. The no. This creature. is the young. This, is, this is bird is like the adolescent. I let this thing almost take my hand off, and I'm still standing here, fairly cogently, talking to you. So please, take that as a sign of honesty. But where, where, where are I we? I go and put my them? hand on her back and cast cure wounds because I got that spell now, yo. Oh, thank you. Here we go. What? Oh. Um, where are we telling them to go? Vasilon. Vasilon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, All right. she is right, and we have friends in Vasilheim. We can contact the Slayers. Take. We're a part of their guild. We can tell them that you're coming. They will not bother you. We can tell them that they are not allowed to take out a contract on your creature. Okay. You will just not be harmed. Bring up contracts, Kayla. Maybe just don't even bring it up. Because they don't have mercenaries out there. You have to like, you have to, it has to be like approved. So it's really good. It's and better for you. what's to stop them from hunting down a majestic creature as rare as this one? Us. Trust me. Oh. You, who yes. live here in Amon. No, us who are members of the guild. We're members so of the guild. So you also are monster slayers who come here under the guise to slay this monster. No, not here. Other places that we're, we're forced to do it, but still we're members and we can take advantage of our membership. It's too much Can we talk. kill this thing now? No. <laughs> you guys are doing awesome. Yep. I feel like I've done pretty damn good. Don't Listen. Bring up, just don't bring up. Listen, earlier you... Come on, man. I'm to go. Listen, and I start speaking in gnome to him. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, do that. Listen. Earlier you said that this place was... Perfect, it was safe. There were no large predators. Well, you're looking at six large predators and we'll keep hunting you down and hunting your beast down until you get out of here. So this is your one and only warning. You must leave and you must leave now. We're giving you a good choice, a safe choice, and we can help you get there and be safe there. But if you don't listen to us, we'll start killing. Makes persuasion roll. How many fucking persuasion rolls does this asshole need? Persuasion? This is this this is essentially a, a a conversational skill challenge. So every success and failure leads towards where the conversation's going to yeah. end. Thirty-two. <laughs> <laughs> For Reynolds, Why didn't we leave 
he gives you a look, very intense, looking into your 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 very essence type stare. His little beady gnomish eyes meeting yours. If we're going to make this journey to where you say this Vasselheim is, how far is it? Several days' journey. It's just across the water. You could fly no problem over it. Across the sea? Uh, no. Yeah? Yes. Is it? Is that yes. north? It's north. Across north. The sea. We can draw you a map. We can give you provisions. We'll even make sure that the farmers provide you with a few pieces of livestock to chow down on before the journey. A parting gift. Parting gift to fuel up before the, the big ride. We can give you papers to hand to the Slayer's Take that will ensure that you'll be treated fairly. Oh. I'll take out my uh, scroll subscription and start writing a note. Okay. Because I left one over there. Uh, He looks back towards Keyleth, looks back at Scanlan, looks back at Keyleth, looks up at the bird. Please. We really don't need another death on our conscience today. Then, um. Looks like we don't have much of a choice, do we? If you can assure us enough food to get across on this journey, we'll make our way towards this Vasselheim, and I pray on the solidarity between our kin and our kin that you speak the truth that resonates this moment. Because if it does not, May the fall of this entity and myself weigh on your conscience. I'll flip over the note that I'm writing to him, and then I trigger it as he's reading it. That right. sends it to it, Vassal, it, I'm saying, it, hey. It vanishes. Um, expect this. All right. As the sun rises, two sizable pieces of livestock to be placed at the boundaries of the usual hunting site. If those are there, and it is taken without any sort of aggression, we'll take that as a sign that you are being honest and we shan't bother you or your people any further. I bow deeply, and when I do, it goes (laughs) (laughs) For a moment, for a moment, you think you hear a slight, uncontrollable chuckle from the gnome. I guess uh, as that's going on, so because we're gonna head back right now to seal this up, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, then I'll do my teleportation circle. Where are we going? What's just closer to the northeast? In the the Lyceum? Wait, or what's going key? on? Where are you going? Where are you, going? Where are you taking us? Uh, well, to the north side of it. Yeah. That'd be the Lyceum. We could fly back pretty fast, couldn't we? Isn't it a fly spell? You could minutes. take it right back. Yeah, we could just fly back. Hmm. Okay. Here, you call. Take the teleportation to circle to your uh, keep. But before he okay. leaves, well, wait, we can't oh, go back. We gotta go back to the farmers. Yeah, we gotta go to the farmers. We gotta, go to the farmers. We gotta okay, so buy some cows off them. We fly back. Okay. No, I just tell and them I tell him, if you're up that way, there's a druidic tribe, in a little village called Pyra. They're a fire ashari. You can find their headmaster, Sirconis. He's a friend. You might find your people there. Who knows? Maybe friends will do you good. Shara, you say. So, my dealings with them have been mixed. Perhaps I'll no, keep my distance. No, never mind. Don't, you Can know, I look around go. before we go? Can <laughs> no, I just find out if they're mentioned? Can I see if there's any uh, feathers <laughs> dropped from the giant bird creature? Oh, uh, there are a handful around. Yeah. Can I grab a few of them? Uh, as you go and reach up, slaps you on the, across the knuckles. Can I have a feather that he dropped? Why? Because they're big and they're fluffy. Because they're beautiful. Yes. You have to admit they're beautiful. <sighs> Elves. I know it. Right. Thank you. You take, take three rock feathers. Rock feathers! Oh, they're cool. huge, right? Yeah, like, like they're I, almost a boat size. I'll put one in my bag. I have them. Okay. Rock feathers. You guys, you guys Wait, managed to get called? get one for you and three for you guys. Before he's like, now go now. Okay. My patience wears thin. Bye. Uh, through with talking words. <laughs> Sorry. 
I walk out from behind <laughs> him and just walk past. <laughs> sorry, about, sorry about that. All right, I'll burn another fifth level and then fly us all out. Okay. All right, you guys, are, you can fly too, but you guys coast back uh, to the north side of Iman. Uh, you go to the door where uh, the, the Klaus family is, and you speak with them for a while, and you manage to convince them of the situation and what seems to be a mutually positive circumstance. They agree it's better to lose two cows than I pay them for this. their two cows. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Be a job. nice man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How much do you get them? Five gold. <laughs> yeah, how much do cows usually worth? You've never purchased a cow, so you don't know. Yes, I have. I, I purchased Dork the Ox. Ox is not a cow. Shit. How much did how we much buy Dork the Ox? How much do your cows normally cost, darling? This is a good question. I mean, looking for <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that. I've not had to look up the cost of a cow before. <laughs> what the awesome use. diamond Every shoe. Yeah, right? <laughs> Ten gold piece? Because again, like me, um, um, all kinds of things. I would there. put it... I mean, man, I want a burger. Uh, I put it at about maybe 40 gold each. Oh, there you go. That's way more than I expected. Yeah, me too. Fine, it's fine. Because they're, they they can be used for I, meat, they can be used for milk, you know. 40 gold pieces. each to make up for the loss of your Cows. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you helping with this. Uh, and you, you promised this will, this will. Yes, just put them out in the, in the open field. We'll take them. Oh, we'll, we'll take the them. The yeah, we'll put them out there. We'll take them. them. Okay, we'll we'll take care of it. Yes. You guys take two of the cows. You bring them to the outskirts. You, you know, with rope tied around their neck. You essentially uh, hitching, you know, hitching post them to the outside of uh, into this kind of open area, about 20, 30 feet from the uh, the actual holding pen. Um. A few hours go by, and the sun slowly begins to rise. Along with some other food, right? Mm. Some hey! Yeah. Play some other feed and things around there. Um, eventually, the sun begins to rise across the eastern, kind of northeastern sky as it crests. Uh, you can see some of the farmers come out, kind of anxiously watching from their how homes, and you see different families now kind of gathering. You see the wings beating in the air, and it swoops down and grabs two of them, and you can see some of the families like <gasps> gasp and like rush inside, and some are just amazed to see this even happen. It takes the two, carries up, and heads out over the Osmit Sea, passing to the north-northwest side, and over the next 30 or so minutes, it just slowly disappears into the horizon until it's no longer visible. Wonderful. The sun rose, right? right. Can I make a bear check? <laughs> <laughs> you may. Two. Zero. <gasps> that the beginnings of the other side of your beard slowly oh. begins to set in. What happens to the existing side? The existing side has, has kind of rounded itself off to a nice beard. Like it, it's pretty much where it's going to be on that side. The other side is just now starting to finally catch up. And that's where we're going to end it. On a positive beard check. Oh man. Wow. That would have been. Where did that go? That was. That was crazy. a crazy night. <laughs> 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 Insane. Perspiration was happening. Yeah, it was. So I gave you my hand. My hand. No time. <laughs> <laughs> Battle maps that never get used. Oh, oh look at us that's not fighting one, things. Two. That's really beautiful. That's a great map. Oh, that would have been really bad too. For us? I'm glad we didn't fight. Oh, <laughs> bad for us? Well, just imagine a giant bird that grabs you and then drops you off the side of a mountain. Oh, yeah, wow. cool. Would have been an interesting Missed fight. Opportunity. Would have been an interesting fight. Um, well, cool. That that concludes a, a very unique uh, uh, Perseus bottle episode of Critical Role. Lightly. Squadron um, of cows. The squ <laughs> squadron of flying midnight cows. That that is probably the weirdest thing that's ever happened. No, no, it's been weirder. That's pretty up there. That's in the Druid. top five weird things that's happened in D D for me. Fighting for Mushin. Oh. 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 No. Oh. no. Um, well, awesome. Uh, so this is. Oh, it was what? Awesome. And so this huh. is Christmas. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. All right, guys, so we're going to go through these donations for Extra Life really quick, and then we'll be taking a very short break and oh. right back for Christmas. Good, give you guys yeah. a pee break, you know? Thank we're going to pee break after this, and we're going to set up, and we're so. Merry so, so after this, please be patient. Just wait a few minutes. We're going to come right back on the stream with Christmas. And so, yeah, so right now. 
for for uh, tonight's uh, donations to the Extra Life charity, guys. Thank you so much. We have uh, anonymous donation of fifteen dollars. Uh, thank you, anonymous. We have uh, Adam Adam Bruchel donated twenty five dollars. Also says bow to Matthew, the cow king. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Mikhail Nielsen donated one hundred and two dollars eighty four cents. Thank you, Mikhail. That's awesome, Mikhail. Thank you so much. Uh, Jill Arden donated fifty dollars. Thank you so much, Jill. Um, Adam donated another $25. Uh, so Adam Rajas, that's two from you. Thank you. That, again, that's incredible. Evan Knowles donated $50 as well. Evan, that's amazing. Uh, Jamie Mosley donated $10. Thank you, Jamie. Adam Rochelle donated another $25. Wow. Thank you so much, Adam. I'm like this, this, can, this pattern. Uh, John Gillahan donated $15. John, really, really appreciate it. Uh, another anonymous person donated $25. Thank you, whoever that was. Uh, uh, Ezra Huanda donated $25. That's amazing, Ezra. I really appreciate that. Uh, Scott Grotner donated $25 as well. Scott, that's great. Thank you for supporting Extra Life. Uh, we have two more anonymous donations of $50 and $25. That's really sweet. Thank you, whoever you are. Um, Sean Warren donated $25 as well. Sean, well played. Uh, uh, Sarah Hanna donated $100. Sarah, that's really sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, ben Burrish donated $15. Uh, thank you, Ben. Thank you so much for helping support that. James Carl donated $25. James, well done. Uh, Stephen Davis donated $100. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, Cole Weathers donated $25. Thank you so much, Cole. Just so you know, there's more than five pages more of the. Just do the names. Just do the names. Just do the names. Okay. We're going to we're gonna cruise through here in a second, guys. So uh, please. You know, deal with the fact that we're not to get the, the amounts. We're gonna go through. Emily Boyle, thank you. You're amazing. Thanks, really appreciate Emily. it. Uh, Carly Kerlick, thank you. Vaughn Romero, you're amazing. Mary Barton, <laughs> uh, anonymous and anonymous. Tiana Steerwalt, you're fantastic. Adam Bruchel again comes back. Thank you, Adam. Twice, boom. You already know how we feel. Weston Nifong, uh, <laughs> also, thank you so much. James Purcell, that's amazing. Uh, Vin Cow, mm, you're great. Uh, Angela, well, coolest last name ever. Uh, Wix Score? Wix, Wh who the hell? Wix awesome. Wix War. It that's, looks really cool on paper. Yeah, that sounds like something you would awesome. cast a spell on. That's awesome. Uh, Eric Johnson, thank you so much. Another great anonymous don donation. Uh, Nolan Reese, thank you so much. Uh, Graham Day, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, another anonymous donator, thank you. Uh, David Vasilev and, and Mark uh, Ronda. Thank you guys both so much. Page three. Page three. Mark Ronda again. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Pete Christensen, thank you so much. Uh, Caitlin Ashley uh, Tailmans. Mm. Uh, Anonymous, thank you again. JD Williams, really appreciated. Uh, I Logos, thank you so much, I Logos. Uh, Laura Silberman, mwah. Salazar Jack, mwah, mwah. Uh, Lauren Di Cristofaro. Sorry if I butchered that. Thank you so much. Uh, Stephen Kane, thank you, thank you. Another anonymous donation, thank you again. Scott Lee and Amy uh, Karanko, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, Harvard Lee Rendell, thank you. Mwah. And another anonymous donation, as well as uh, Aaron, Ly Aaron Lyons, thank you, Aaron, so much. Uh, another anonymous donation, and Jessica Peters, thank you so much, guys, for your support for Extra Life. Mitch Defaw and Joe Caravello, uh, Cavallarello. Cavallaro, I think. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, I butchered that. Andre Parrish and Edward uh, Piotrowski. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your donations. Uh, Luke Davidson and uh, Brian Back, thank you so much for your guys' help on this. Uh, Jamie Gemmel and Edward Ryan, you guys are incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, Luke Rothstein and two more anonymous donations. You guys are all amazing. Uh, Jackson Senget and uh, three more anonymous donations. Guys, seriously. Oh, wow. Uh, Mike Fox, Lucas Eubank. Oh, thank you, Lucas. Oh, starting Lucas. right there. Actually, these were everything after this was donations made in the last couple days. Oh, snap. So Lucas would have been the start of your show because he did that right at the beginning. Well, thank you, Lucas. That's amazing. Thanks, Lucas. It was one dollar and it said test, 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 test. Uh. Thank you for your one dollar donation <laughs> testing. Thanks. Hey, it's a dollar. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and there's a lot of donations that came through the other day. Um, so thank you guys for donating, whose names we didn't call out. But as a team, it looks like we're already to four thousand dollars of our twenty thousand goal. Wow. Um, I know there's a couple people who have become members of our team, and not just uh, donating to our own goal. So thank you for doing that. So That's we're four thousand out of twenty. 
We gotta hit 20 this weekend, guys. We can do it. Um, we can do it. All of you are joining us this weekend yeah. for the charity yes. drive as well. So Indeed we are. Yeah, tune in tomorrow night, guys, for Rock Band 4. We have a pre-release of the game, and the embargo has been lifted for us to raise money for charity. So we're all going to act like idiots for five hours. And then Saturday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m., we will be playing all sorts of tabletop games, mini. There will be lots of fun guests. It's going to be a good time. Uh, Lucas, let's go drop cam for five minutes. Right. Nice and deep. We'll see you guys back here in five minutes. Oh, and we're 11 subs away from a giveaway. So we get that 11 subs, y'all. We've got another giveaway, so let's look forward to that. In the meantime, we'll see you back in a few minutes. Thank you. On the first day of Christmas, my DM gave to me a trinket and a so pretty. On the second day of Christmas, my DM gave to me two briar woods and a trinket and a so pretty. On the third day of Christmas, my DM gave to me dagger, 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 two briar woods and a trinket and a so pretty. On the fourth day of Christmas, my DM gave to me four beer check rolls, dagger, 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 two briar woods, and a trinket oh so pretty. On the fifth day of Christmas, my DM gave to me five Gilmore scenes, four beer check rolls, dagger, 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 two briar woods, and a trinket oh so pretty. On the sixth day of Christmas, my DM gave to me six barrels blasting five Gilmore scenes, four beer
spear check rolls dagger, dagger, dagger to briar woods, and the trinket is oh so pretty. On the seventh day of Christmas, my DM gave to me seven serenades, six barrels bursting, five Gilmore seeds, four beer check rolls, dagger, dagger, dagger to briar woods, and the trinket is oh so pretty. On the eighth day of Christmas, my DM gave to me eight mixing mulling, seven serenades, six barrels bursting, five And the trinket is oh so pretty. On the ninth day of Christmas, my DM gave to me nine lady favors, eight mixy mulling, seven serenade heels, six barrels busting, five Gilmore seeds, four beer check rolls, dagger, dagger, dagger to Briarwoods. And the trinket is oh so pretty. On the tenth day of Christmas, my DM gave to me. Ten lightning arrows, nine lightning favors, eight mixy mulling, seven serenade heels, six barrels busting, five Gilmore seeds, four beer check rolls, dagger, dagger, dagger to briar woods, and a trinket oh so pretty. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my DM gave to me eleven prestidigitations, ten lightning arrows, nine lightning favors, eight mixy mulling, seven. Dagger, dagger to briar woods, and a trinket is oh so pretty. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my DM gave to me twelve new NPCs, eleven prestidigitations, ten lightning arrows, nine lady favors, eight mixy mulling, seven serenade heels, six barrels busting, five Gilmore seeds, four beer check rolls, dagger, dagger, dagger to briar woods, and a trinket. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we're slowly gathering. Uh, yeah, get, get drinks off the stream. Welcome back to our first real, like, official organized Christmas. So, for what? Those, those who haven't seen this, uh, meaning we have a, we have a regular <laughs> schedule and uh, organized. Um, so, yeah, we'll be doing this the first Thursday of every month, in which uh, all the amazing and ridiculous <laughs> things that you guys really don't have to send, but you do anyway, because you're amazing. It's we will bizarre. open and uh, and marvel at how. You guys are so cool, and yeah, you've seen my face before. You know how this goes. <laughs> Perpetual disbelief. Um, but yeah, so so welcome. Uh, first off, a big thanks to Vegan Critter and Vangelurp who wrote and produced that amazing Christmas song that you just heard during the break. Oh, uh, cool. Um, that is awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. That wow. was hilarious. Yep. Uh, so thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate that. Oh, so pretty. Got some peaceful music playing. All right, so without further ado, should we begin? Is this, is how, this do do this? Begins? <laughs> how do you want to do this? How do you? How do I want to do this? Uh, I'll start, and then we'll just kind of go around this from there. This is crazy. Yeah. This what is, is happening? In right my family, now? we only get to open uh, one present tonight. We have tonight. this box here. Because your family are all dicks. <laughs> 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 There's. Uh, that one I found is a loose letter that was on the ground. Oh, I know what this. Is. I know what this. Is. This is what we've already opened. Yeah. Uh, good to know. All right. Uh, so, first and foremost, we'll go here. Um, this is to. How many C's? Bless you. <coughs> bless <Nice>. you. <coughs> Double bless. <coughs> oh, he's a Code four. Bless. Four. Four. No, I'm done. <laughs> uh, this? Allergic to cattle. Oh wow! That's so cool. This is this is to uh, I guess to me and Marisha. Um, it is a book fairies, the myths, legends, and lore. Ooh, oh, I think that's from Megan. I think she said she was. It is from that Megan. Yes. Hi, Megan. Hi, awesome. Megan. Thank you so much, Thanks, Megan. Megan. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. That's an awesome, awesome gift. That's amazing. Thank uh, you. Mm-hmm. This will be uh, helpful for you and the uh, the fail. Oh the yeah. Fail whenever you get there. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, all righty. Uh, see here. Uh, you'll go around here. 
Let's open these. Oh, yeah, let's open these. They all have the same thing. Let's yeah. open these. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. They have names on them. Oh, they do? They do. Oh, this yep, is they do. Pike. This is for Scanlan. This one doesn't have a name on it. I got mine. This one's for Scanlan right there. This okay. is Pike. I got Keyleth. I don't. This is for Grog. This one's nameless. This oh, one is for. So. Boomerang that. Whoa. Oh, it's an extra one. Is there one for Vex? It's for Vex right here. Yes. There's one for Whoa, that's cool. What? What? I don't want to see. I'm not looking up because. Oh! So probably no, have one too, Matt. No, right? That has to be. That has this to be. This one doesn't have a name. Awesome. I'm, I'm definitely not part of Vox Machina. So. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, it's, just uh, it's just blank. DM. It says DM. DM. It's for you. Oh, I do get one. That's awesome. It smells like leather. Yeah, smell it. It's pike that we're gonna Here's go ahead something. and. Uh, Oh, this is amazing. Ryan! Thorn and Thunder backing a burly bear. Yeah. I mean, I could try to toss it, but I've, I've oh, okay. I gotta read mine. Who's to the twins, Thorn and Thunder backing a burly bear. Tracker of tree and trail, always ready with a wily wing for the glitter of gold. From Alley to Airy, you both stand watch over those you love. Irie, you both stand watch over those you love and keep them safe. Did I say that right? Irie? Iri, Iri, man. This is the coolest. <laughs> and do we do we know who sent these? Yeah. Uh, you said they had nope. blues on the box. They're all from the box. box. Which on the back? Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. Sticker on the bottom. Sticker on the bottom. Flip it over. No, Scanlan sharp and song is a weaver of love and lyric spell and song. Leather source, David Rogers. David Rogers. David Rogers. David Rogers. Leather source. Love it. Looks like yeah, Leather source, David Rogers. These are amazing. If you guys want to get awesome. awesome. awesome bracers, it's a critical roll on it. Pretty rad. They, they're all awesome. colors. Thank you so much. That's so amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nito. Uh, I love that it's stress leather, too. It's but, so good. But, but, mine says, uh, Tiberius, uh, to the scarlet scaled Stormwind. Uh, nowhere, nowhere else is there a finer example of not drawing a book by its cover. Uh, ferocious in the face of those who would harm those you care about or disrespect any you would call family or friend. May your scales always shine strong and your spirit and actions bring honor to your family's name. Thank you, friend. <laughs> that's oh, there is a letter. Oh, they have a letter. That's cool. That's but, that's, but this is not to be read on air, so. Uh, or you don't have to read it on air. <sighs> I think for this, we will, like, now we have crit miss, we can get a little more time. We can't read uh, everything, guys. Yeah. Just long letters, but we, we read those off time, so don't worry we about do, that. We do, we read all the Fizz letters. Fizz match. Uh, yeah. uh, is it yours? Mm -hmm. oh, also, he's not here tonight. He, he's actually he's been collecting and creating a binder of all your guys' fan letters. Yeah. So we yes. can uh, read them as we do them. Grog, so. let me see, uh, sorry, <laughs> Travis, let me see yours. It's Dallas I Cowboys. Like skin. Ah! Uh, nice. Right. <laughs> I like it. Oh, totally. This is, Long ago, there was a dwarf who offered the party some dried fruit. The character got quite a few laughs from cast and crew and audience alike, and I thought it'd be fun to send a large bouquet from edible arrangements together with some bear claw. Trinket toes, do we have those? I guess we have a, a large bouquet of edible arrangements with bear claw pastries and other themed eats. What? I'm sure the cold fruit would be refreshing in that hot studio. Wow, Ryan will remember me mentioning this in Twitch messages, I suspect. Right, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh -oh. Maybe not edible stuff, as we probably won't be eaten in a timely manner. I don't well, know. I don't know. If there's a way to... If it, any or edible things, maybe should get sent directly to Geek and Sundry. Or, so cool. or to or just put... Big stamp on it, like perishable, <laughs> open immediately, or, or something. Or, or don't. Edibles. You know what? We, you know what's well, edible that uh, could pres be preserved, preserved as like scotch, <laughs> bourbon, yes, like that kind of stuff. Oh, this is liquor chocolate. Oh, liquor We're chocolate. Yesterday, so uh, help yourself. Thank you. Woo! I had one of those earlier. Oh, see, there's the the ones that I was talking about. These ones. <laughs> Thank These you, ones right. are really good. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, so guys, so as a heads up, because around the same time I was looking for the closest uh, EA outlet in the studio and figuring out what other items to include, I saw Leather Saurus mention he was available for making custom claw bands, and I knew it was the better choice. Oh, it took us very little time to come up with an implemented design that reflected each of the characters. I hope you like them. With most heartfelt thanks, uh, Trendane. Trendane sent these. Saurus made them with Trendane. Thank you so much, Trendane. Really, really appreciate that. Leather Saurus. I had great fun crafting these bands as a commission from Trendane, and I'm now a firm follower of the Critical Role Show. Ah, nice. Oh, oh, look, I've got an arrow on mine. Oh, that's You are a snake. Oh, that's snake. Wait, where? I got an arrow right over oh, on the Oh, mine has it. hearts and I music signs on it. So cool. Thank you guys so much. Just seriously. Like 
Boom. All right. Uh, we're opening these next. Opening these? Yay! Oh, they got poop. Oh, this is so amazing, right, yeah, we got guys. I know. This Dude, is who's up next? Go, open, open stuff. Okay. Here, open. Open things. Open all the things. All the things. The jingles? The jangles. It does jingle. It sounds like a cowbell. Ooh. Wait, wait. I don't want to look. I can't open mine. It's a little... It's a little grog. Do I have a fireball? What? Oh, they are little bells. It's like a little witch with her legs. They're bells. Oh my gosh. They're cowbells. No. Wow. They each got cowbells. No. What? They're cowbells. It's wind chime. Wind chime. Wind chime. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Oh. How oh, is that a wind chime? Maybe it's not a wind chime. Maybe it's just a little dangly. It's a dangly little It's a tchotchke. It's a Galen's cool. balls would be that big. <laughs> That's my poo, Matt. My no. poo. <laughs> I can't get I can't either. Too it's much fiber in your diet. This is awesome. Oh. Oh, I've even got a little shoulder out. pauldron. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, look at that. How did you guys get yours out? A little strength. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's so awesome. That's so cool. Thank you so much. There you go. Wait, it's coming. Having. Very much. Uh, okay, okay. So. Technically not supposed to read this on air, so I won't, but I want to know who these were from. Oh my god, oh my god. From so Ani, uh -huh. aka Certified oh, Hooligan. Thank oh, you so much, so Ani. It's sincerely that this is. Oh my god, that was a win. Because I've also got a trinket one. Ooh. That's so awesome. Trinket, dude, it's so cute. What? Oh my god. Oh, you're uh, so cute. Oh, yours oh, oh, is yours so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so That's adorable. Fantastic. Oh I don't know uh, who this is from. <laughs> oh my god! He's but so it's a giant, mean. like stainless Ooh. steel D twenty. Whoa! Whoa. Is there any return say? address on that? Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! It went at nineteen. That could have damaged me if it would have. Whoa! That is like it's too cute. Thank you. Whoa. When your attack Your's roll itself was an me. attack roll. Yeah. Surely. Oh, oh one. well. The first one is good. Mm -hmm. Holy crap! Robert said that. Thank you. Wow, that's impressive. That's yeah, fantastic. when you right. send send the presents, if you um, it's hard to if they Amazon. Send us a t tweet or something so that we know what, what? it was that you sent, and so we can send you a thank the you. Gift? No, no, no. After we open it, after we open it. These for Ashley and for Cal. So before them. they come back, we'll take these and we'll get these Yay. to them. Yes, yes. Uh, hey, Tanya sent together. us all um, bracelets. Friendship uh, bracelets. Oh, I love friendship bracelets. I do too. I got my Lakers colors. I still got mine. Like, don't, don't, don't. Thank you, Tanya. Aw, oh, oh, thank Every you, Tanya. Tanya. Let me see mine. Oh, no. Thank you, Tanya. Ryan. Oh, Tanya. Oh, Tanya. Oh, Tanya tells me to sing on, my friend. Kingslayer, Burt Reynolds. Look at these cutie bags of trinkets. Oh, these are cool. Aww. Oh, Tanya. Trinkets are so cute. Where to go? Where I got the I got the America. I'll go back. America! It is. Oh. Anti stress kit. That's so cute. Yeah, nice Bridget. Aww. Oh! <laughs> A little too hot. Don't, seriously. I, was, I had the one hand bumped. Do we know who made the anti stress kit? Uh, I'm not open Source no, unknown. I some time ago. Oh, God. And I know Zach knows, and he said thank you before. I think he even said it on Twitter. Oh, okay. Um, well, whoever it is, tweet at us. Just send the anti stress kids. This is really cute and really sweet. Thank you so much for those gifts. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh. An eraser to make all your mistakes disappear. A penny to never be completely broke. Marble in case someone thinks you've lost yours. String to tie everything together when they fall apart. A rubber band to stretch yourself beyond limits. A hug and a kiss to remind you that someone somewhere cares about you. That's oh amazing. So Seriously, so Tanya, I love friendship bracelets. You're so awesome. Thank you for this. Aww. No, thank you. Got a little so lion eraser. I have a gift from Kit Kitbus. Kitbus. Hey, what? hey, uh, Sam. Oh, that's from my <gasps> wife. Say yep. what now? <laughs> He's got to need one of those being married to you. Look what Kit got. What is it? Uh, oh! oh those the are amazing. Dragon tooth daggers. Oh. What? Who got those for you? Kit. Kit. What? Thanks, Kit. I will kill something in your honor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I got this for. Amy Kincaid? Who's this? Uh, okay. For who? <laughs> oh. It's it's like we got we got both we got both the uh both the the, the critical you. role wives spouses. at home spouses gifted as well. That's so cool. Aww. That's for my wife. 
That's pretty, that's awesome. Yeah, Extending no, it sure. beyond the immediate uh, critical rules. Oh. oh wait, that's your fault. I know that without your acceptance and support, there would be so no these, show. So, uh, so these are all from Scott? For my wife. Oh, nice. Awesome. Okay, so these, oh, these envelopes right here, guys, these are all from uh, Scott Gropner. Thank you. Garufa? Yeah, Garufa, who sent the cute little. Oh, it's Garufa, Garufa so cool. sent the little yeah. uh, necklaces. And Garufa, and charms. I'm reading your letter. I'm reading it as well. And. Oh, ooh, what's this? Oh, these are all good we, luck charms. Don't worry about it. Thank you, Tanya. These are awesome. Yeah, the friendship visits are so cool. Mm, These are sweet pretty. letters you guys send, sincerely. These take uh, a long time. Seriously, Tanya, I make French bracelets too. And these things take a long time. Aww, they do. So <laughs> that's a lot of people to make one for, so thank you. Wow, that's so cute. I got an eraser, marbles, a penny, string, and a rubber band. And they all are imbued with meaning. <laughs> that's so cute. Marisha. Thank you so you much, read God. Too in a little bit. Yes, I got mine too. Okay. For the note, use this robe. Use this robe, you're so amazing. You have a use. Can I open this? Sure. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. this is amazing. This is. Where is this is it's at, at oh. Sub Blank Beaupre. Anyway, I, thank you so much, Garufa, for, for, for the the present for me and for my wife. I appreciate it. Rest in peace, Magic Carpet. Oh! Thank you, for the note. Thank you. It's a shirt that says the bigger they are, the lower their AC. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so cute. Scott, awesome letters. Thank you, man. Yeah. Ship yeah. two. This is from. Oh. A letter from a group of Scott. The middle yeah. of the Venn diagram. Right on, brother. You're awesome, Scott. Thank you guys so much for the That's really, really sweet. I don't even know what you're saying. So much flattery. That is young, adorable. Man. Big time. That is so well, cool. Done, uh, thanks, Tom, for the note. Thank you. It's awesome. All right, this is a gift from, from Eric Maliki, who I had the pleasure of meeting earlier this year at a convention. Uh, has sent along. Oh, I know what this is. This is. This is custom Percy mini. Oh. That he painted. This is, this is the same one that's on your guys' custom minis awesome. that came in. Earlier, we so we got have a Percy. Awesome Percy. Uh, we've got a pike <gasps> with a frostband sword. Oh, awesome! Cool. Got a Scanlan. Ooh, I love it. Scanlan make you feel good. So little. Scanlan make you feel real good. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> Uh, uh, Pike wants us to open the Pike doll and show it to the camera. Oh, so okay. Is oh Ashley watching God. right now? Yes. She is watching. The we Pike. love you, Ashley. We love you, Ashley. Hi, we Ashley. miss you. I like Matt that you like my it? junk Tiberius. Matt, do you have the Pike doll over there? I do, it's right here. The Pike, oh, there we go. There it is. There it is, found. That's the Pike one there. Yeah, she does. can see it. Hmm? Oh, careful. Same guy. Sorry. I am very yeah, not custom really. painted. No, I I, my testament of Menoth, one of the war casters for my Menoth army that I don't have, uh, custom painted it and gave it to me ready for assembly. That's so, That's so cool. That's awesome. I haven't even used this guy yet. I'm excited. Thank you so much, Eric. Really, really well, appreciate, appreciate that. Yes. Woo! I actually also have one of the friendship bracelets. Oh, fun! I've, I've just been storing. And you also have a leather band, Ashley. Oh, man. This is so cool. Hoda, 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 hoda. So cool. Here, I'm gonna let you do this because you're better at it than me. Don't hear that very often. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. What did you get? For Grog, on that magical day when you grow a proper dwarven beard, this oh. is my first ever attempt at crocheting. I really hope you like it. I'm no! Of all of you guys. No. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing! Oh Are you kidding me? Oh I crocheted that? Holy shit. With even like, what? With braids. Halloween done. Holy <laughs> crap. That's the coolest thing Jeez. ever. That's Shave this, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> that completely oh transforms you. Oh wow. That's fantastic. I would like to be it. <laughs> oh, that's oh, amazing. I got business cards. Very warm. Yay! 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 Business cards? Yes. <laughs> As Burt Reynolds, attorney at small. That is awesome. That's fantastic. Wow. What? That's, that's great. Wait, who sent these? Uh, thank you. This is a wonderful. Ah, it doesn't say who sent them. Oh, if you so direct sent ship, them. someone, whoever sent the Burt Reynolds Ashley's cards, awesome. tweet oh, me. Oh, Ashley, look at your little. No. Oh, 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 look at her. Let's take a picture. Oh my God. Can we open her? Do you want us to open your bracelet too? Text us. Yeah, by the way, guys, if your gift gets open on air and we can't find who it's from, yeah, please tweet at us. We want to thank you directly. Really, really. Like, yeah, seriously. This was from Ash. I didn't say that. Ash, you're awesome. That's amazing, Ash. You're awesome, Ash. Oh my god. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> You've never been more attractive. I know it. <laughs> All right. Here. Hold, hold on to this for 10 minutes. Travis, right. smile. Um, wow, that's amazing. Uh, here. This would be from Amazon. Do you need me to hand you things? Oh, so you I think this is also from Megan. It's the Wizard Miss Legendary Horror Book. Pretty sure this came with the same thing. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Okay, we got, we got wizards and fairies now taken care of. Boom. Wizards and fairies. Cool. Wizards and fairies. Um. <laughs> We've got these to pass around, which I believe. Yeah. It's like we've got a written piece of material from a Mike. Um, Mike here sends these around. Oh, thank you. Just pass these around the table, if you don't mind. Oh, wow. Awesome, Mike. Another short story. We've got reading material. Thank you, Mike. Makes me happy. Pass it down. To do this. To bring this all here. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Uh, oh, oh, we got more stuff from Dara Farrell. Yeah. Oh, Dara! The best. I mean, they're all the best. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. We got more. We got Fr Prince. Oh. Uh, oh, oh my God! Oh, so cool. Oh, oh, add those to the stuff. portfolio. Oh, look at this. Oh, is that a new one? Right? Good. The one on the right's new. Oh I don't my gosh! That one. Oh, that's awesome. When so so the note no, say? He's got like say. a little note on it. Uh, there is. This is. Uh, how do you want to do this at the bottom of this one? This says, "Thank you all for the kind words. They mean more than you know." Aww. Wow. Uh, yeah, bro. And then we have, oh, <laughs> we have, uh, that's, this is a winter outfit. Oh, awesome! Oh, cool. I love that one. Yeah. Oh my god. I hope your cow drawing skills are good. Can't wait to read this. So this good. Like cow art. Like awesome. We have uh, oh, the, so that Corona healing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh I want, I want. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> divvy these up as the original I Encourage Violence Tiberius. Yeah! yeah that's Whoa! Crazy. The Lauren for Travis. <gasps> Those, are, those yeah. are. That's from when we went to the Cowboys thing! That is! He posted that. That's so cool. Me. That's oh, awesome! Shut up! Shut up. We've got uh, the Box Moronica, which I think will probably stay here <gasps> in the <gasps> studio. Yeah. 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 Pass yeah, they over. are! Dude! You've got the uh, the moment before Goblin shit arrival. Yes, uh, I love that one. <laughs> as well oh as the gosh. I would like Favorite. to rage. Yes, yes, yes. insane. Frog. Mike the uh, happy tenth episode, Lazy Sunday. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Are these the originals? Seriously? Yeah. This is the Lauren Travis, by the way. I think this goes with their, their art piece. Uh, you. Vex and Trinket. Ooh. Oh, oh yes. that one. Smooth Grog talking to Lady Kima. Yeah. Yeah, Smooth Grog is smooth. Uh, <laughs> Scamlin's uh, demeaning girl comment, forever immortalized. Oh, uh, rip it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, killing a, uh, a Durgar awesome. by so ruining his self esteem. <laughs> uh, the moment of the Fomorian crushing the. 
cask of ale. And Don't fuck with cross cask oh, ale, yeah. man. <laughs> oh, and a grog and keyleth oh, hug. Oh, that's a nice Big squish! No, it's a working <laughs> sketch of one of the earlier uh, designs. And this goes to Liam. This is his awesome sketch. Oh, yeah. 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 Pass it over there. That's ah. awesome. You're amazing, Joe. Seriously. So uh, good. Travis, look here. <laughs> so <awkward. laughs> Can't even. Ah. <laughs> Oh god! Alrighty. Horrifying. Um, what else, you guys? Oh, uh, I well, we we all have these, these short stories. These lovely short, short stories, stories from yes. Mike Kehoe. Yes. At MPK Vegeta. 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 I don't know. What, what is Vegeta? Is that something I should Dragon know? Dragon Ball yes. Z. Go. I've never seen that show. Is that a don't thing? Don't say that, my friend. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I can't wait to read this, <laughs> and I love Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> Go Goku! Yeah, hey, there you that's go. the thing. I got an awesome letter here from Tanya. Uh, this is Tanya, the Blind Ranger, a Rebel Gorilla. Thank you so much for this amazing letter. We got to read the later one. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then <laughs> here. Oh, I also got a friendship bracelet! Yay! Yay! Ooh, yours is cool. What mine's, colors is that? Mine's purple and red and black. It's DM <laughs> colors, yo. Nice. What colors so is cool. that? That's what colors is that? What colors is that? <laughs> well, it's all them colors. <laughs> so this is... uh I'm Texas. Uh, Motley Crew of the Headless Huntress, please send the cast my love and thanks for all your work in Critical Role. I'm rooting for Vox Machina. Yeah, I have like, a small presents I made for you all from a simple critter, Tanya. Tanya, thank you so much. It's thank you, great. Tanya. Mm. Really awesome note from you too. Thank you so much, Tanya. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, put design. <laughs> oh, do that a second. Um, cool. Put that there. All right. Uh, that was Tanya's package, I believe. You guys all good there? All right. Uh, what is other end? Oh, very well. That's just plastic. That's awesome. That's heavy. That's just not cool. Who's this? What is it? What is it? It's a bill. <laughs> what is this? It looks extensive. It does. It's a. It looks uh, it's a oh, oh, there's a letter wrapped around. around. What is it? Dear Critical Role, I've been a fan of the show since episode one, and you provided me much entertainment while I painted my miniatures. I hope these battle mats will provide you with. Oh, shit! By your much more immersed RPG experience as the characters move in their miniature form. Please roll these battle mats designed side up to prevent curling. These mats are waterproof and to a certain extent alcohol proof. Tested unintentionally. <laughs> mats are also the same wet erase markers, markings, but not compatible with dry erase markers. Good to know. Sincerely, uh, at Virtual No Mars or Mats by Mars, that's amazing. And they have several more designs in the site. It's cool. Check that out. Thank you so much. Yeah, dude. I, I would show these off. But, but if don't give it away. I don't want to give them away. All right, all right, all right. If you see Rap, them, they'll yeah. show up in the show. But, yeah. Uh, well, will you pick like one? That would have been one of them. It's a good one. Oh, I can't. I want to make a surprise. <laughs> Just show us a little peek of a corner. Yeah, peek of a corner. Yeah, peek of a corner. Oh, it looks just, cool. Just from a little Pikachu. Just a little Pikachu. Whoa. Is that when we fight in space? And that's where when we that is a forest, like a heavy, oh, like a forest over the yeah, like desert terrain. Whoa! Oh, those are cool. Oh, Thank you so much. That's amazing. Oh, my goodness. 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 They're going ham. Uh, that's going to go home with me. Because <laughs> DM's privilege. Uh, <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, do we have these here as well? All of those. All of those? Boxes? Uh, yeah. Uh, do are you, do you guys still have stuff to open? Nope. No. Well, let's let's pass these out. Okay. Let's open them all together. <laughs> this, this one's for you specifically. Specifically. Okay. So you, you pass out stuff to other folks as we start going through this. There you go. What the heck? Yeah. What? I think these are just for the group. Whoa! What is that? This, my friends. Whoa. Is a fucking scroll case. Whoa. What? Oh! <laughs> Oh, what is this? We're getting it all here. This is all for Mercer. There are also oh, empty market pantry oh, gummy wrappers. Travis. Travis. This is so but, cool. Oh, 
Oh my god. That's awesome. Uh, Is that like all it? leather and stuff? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. What? Whoa, that's awesome, wow. dude. That is so cool. Yeah. You can keep your arrows in there. Awesome. Scrolls. Yeah, or arrows. Dude, thank you, you thank you, useless rogue, for this awesome letter, by the way. Yeah, seriously. It's really great. There you go, I got it. Yeah, scroll case, I can put stuff in there. You can put scrolls in there. Oh, it's got like a it. wood interior, too. Oh, that's oh that's so cool. Shit, you guys. What? Uh, as a token of your adventures for the Slayer's Take, I had some temporary tattoos commissioned Ooh. from my friend Britt. She has an Etsy store at Seventh Skin that sells geek-themed temporary tattoos. There should be enough for each, each member of Vox Machina as well as a guest who also earned their brands. What? Ooh, it's yeah. the logo! It's the logo! Uh, That's awesome! Thank Slayer's you. Take. take temporary The remainder oh, are free to God. distribute. We may be using uh, those shortly. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's so cool. From Seventh so Skin cool. on that Etsy. Awesome. Thank you so much. I think we should all wear them when we go to New York Comic Con. Record that. Also, I have included a miniature of Elminster Amar for Orion. Oh! That's so cool! Elminster. Ah. Oh, that's so sick. Two, actually. Cool. Oh, right. hopefully a matching one for Matt will be enough bribery to have him paint, paint it for you, Orion. Oh my mm. gosh. May your allies be many and your enemies be few. Do you want one of me? This is from Ed Chuck, who Lovely. says, Ed yes, Chuck! It was a pleasure meeting Laura and Travis at SAC Anime. I'm glad you got your shot against Kern. Sad that I miss Liam, though. I'll catch you at the next con. Awesome. Yes. Thank uh, you. Ed Chuck. Thanks, dude. Ed, you're awesome. Uh, and for those of you who know, I, I'm, I'm the voice of Elminster Omar in Neverwinter. Uh, so thank you. And we have awesome. For many. Yeah. Uh, Vincent. Sent us another installment of One Dwarf Too Yay. Many. Yeah. Right. From Vincent Langlois. Langlois. Okay, so and I have. A copy for all of us to read at our at our leisure. Yeah. We're getting equipped tonight. I am going to be passing yeah. these out like crazy, but. Matthew Mercer and Vox Machina. My husband and I are big fans of the show because you've given our eyes and ears so many hours of entertainment. We want to send you something that would delight your noses. I just started a company this year called Adventure Sense. We make oh. sense special effects for games. Haven't we heard about this? Adventure sense? I think they were asking us if we had gotten it last week. Or yeah. Whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, we make sense special books, movies, costumes, and more with 40 cents based on common adventure locations found in fantasy, science fiction, historical, and modern Ooh. stories. So they sent us all deliciously smelly gifts specific to our characters. So Grog got a rowdy tavern, a field of battle, a plush, smelly monster. <laughs> this one it says the mountain woodlands. Yeah, but that goes to somebody else. Oh. That goes to Kaylin. Oh. You get mountain That's woodlands, awesome. a flying airship in honor of your mastery over the element of air. Does the rowdy tavern smell like bar? A scentable locket to compliment your beauty. Oh, uh, like beer. For Percy, he got ice castle, fishing docks. Oh my gosh, oh, cool. Scanlan got welcoming in. Truly, the welcoming scent of beef stew is what you've really been looking for. <laughs> Four Tonight. stables in memory of the pony that Grog decapi decapitated. <laughs> nice. Scent packs in Ottoman harem oh. and desert oasis to appease your hedonistic side. Oh, hello. Tiberius oh, got moldy crypt is oh. what that is. Oh, okay, right. sure. Um, Tiberius awful. got dragon's cave to help it's you feel at so home lovely. and has sent a, dar a jar of dusty library. To conjure up memories. Oh, what a awesome. pack of Roman bathhouse. I can't believe there are this many Roman bathhouse. Bath house. What did I get? Mm -hmm. Enchanted yeah. forest, gold mine. Totally. Sure. Of course. <laughs> um, bling, and bling, another bling. sensible locket. Yes. So cool. Pike got healing sanctuary and pirate ship. This is brilliant. This, this is, is crazy. So, cool. so wait, they're like, they're little the smelly goodies? You yeah. got bombed out yeah. ruins, yeah. wizard yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but I gotta find out which California ones are gold which. Mine. Nice, that one's mine. Yeah, it's good. Greedy. <laughs> All right, okay. All right. Steam train, that's for. <laughs> that's I'm going to figure fair. out who gets what. Dusty Library goes to Orion. So, uh, this this awesome. Look at this. Is, um, Master Mercer, an uninvited guest dropped this in the catacombs, and I thought you might enjoy it. There does seem to be something unique about it, which I leave to your imminent imagination. Yours always, the Baron. This is from uh, Baron Strahd von Zarevich. Oh yes, um, <laughs> the the head of Castle Ravenloft and uh, current uh, individual dominion over Barovia, and uh, thank you very much 
Uh, it's hard right. to trust a gift from a vampire, but one of your esteem, I will gladly accept. It's a shame that adventurers die so easily in your demonies. Um, thank you so much. That's an amazing, amazing gift. Thank you so much, Baron. Did you guys get these little things? What's that? That's, I think that's just you. I got a pin from uh, Terry, who wrote an amazing little letter, and it's a I would luck to rage pin. Oh! oh. <laughs> that's so cute. That that's is awesome. So cool. Thank you. Uh, we also got, and Matt, I'm going to deliver these to yeah. you in 30 seconds, but three beautiful miniatures. I'm having trouble reading this name. C. Osanasek? The handwriting is a little. Sounds right. A little dodgy. <laughs> uh, but they're beautiful. We've got a little uh, warrior woman dwarf, I think, and then and a pirate dwarf with a peg leg and a gun. Oh, we can use these in. And a beautiful other... dragonborn. So I'm going to bring them over to Matt for his collection. There's always things for us to kill. Woo! I mean, wow. or, or you know, negotiate yeah. with. Horse stables? Horse, is this horse stables? Is this we for me? Only yeah, you get horse stables. With enemies now. That's Ooh. all we do. Ice uh, castles for Kirsty. Yeah. Oh, what? These Whoa. are amazing. Really detailed. These are awesome. Oh, the dwarven axe is awesome. Dwarf pirate? Ah, oh, I love dwarves so much. Take this. These are so cool. Take this library. Thank you so much. I love it. Everywhere. Oh, yeah. Piping? Oh, these are so cool. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's so neat. Man, Here. it's oh, the man. best Christmas ever. ever. Christmas. Best Christmas ever. Christmas, you guys are ridiculous. I can't. Mm. It's there's 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 an unending well of so appreciation awesome. that it's just oh, it's amazing. Make the fell down and speechless every time we do this. Uh. Alright, so in this end <laughs> I got uh CNC customer care. Can we make concern containing the shipment should be one small what scroll is? delivered promptly and intact to a core member of Vox Machina. The letter should be presented to the Lady Keyleth on behalf of the mysterious Lady of Serenray, known to the CNC simply as Pike. If damage or tardiness has taken place, reparations will be considered at and should be submitted to any office of uh, Corsairs or Courtiers uh, no later than one month from the above date. Other documents would then include a psalm that was discovered in the ruined temple of the Lady of Light. As the original etching was in Celestial, a translation has been provided as a courtesy to the Lady and the recipient. The latter document is not a part of the paid service and is not guaranteed in the same manner. It should be considered expendable. Thank you for your patience. Brute Oldirne. Uh, so, there you go, Keyleth. What is it? This is a, a written in Celestial, a, uh, a psalm. Oh, right, because of I used Celestial. Uh, well, and also there is, hold on, hold on. Is there a key? Am I gonna have to translate yes, this? Yes, you are. <laughs> I translate this psalm okay, from Celestial. Okay, someone sent me homework. You sent me homework. <laughs> the best kind of homework. Oh, come on, I eat right. this shit up. Yeah, You'll love it. And there's also uh, uh, oh, so here. Oh, this is for you. Oh, this is oh, I think this is oh, a translation. Right. Did you feel this? I know from the. Could you give this a tips? And Good to know. I will keep that at bay. Um, all right. As part of this as well, there is. That's for your pens. Cute. Cute. We got these little pens. I mean, it, it, was, it was. This is a. They, they are our race, gnome, elf. Etc. Oh, Whoever sent no these, thank you. Ash thank you for the pins. For Percy. Oh, this is so cool. What are we oh, putting your too. stuff? Oh, this is this is for you. Oh. Yeah. Me? This is for you. Is it more celestial? Yeah. Big time. Crazy. Um, there's also a Victoria's Secret box that contains a little Mr. T. Sweet. From Slippery Deathmatch. Okay. Sure, sure. Which is awesome. A pretty cool. I don't have an indicator as to who this goes to. Oh, wow. Probably Grawl? <laughs> These scentable lockets are really cool. I got a letter from Pike. I think so. I will bequeath this to you, Grawl. If this is meant for somebody else, please let us know, but I'm bequeathing the Mr. T to Grawl. As he does indeed often pity the fool. Yeah, fool! Ooh, engine room smells good. I think that's it on that one. Yeah, that's it. That's so cool. Thank you so yeah. much. It's such a cool gift. Guys, guys! This is insane! Thank you very much. This is insane. Thank I'll you. see you in the crucible, fool! Marisha, <laughs> these sensible lockets, and then you put these little things <gasps> in them. To make them smell? Yeah. Oh, cool! And you can change your mind. You can smell, you can decide what scent you want to put in it. Stop. That's so awesome! Cool. You swing it from your doorway or your toilet. So you or your got car. one, or my and I got one, and Ashley got one. That's so awesome. Yeah, you are. Let's roll with it. 
Yeah, well, you I like that scent. Oh, that's a fun pimp. Yeah, but you have to come and smell all the little scents. Unless you want to put one of the ones they gave you. I don't talk about it. So many amazing, thoughtful yeah, letters and this is gorgeous gifts too. and handmade things. Okay. I... This is one that much. Oh. I think it's just a letter, but it'd be a man. Okay, it's a little high to Joseph, <laughs> Amakuri, and Elise Morrison. <laughs> Trinkets. That one did you so get? Which one? That one. This one? I don't think you guys open up. What one? Sure. Oh, this is such a sweet. Oh. It's just a white tattoos. powder. Oh, it's tattoos. tattoos. We have an amazing handwritten letter here from uh, from Joseph and Elise. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, when we have our meeting, we go through all of the fan mail together. We're going to be reading this letter real soon. It's so sweet. I love, oh, I love somebody the else sent us temporary tattoos of Slayer Tattoos. Oh, that's great! Because I was like, ones. oh man, we only got one, but now we've got two. Katie. And we got we got red ones and black ones. That's we can so choose. Cool. It's from Katie. 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 Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Thank you very much. Katie with AC. We are going to wear those all the time. Guys, we shall put them on for New York. She created them using StrayTats.com. Yep. We should all put them on in honor of Ashley being on blind spot and cover ourselves with tattoos. Oh my yeah, God. totally. I'm gonna put mine on my face. Also, we should just get a little tattoos. Oh my like, God. Stay here. Yeah. Yeah. Right on our forehead. <laughs> <laughs> on the eyelids when we play. That's so <laughs> badass. Palace.com. Are we good? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're good. Wow. Um, for, for those of, Best Christmas ever. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, Every for the, time. For those of you that sent stuff it? and it didn't make it in time, uh, we'll be Next definitely time. doing Christmas beginning of, of November, and we'll be getting to those then as well, and appreciate your patience. Oh, man, can um, you imagine Christmas at Christmas? It'll be like Inception. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow. I am not ready. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can't wait guys. Kritnica. Guys, how was your first like official Christmas? It's pretty it was cool. amazing! It was great. It was great. It was great. Gotta look at all the smelly goods. Oh yeah, 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 you yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Absolutely like... amazing. Thank you all again so much from all of us to you. All the love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for this. And uh, we'll we'll see you next week. Wow. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Good night. Happy Good night. Christmas.